Hey everybody, how is it going? It's time for the stream, it's time for our first official <clears throat> community cookie jar. I ended up liking the name so much we stuck with it, so. The community cookie jar streams, for those who do not know, uh, are all community game choices. So, for those who haven't been around for very long or have been away for a little bit, at the beginning of the year I enabled a point redemption option under the stream where you could suggest a game for fortune cookie polls. And we've been pulling from those as extra options on Saturdays, but I figured since the list is a little far behind, it might be best to actually do Wednesday streams every now and then as well, probably once a month, to kind of go through a bunch at once. So all the game choices tonight are just picked by users in the, in the stream. So let's start off with finding out what our first five games are going to be. I've got them all ready just in case, so the swap over will be pretty short, but I still wanted you guys to actually vote on it instead of just doing a, a sub poll or like just deciding myself. So the five games we've got for this round, first off, by Noctumbra's Sonic Shuffle for the Dreamcast, which I also just realized I did not write in the system. Oops, there we go. Game number two by Translucent Spartan. Halo 3, ODST, I'm gonna say Steam because I'm doing Master Chief Collection. Because we got that ready when we did uh, Sugar Rush back in December for Small Time Charity. Game number three for this starting one from Nards of Doom, The Simpsons Road Rage for the original Xbox. Uh, Road Rage is the Grand Theft Auto one, right? I keep getting the two mixed up. No, Hit and Run is the Grand Theft Auto. This is, this is the Crazy Taxi one. This is the Crazy Taxi one. Okay. This is a present from me to you. Uh, game number Look four by Negi Mahora. The, or sorry, Outer Wilds on Steam. Not the Outer Worlds. Well, friends, Outer Wilds, the other one, the indie one. Again. The non-Fallout one, but apparently it's a really, really good one. And the last game I've got here from D-Lo Comics. Devil May Cry 5 for the PlayStation 4. Those are our starting five games. So... Let's start the poll and see what happens. I guess I'll just, this is just how it works normally for when I'm running a poll. You normally just see this top up here, the cookie. There you go. Should start popping them in the chat here in a minute. Let's quickly copy that. Yep, bot's already on it. Let's see what game we're starting with. Oh. I seemed weird when there was no transition on that. Oops. Okay, currently in the lead. Probably no one's surprised. Wait, what is that? What's that little square there? That's not there on my actual screen. That's weird. What the hell is that? What? What is this? It's in the poll results window, whatever it is. Ah, uh, okay. How'd you even get over there? Move, go back to where you're supposed to be. That was weird me out for a while there, sorry. There we go, that looks better. Anyways, Simpsons Road Rage is currently in the lead. Uh, 119 votes, 32% of the votes. Sonic Shuffle, 94 votes, 25% of the vote. Outer Wild, 63 votes, 16%. Devil May Cry 5, 53 votes, 13%. And Halo 3 ODST in last place with 40 votes, 10%. 384 votes clock so far. Simpsons Road Rage leads over Sonic Shuffle, 130 to 99. So let's slap a minute on the clock and see what happens. One percent rules still apply? Yes, there will be one percent rules. I will allow that. That is only fair. It's the same rule that would be on a cookie anyways. But there will be no COCOM choices. So when COCOMs join, that's they're not they're not adding anything. It's just the five games or a six one if there's a one percent rule. At least five are good, so let's check them off the list. This is a present from me. <laughs> Look at your left. Wow. All right. 
Yeah, all right, so the next poll after this game that we end up well playing played. is going to have game I'm choices from Reflexor, Halberdier V2, Deep Dragon, Ringman 77, and Smash Briot, which we'll all mention when we get there. But at least one of them made me laugh. What if CoComps have enough points? Well, then they can put a suggestion in, but they just gotta... They gotta do it at the very end. Like, they're at the back of the queue. They're not skipping queue line. All right, Simpsons Road Rage takes it pretty commandingly, too. 152 votes, 34%. I, it's because it got yellow, isn't it? It's entirely because the Simpsons game had yellow. You, you can tell me the truth, it's okay. I understand. All right, let me go get this quickly popped in there and let's go do it. Boss. gonna take the longest to set up, of course. Simply because I forgot what setup it's even using. Because this is actually using... Bagel, you little shit! Get off my chair! Bagel, I stood up for a minute! Chair. Use your chair. Hi. Get out of my chair. Oh, why are you like this? Everything except the fucking Xbox. Hi. Why is it not powering on? Don't tell me my fucking Xbox died. One mystery solved, now I gotta solve the other. Oh my god. Alright, we're good. We are somehow good. It scared the ever loving shit out of me.
Now I have to get a chair because someone's someone's using my current one, bagel. Oh. I gotta knock over shit because of you now. Hi. You can keep the damn chair. Bagel's looking at me like he's real concerned what's going on with the with the chair moving. Just pick him up and move him. Guys, I've been over this. I can't. It's a fabric chair and he digs his claws in when he sleeps. <laughs> I'm not ripping up the chair. Also, won't he just return to that spot or fight you for it? Yeah, he'll fight me for it more than anything. It's called a squirt bottle on- No! You don't do that! That's awful for cats! You never use squirt bottles on them. That can traumatize them. You absolutely do not use squirt bottles. Alright. Hey, Aelita, just in time for everything to break. Good timing. Well, more, oh, more I fixed what broke, but yeah, welcome. Ah, oh, that's from countermeasures. Alita, thank you for the raid. Hopefully your stream was all right. You've joined us just in time for the first official game of the Community Cookie Jar, which was The Simpsons Road Rage. This was suggested by... I thought that was... This, was this the Nards game? I think this was Nards. Yes, it was Nards Doom picked Simpsons Road Rage. And it beat out Sonic Shuffle, Outer Wilds, Double May Cry 5, and Halo 3 ODST. Oops, my TV volume's on still. Let's turn it off. Why is the road raging? Because the Simpsons are on it. It's a good reason. Quit playing those stupid video games, boy. I want to watch TV. We're live in front of City Hall as joyless plutocrat Montgomery Burns is about to unveil his new line of nuclear-powered buses. Behold the Burns Atomic Megabus. Faster, cheaper, and completely safe. Please kill me. That poor man. I hope someone does kill him. Those radioactive buses are a threat to the public health. Threat to public health, eh? That gives me an idea. What do you think? Mm. Just get to the game already. Let me see. Is he sitting still? Is lined up? 
Yeah, bagel cam again. Cause this smug asshole stole my chair again. When I sat up to change the game. Look at how smug he is. Does not give a fuck. Oh, we already have a stream file. Even better. What did we even do last time we played this? Uh, let's see here. D-pad or left something, gas, brake, handbrake, horn, look back. All right, straight forward. Wow, we've unlocked like no one. I got the need for speed. Honey. I'm Bart Simpson. Who the hell are you? Everyone better stay out of my way. Get ready for electric speed. Oh dear. And apparently we also have Grandpa unlocked. Look where you going, you idiot! Which, let's be real, we're picking Grandpa. Because we don't have anyone else. Uh, last time looks like we were on Springfield Dam, so I guess let's go there. You never beat Hit and Run? I, I played it for university of all things. Uh, some people who worked on the game taught us some classes. But uh, yeah, no, never beat it. You simpering fool, get that rattle trap off the road. Oh, I sure hope I don't fall asleep at the wheel. All right, I'll work the pedals and you steer. Jazz station, please. Hey, a man can't live on heavy metal alone, can he? I'm afraid of the future. All right, so the only thing I remember is that there's like stunts you can do and that there's a lot of shortcuts. It's pretty much all I remember about this game other than being crazy taxi, so. Run along now. That trip went all the way to 11. Get in the blooming car already. Yeah, time for some mass destruction, man. Get out and shut up. Oh yeah, we tried to jump. I actually, I'm starting to remember this now because I tried to jump off this cliff and I couldn't, and that upset me. I do remember being bummed out about that. Get in space. Well, well, also the Simpsons game is very Simpsons. Holy shit! Bye, March. How dare you defy me? Trying to car has no power. Bye. Keep hitting things and it doesn't destroy them. I'm alone. Oh well. Hey, that was pretty good for a lame wad. Hop in, Mo. Time's a wasting. Avoid traffic for bonus. All right, I'll pay handsomely. No talking while I'm driving. Can I hit Marge? Does that count as a bonus or lack of bonus? Is she traffic? Wait, wait, that's the horn from Jump Around. <laughs> Why was that in there? That's literally the start of Jump Around. Is that you? I can't see all that well. Don't worry, Grandpa. Are you my I'll brother, be right today. Back in my day, we called sandwiches. You are his brother. Freddy. I can see the resemblance even under that mask. Why was that in the game? <laughs> I'm glad everyone else is just like, yeah, no, you're right. It's just a sample they put in for some weird reason. Hi, Marge. Bye, Marge. Going to jail for that? Get out of my motor car. Awesome, man. That was the best ride ever. Hi, Homer. Oh, stop your daydreaming, melon head, and get in the car. Why are you so mean to me, Dad? No talking while I'm driving. Well, it's about time. 
Not dead. I almost spilled my Sunday. God, I forgot how they just don't, don't shut up in this game. They just kind of go, huh? Hi, Marge. Bye, Marge. Also, I can't help but notice I've been going to the same two or three places. Nothing has really changed. Oh, I bit my tongue. There you go. And here's your tip. Stay in school. Do I like The Simpsons? I'm Canadian. Of course I like The Simpsons. What year is this? It's like a requirement to be Canadian. You have to just be able to quote The Simpsons at a moment's notice. Marge does not count as an object. Good to know. I'm missing a lot of the things it wants me to break, so I think I should be... Not getting that bonus from Bumblebee, man. And we barely made that jump. Oh no! I guess I complained enough about not getting to work, uh, getting to do anything else, and the game obliged me. Uh oh! Uh oh! Uh oh! Bumblebee, man, no! Oh, that was the buzzer I was hearing. Uh oh. Hop in, Quimby. Didn't the car already? Could you please drive me to my fabulous mansion? Sit down and shut up. I would, but there's this giant vehicle in the way. I assume that's on purpose. Extended warranty. How could I lose? Me fail English. That's impossible. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Super Nintendo Chalmers. Oh, God. I'm not going to clear that, am I? Nope. Well, we're dead. What's the big idea? Oh, God. Oh, this is an area I can be in. Oh, no. No, oh, never mind. It's a Shriner's car. We've got all the power we need. Quimby, you want to be in the front of your house? Come on, man. I thought you wanted to stop in the pool. Can't believe I made that. Homer, we already gave you a ride. Why are you hanging out at Quimby's house? You're only prolonging the inevitable, my friend. This just sounds like a mishmash of insanity with the way the voice clips are just going off constantly. Get the lead out. All right, well, we might have time to do another one in this case. <laughs> Didn't think we were going to make it, did you? Your driving is adequate, but lacks passion. You're with me now. Please take me to a Jittery Joe's. Sit down and shut up. Damn it, I should have took that shortcut instead of taking the long way. We're going to get there at this rate. Damn it! I want that bonus! Look where you're going, yet, idiot! There you Jump go. around! Thank you very much for the adequate lift. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, there we go. Come on, Ralph. Fireworks make my ears yell! Back in my day, we called sandwiches Flat Freddy! Did that Sam bring him to interesting home? Along, milkshakes. Ralph, you lead a weird life. I bet my Wookie. And I got stuck. Get him, Smithers. There's my pelvis. Hi, Marge. Bye, Marge. You win this round. Back. Oh god, it's Snake. Just get me out of here, dude. Get out and shut up. No, I oh I missed her that time, damn it. Get him, Smithies. You regret this. 
totally awesome, dude. Oh, get out and go about Damn it. Your business. Next time I'll just steal the car. No, I'm fucked. I should have got the person behind me. No. Would somebody tell me what just happened? I can't tell if I did good or not, because I kept having to do the same thing over and over. Did I do good? There's no reverse. Oh, there is. I just thought the other one was closer. It's a high score thing. I mean, I know, but I thought I had to unlock stuff. Insane. Yay. I beat my previous ranking, apparently. I'm gonna assume that other John is me. Oh, okay, I need to hit a to- Oh, fuck you. Ah, oh, that sucks. I've seen circus chimps who drive better than you do. Damn it. Well, I guess let's do another one. Uh, who are we taking this time? I got the need for speed. Money. I guess this is just play as Homer, I guess. Homer. Homer. We can lock Willie soon, hopefully. Uh, let's go to Entertainment District. Best slash worst line in this game, Homer saying, get in, I've got candy. Oh my god. Favorite Simpsons character. Um. Hmm. Sorriest excuse for a vehicle I've ever seen. I've if it's a if it's a one shot, Hank Scorpio. If it's a recurring character, probably Homer or Ramier Wolfcastle. You have any bar bags? I don't feel so good. That was too easy. I uh, had no idea you could drive so fast. Side so, Side show Bob, also definitely up there for sure. Troy McClure, also excellent choices. There's a lot of excellent choices, basically. Like, you can't, there's not really a wrong answer. Maggie? I mean, Maggie did shoot Mr. Burns, so I'd say, if anything, she was part of that interesting storyline. Oh, nice. We already did the mission. That was way easier than the other one was. Out of the way, bus. And then they retconned that? Wait, they retconned it? Why? I get some people didn't like it. Chief Wiggum, uh, how can I be of law abiding service? Drive with extreme prejudice. Girl, ask, I need to see booty. The what now? All right. Thanks for the left. Willie. What part of get in don't you understand? Take me to the dating service. Willie's lonely. Whatever. There was a one-off joke Homer said where he says, okay, if this fails, I'm blaming the baby like I, when I shot Mr. Burns. Aw. Eh. Yeah, that's a weird retcon attempt. That's the spicy meat the ball. I still ain't tipping yet. I'm Scottish. <laughs> Let's do this thing. I want to go to the box factory. Are you my brother, Rex Racer? To the box factory! I can see the resemblance even under that mask. Egg! Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. Oh, I didn't even realize I had a challenge. Are you great or really great? My cat's breast smells like cat food. Get in. I 
you got candy. Hey, hey. And there's that line. <laughs> now shut up and drive. Oh, can I come? What? <laughs> Careful. Comedy legend on board. Some of these lines are very concerning when paired together. I hope you didn't puke. Man, that ride was over faster than Chevy Chase's talk show. Hello, Apu. Hello, Mr. Homer. You are looking as fat and lazy as ever. All right, well, those vehicles are fighting, so I'll leave them be. Mistakes were made. Break these tiny cars. That's slightly bigger one. Thank you. Thank you for your prompt service. Perhaps we can do business in the future. It's crashing time. All right. Take me to the tattoo parlor, dude. Boring. Destroy objects. Meanwhile, everything is just a car. Which does not count as an object, apparently. Am I going to be able to do this one? Uh-oh. I might have took too long doing that. I also might have gone the wrong way, which also didn't help. Oh, I super went the wrong way. Yeah, he jumped out. I fucked up. What do you mean, game over? Womp womp. Chevy Chase had a talk show? I had no idea either. That's news to me, too. Wasn't a scrap plot that Homer was actually Krusty? Yeah, there were two scrap plots right from the beginning. One was having Krusty's real identity be Homer, and the other was Marge being a rabbit. Your rating is reckless. Like, she had ears under her hair, and that's why she kept it so high. Jump around! Uh, ooh, ooh, mmm. I want new areas, but I also want a new vehicle. Oh, man, why do I have to choose? <laughs> <sighs> All right, vehicle. Who do we get? I've seen circus chimps who drive better than you do. Oh, we get to choose. Oh. Ooh, there's Willie and Ned, and there's Mr. Plow. Okay, Homer gets to get in there twice. I really like Willie. But Snake's all, and Otto are also there, and Ned. Ooh. Frank is the best choice, trust me. What does Frank even have? A flying car! Oh. Maybe, maybe we should do that one. Monkey is going to pay. All right, well, there you go. The flying car literally ignores the environment of the game. Well, we're doing that then. Uh, come on, Frank. Let's go to Evergreen Terrace. Honk the horn when you start. Frank is also legit the fastest car in the game. Interesting. Homer's here three times in the game. The car built for Homer is in this game as well. Just have to beat mission mode. Transit, my low functioning friend. Leave the driving to us. So happy to be on the road with the driving, and the steering, and the cell phone related mishaps. Hi, hi. I need to go to the Quickie Mart to get zip cream. Yeah, Nards, this was your choice. You you put it in, and you won. Your game won the poll. The lovely alarm you have there, Frank. That was Frank Tastic, if I say so myself. What? You're the best driver I've ever seen. 
Welcome, fellow Earthway. Hey, Why are you going to Skinner's house? To go to Skinner's. He's making me hose off his mother. All right. Ew. Ew. Uh oh. See you around, silly person. That was the best trip I ever had. Where to, land traveler? Uh, to the church, please, and I'll expect to see you there on Sunday. Superior technology breeds superior results. <laughs> Don't eat beef. Why don't you watch oh God. Going? oh God oh God oh wow, God that was incredible hallelujah Did you see the AGDQ bit that spoofs team ham no I barely watched AGQ at all I watched awful block and that was it hey hey where can I take you no es facile. Joy. why are we going to Lovejoy's house with Bumblebee man? It's a little concerning. Uh oh. There we go. How much did GQ raise this year? 3.4 million, I heard? They they set a record again. I think they basically had like one year where they didn't break the record and then they came back in like full form this year. From what I vaguely remember. Is this any way to treat a celebrity? <laughs> You're faster than Joey Heatherton. Hey, All right, Edna. Hey, where can I take you? Grocery store, please. <laughs> Another microwave meal for one for dinner. Superior technology breeds superior results. <laughs> Thank you for riding. I give that ride a C. Uh, there we go. March. Hi, hi. Can you no being run over this time. School? Maggie's ready to come home. Superior technology breeds superior results. <laughs> Out of the way. Professor Frank rides again. Thanks for the ride. Wiggum. We are two land traveler. Can you take me home? Thieves stole my police car. All right then. <laughs> Not even remotely shocked on that one. Someone said Edna was the worst one to drive in the Game Boy Advance version. I forgot this game even had a Game Boy Advance version. How was it? Whoa. I would assume not as fleshed out as this one is. Whoa, that was incredible. Thanks for the ride. I miss ya. Hey, hey, where can I take you? It went crazy on Mode 7. I would expect so. I've got my eye on their big screen. Joy! Damn it, I have to destroy things, but nothing wants to be destroyed or it's already destroyed. There we go. A good lord. Thank you for riding. Thanks for the lift, dude. Alright, he's getting a ride this time. Comic book guy. Warp speed. Alright then. To Willie's house. Could you please drive a little faster? I would love to. I feel like I'm actually not doing things right because of this. Get him, Smithers. Well, then again, then I keep doing shit like this, so. You haven't seen the last of me. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Okay, we're lying back. Oh, I didn't mean to hit a person. I stayed uh, on my side too long. The game thought that's actually the way I was supposed to be moving. Excelsior. Worst trip ever. Willie! Oh, no, damn it. Failure with the crying and the blaming and the calls to mommy. Damn it, damn it, damn it.
feel like there's so many Simpsons games about driving. I mean, because driving usually is the easiest kind of game to make. It's literally what they kind of tell you to do as a starter game when you're learning. At least that's what the people hey, hey, in my class has told us. Insane. I need 8,000 more to unlock something else. And that's all the stages we can do, so let's go do a mission, I guess. I've seen circus chimps who drive better than you do. My favorite characters? We only got one mission to do, too. Willie's Paper Shredder. Mr. Burns has bought up the Springfield Shopper and filled the paper with pro-transit propaganda. Willie won't stand for it. He needs to seek out and destroy 12 of 20 newspaper boxes before time runs out. Is that a live bagel feed? It is a live bagel feed, even though he is sleepy. Just to show it, here's my hand. And there is him moving. He has stolen my chair again. He only stole it because I sat up to turn this game on. You won't get away with this, Burns. Whoops. What is that sound they're making? Hold it together, Willie. What is that sound supposed to be? I mean, it's distinct enough that I can definitely tell I'm getting it. There we go. Need two more. Oh, fuck. Eh, eh, eh. Oh, I missed it. Damn it. Almost. Sure, next mission? Sure. Eh, eh, eh. Eh, eh, eh. Dude, Lisa's mission part in mission mode is the worst. Well, we're probably not getting there anytime soon, I'd imagine probably later on the list. Let's see here. Yeah, she's number eight. Oh, don't hit the trees, I guess. That sounds awful. Homer on the run. Mr. Burns found out that Homer left work to watch the baseball game and is planning to sneak back into work. Bart has to drive Homer back to work without being hit by Mr. Burns. Do we plan on doing Mario Party DS with Emil and Tim when you get together with them again in person? It's been on my mind since eight wrapped up. Yeah, I thought we officially confirmed that. We're doing we're doing DS at some point. Boy, remember what Daddy told you about being responsible and showing up to work on time? Well, it's all a lie. Homer, that's America to me. <laughs> I mean, that's fair enough. I'll accept that one. Crap, these are walls. These are just all... Yeah, it's all. There's no sneaking back. Even I Shut up, Homer. Just saw Windjammers 2 getting added to Xbox Game Pass. Yeah, Windjammers 2 officially comes out, I believe, tomorrow. So, uh, that'll probably show up at some point on stream. I would imagine. Remember Are you thinking about adding Masay to it or keeping it AI? For Mario Party DS, it's going to be AI. Well, it's all don't I don't ever see the core Mario Party games for TRG ever changing, so don't expect the fourth player for those. Maybe something different like... Why do you torment me so? I did not expect him to just dash at me immediately. Oh, shit. Uh, I wouldn't, for any of the core Mario Party games, don't expect anyone but the three of us in AI. Yeah, I know if Burns caught me, it was game over. I just didn't expect him to instantly teleport into me, basically. Like, he just boosted out of, like, no movement. I expected acceleration. <laughs> or uh, it, slower acceleration, maybe. Boy, remember what Daddy told you about being responsible and showing up to work on time? 
Well, it's all a lie. Homer, that's America to me. All right, so now the question is, what do I have to do? I'd probably just do this, right? Yep. I am so smart. I am so smart. S-M-R-T. I mean, S-M-A-R-T. Can't believe they've re-recorded that. You'd think they would have had the original still. Hey, sleepy boy. How is it we can't get you to relax and calm down unless you steal a chair from someone? You have your own chair. Just use your own chair. Barney's Rage. Barney had a rough night and he's gonna take it out on the town's various mascots. He needs to find and knock over at least 12 mascots before time runs out. See, John, you gotta get him a luxury sofa. He has his own sofa. It's literally like in the background behind him. He has his own sofa he can sleep on. No one else uses it. Only him. Mascots everywhere! Or maybe I'm seeing double again. Who knows? Barney driving the Plow King truck? No, not again. He is, holy shit. Also, it looks like I went very much the wrong way. Yeah, this is very much the wrong way. gonna go ahead and do that you buy an identical chair and swap it when he takes it I mean yeah problem is I can't move the chair back as much as I usually do because I actually the spot I moved it last time he took the chair is currently occupied with a bunch of games I haven't put in the backlogger yet and I don't want to damage them because I oh, might have already moving the chair to get him there in the first place I'm seeing double again. Who knows? Whoa! Where'd the ground go? Uh oh. All right. Is that the one I hit earlier? It's yep. Look out. Hey. I regret nothing. Uh oh. Ooh. It begins. I think it began a while ago, Barney. No, not again. There we go. Thank God. I don't want to take that trip again anytime soon. It's not even Springfield's mascot. You're right. That is this capital city goofball. That's why he takes your chair, because the cat's like body heat and owner smell. If you sit in his chair, he won't uh, he won't steal yours. I mean, I figured as much. But he didn't take it earlier when I would get out of it. Like, he literally only does it when it's inconvenient. Like, he knows. It's time for Otto's annual driving test. If he can knock over 15 of 20 streetlights at the mini mall before time runs out, he'll get to keep his license. I don't understand. The champagne was not alcoholic. All right, time to renew the old driver's license. Damn it! Take that, dude! I can't get over that sound. Wicked. What is that supposed to be? It was already weird enough that fucking jump around was there. Whoa, that was gnarly, man. Got it. Nope, fuck that up. Did I miss an estimate for when the next Runaway Guys video that isn't orange juice comes up? No, because we don't know. <laughs> Tim has moved to Emil's house at the moment is trying to find a new place to live. So uh, currently, 
recordings are up in the air because uh, Tim needs to build up a recording machine because I don't know if our current stuff will allow us to do Discord with me and those two in person. Also, they're kind of distracted with everything else as a result. We were supposed to be recording tomorrow, but considering no one has said anything, I'm going to assume that is not happening. Wait, hope they're okay. Wait, what's... No, I said he's moving. What did you think I said? Tim's perfectly fine. He's moving. As in getting a new place to live. It's nothing bad. What did, what did Chad think I said? <laughs> what did Chad think I said? A bunch of people are going, oh, thank God. Someone said he was evicted. No, he wasn't evicted. No, he just moved. <laughs> he literally just wanted to move to a different state to be near people he knew. That's it. We thought he was moving because he lost his place. You said he didn't have a place. Oh, yeah, because he's moving. That's what happens. You don't have a place when you're moving. He's at a meals to find a place to move to. He's literally in another state. He doesn't have a place in that state because he is moving. I think that might have been a bit of a leap on you guys' part, but all right. Tim was not evicted, guys. I mean, people usually have a place before moving. Not always. Not always. Especially if you have someone you know you can stay with for a bit. No. I've definitely seen people move and not have a place right away. Alright, Snake's day off. Snake out on patrol and has decided to wreak havoc at the power plant as part of his community service. If he runs over 20 barrels of nuclear waste, Mr. Burns won't have any fuel left for the buses. What? Dude, I'm never gonna get over this fucking sound effect. I'm gonna be hearing this in my dreams. Uh-oh, is it, okay, are they, are they all, the rest of them in here, or are they out? Where are they? Uh-oh. Yeah, I fucked up, I should've stayed in there, huh? Shit. Just gonna restart that then. Can that sound effect be our raid message? God, I hope not. I know it's gonna be at least one egg tonight, knowing, knowing chat. On an unrelated topic, the Mario Party Mega Project will be extended with the story mode of those games or with similar party games. I mean, like, we're gonna do, like, the spin-off ones, if that's what you're asking about. But, like, I wouldn't count, like, Sonic Shuffle as a Mario Party game or anything like that. Well, fuck that one up. Oh, they are literally everywhere. Yikes. 
These ones I didn't get before. You know, what would be helpful? Would it be it actually being on the map? That would be helpful. This town is so dumb. This town is going to pay for this. I do Mario Party Advance, but just because this is the topic, is there any plan for it? I don't particularly care myself. It'll probably happen. It'll probably happen just so we can say we did it. Honestly, this would have been the best time to do it. But we didn't record it because it just, we weren't sure. But genuinely, this probably would have been the best time for us to have done Mario Party Advance. Oh. Oh, I got it. What the fuck? What the fuck? Smithers, get the fuck out of it, you asshole. Do you remember the Simpsons bit that parodied Indiana Jones? Oh, yeah, you like the, the waking up, stealing the jar of pennies? I remember that. That's real early Simpsons, too. Is Mario Party Advance the same thing as the e-reader Mario Party? No, Mario Party Advance was a single-player Mario Party game where you had to go around doing missions for other characters. Ah, there is one there. Okay. There we go, around the tower. All right, we're getting it this time. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Done. Oh, yeah, you're I'm realizing that this game isn't the best at signposting things. Yeah, it could be a little better. Let's see what the next mission is, but then we're we're done so. We're gonna go to the cookie. As Bagel continues to sleep on. Have you and the guys considered doing any crash games on the channel? None of us grew up with crash, so probably not. They'll never take me alive! Grandpa Simpson forgot to take his medication and is convinced the garbage cans along the road are out to get him. He needs to knock over at least 12 garbage cans before time runs out. Jesus. That's only 10 total missions. Wow, that's it? Alright, that's not terrible. That's already half of them we just did. I can't believe I can't watch the closing movie without having beaten the game. Okay. All right, let's go to the cookie. I recall some of the later missions being hard, but yeah, it's not a long game. Yeah, people already warned me about the Lisa Simpson mission, apparently. Even if you didn't grow up with Crash, Crash Team Racing is basically Mario Kart done right. Really? I played, was it Crash Nitro Kart on the PS2? I wasn't really into it. Alright. Nitro Kart is very different. Nitro Kart sucks. That's because it is Nitro Kart. They are very different games. CTR is basically Diddy Kong Racing. It's real good. CTR is loads better than Crash Nitro Kart. Crash Nitro Kart is the better... Or Crash Team Racing is the better... What? And Crash Team Racing is the better game. CTR and CTR Nitro Field are good. Nitro Kart isn't as good as Team Racing, but I still... Alright, fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough, then. Apparently, it is very different. CTR was lightning in a bottle. They never really matched it. So, that's... CTR is the PS1 one, right? Just to make sure I'm remembering correctly here.
Okay. Yeah, I've never played the PS1 one, so I can't say for sure on that one. I never played the remastered, I never played the original. Alright, our next five games for this round of cookie. We'll take our usual breaks after these as well. So game number one. Hang on, since I'm not in my usual spot, I have to move everything around. From Reflexor. It's uh, Ready to Rumble Boxing Round 2. Here's the thing, though. I have that on a couple different systems. They never specified which system. Uh, do I have that for PS2? It doesn't look like it. Oh, yes, I do. Yeah, now I have it for PS2. We'll save PS2, then. I also have it for Dreamcast, worst case. Uh, game number two from Halberdier V2. Mega Man Battle Network 2 for the Game Boy Advance. Yes, RPGs are allowed on these. Game number three, and this is why I laughed earlier. From one of my own mods. From Deep Dragon. Outer Wilds on Steam. <laughs> it gets a second chance. Uh, game number four from Ringman77, Just Cause 2 for Steam. It's really weird not seeing the game tiles on the screen. I know, it throws me off too. I mean, I can do this again if you want. I can just put it on this mode if this is better for you guys. But I, you know, there's something about the music and everything that feels very fortune cookie to me, so it's up to you. Because you're not going to see what I'm typing in no matter what. It's on a completely different window. This is nice, that's better. This mode is better, this is a bit better. All right, I'll stick with this then if you want. All right, and then last but not least for this round of cookie from Smash Briotes. Super Smash Brothers for 3DS. All right. Red Rumble Boxing Round 2, Mega Man Battle Network 2, Outer Wilds, Just Cause 2, and Smash Brothers for 3 DS. Let's go. Oh, I did something wrong, didn't I? Yep. Okay, well, I gotta hop the intermission then for a second. I gotta figure out why that didn't take. Oh, Everything's set correctly. Unless it expired in between, in between rounds. Yep, there we go. I don't know why. It just it need it just didn't work. It, I tried again and it worked fine. Alright, currently in the lead. Oh, currently in the lead is... Oh, really, guys? Smash Brothers for 3DS. For 3DS. Uh, 101 votes, 41% of the vote. Outer Wilds in second place, 72 votes, 24%. Mega Man Battle Network 2, 70 votes, 19%. Just Cause 2, 38 votes, 9%. And Ready to Rumble Boxing, round 2. For the PlayStation 2, 25 votes, 5%. Smash Brothers leads 179 to 140. Let's throw a minute up on that clock and see what happens. Stop. Wait, do you not like the 3DS Smash? No, I like it! I just... You guys are just predictable. That's more what I'm commenting on than anything. I love Smash Run. I think that's a fantastic mode. I'm 
We like what we like? Yeah, fair enough. All right, 201 to 175. Smash Brothers for 3DS looking like it's going to take it pretty handedly. 612 votes total there. That gap is about 30 votes, a little under. Don't think I see it closing anytime soon, but there's going to be an attempt. And there it is. Smash Brothers takes it. Smash Brothers game is up next. All right, so now we're going to do our usual break jazz, drop eggs, and etc. and etc. Check them all. There we go. List is shuffled. These choices don't get a second chance if they don't win, right? Correct. To have another chance, you got to spend more points again. It was done just to make sure that uh, the list could get gun gotten through in the first place. All right, let's drop some eggs. Uh, and before we do that, the next five people that are going to be on this list are going to be McJohnson, King Broly, V Shinobi, Bird Robin, and Pseudobite. So Those are going to be the next five people with their games up, and we'll find out what the games are later. Oh my god, why is everyone... what's going on here? Alright, King Monty, Boss123, Wishmakers, and Lady Andy Social, thank you all for the gift subs and sub bombs. Blazing Brazen, thank you for the new sub. Welcome to the Egg Pack. Everyone else, thank you all for hanging out and subbing as long as y'all have it. Always appreciate it. Special shout outs to. Let me skim here. Chaos King1236, who's at 93. I saw 97. Wolf Samurai at 97. I see an 88 as well from Scully Pendra. There's a lot of long timers here. Thank you all for hanging around as long as y'all have. Your eggs tonight are courtesy of the following people. Vishnu says, I forgot to put the system for my game, so it's your choice for system. Ooh, ah, uh, ooh, ooh. Uh, it might already be installed on PC, so I might do the PC one. But worst case, I can just slap in the 360 disc and it'll go right away. We'll, fi we'll, we'll see. We'll figure it out. I probably won't do PC gaming until I can get my chair back. Because uh, I don't have full access to my keyboard, basically. Sorry, I got your message. I'll, I'll refund that now, and then that'll give you the points back to do another one whenever you want. There you go. Done. Sorry about that. Uh, from Game Fan, John can't get inside his home. What? Oh, Where the fuck is that? Where the fuck is that? What? The hell's happening? What? <laughs> Where the fuck is Red? Where the fuck is Red? How come Red won't let me in my house? Is Red did Red lock the door on me? Or was my key called red? Uh, I got this marked as a skip, so I'm going to bounce past that. Private Butter with, you will give me an eh. Which is an A. You will give me... Oh. Why did I expect it to be anything other than that? You will give me... It's very quiet, though, by comparison. All right, we're going to go to break. When we come back, I'll have some co-coms, and we will be playing Smash Brothers for the 3DS. See you guys in a bit.
buddy, I gotta move. Mister, if I stand up, will, it, will you stay on camera? I can put the camera here if you want. We're gonna see what happens when I stand up. Alerts will still show up. Alerts are on top of this. Alright, mister, I'm gonna sit down. That's gonna move things again. Goldman! Do you know what you're doing? <laughs> I don't. What? guy. 
It must be a lot of hard work complaining about not being able to go outside because it's too cold. Huh. <sighs> And some prime sea salt. Yo, he f he screams when he can't go out. He's so mad. He hates it. Tomorrow is supposed to be back in the positives. Like right now, it's minus eighteen. I think. Tomorrow it's plus seven, five, somewhere like that. So the snow is gonna be melting. So he'll be happy and he'll actually go out. Cat sleep for eighteen hours a day. He'll be waiting a while. No bagel, don't. He's not at that point yet. He sleeps maybe for five, it feels like. Plus five tomorrow with wet snow. Ew. Okay, maybe not the best. Maybe not the best. Let's quickly read some alerts, wait for COCOMs to hop on or unmute themselves in some cases. And then we're good to go. Lady Andy Social says, happy early birthday to Beefaroo. That's correct, Beefaroo's birthday is the 20th, so when it hits midnight here, or if it's already past midnight, we're in your time zone, it's Beefaroo's birthday. There's gonna be a bunch of that in our block. What's your favorite soda? I don't drink soda, so nothing. Random All Ryu says, Hey John, just wanted to say that apartment hunting is a pain. Wish me luck, please. Good luck, Ryu. Been there looking for places. It sucks, but you can do it. You can find what you need. Leandy Social says, have enough bits to cow. Here's to this new type of fortune cookie. Faison Farmer says, the Proton Bagel has claimed his throne and taken my seat as a result. You little rascal. I'd pet you, but that would wake you up. Um, Twilight Cario says, take some luck. Thanks, I'm going to need it to get my chair back. Crazy Crash 546 says, question for you, John. When you were getting Bagel, were there ever any other names for Bagel instead of Bagel? Like, what else would you have named him? Well, his original name was Chip. That was the name he had at the shelter. Uh, but funny enough, I think we've talked about this before. Bagel wasn't his original name. It was for a different cat we went to the shelter to get. But when we got there, the cat was already taken. So uh, they showed us a couple other cats, and Chip was one of them. And uh, he was sick, so he curled up in my lap and fell asleep. And they were like, I, I think this is the one. And uh, yeah, we brought him home, called him Bagel. And then we found out he, like, he was quiet and peaceful because he had been sick. And when he had his own place, he got very wild and loud and energetic. So he was very much not the cat we expected to get. Unknown Anime says, second diva chair fun? I think if I was going to get another chair, I don't think it would be... I think it wouldn't be like a gamer chair at this point. I love the design. But I think I'm just gonna get like an actual office chair or maybe one of those. Maybe I'll actually splurge for the Herman Millers. But maybe not the gamer one since the gamer one is ungodly expensive. Pick something that's actually a bit more reasonable in price. Fun Road Rage Facts says. No, apparently this one's too long. A prototype of Road Rage from E3 2001 was leaked to Hidden Palace in 2017, and among other things, it featured four licensed songs hidden on its disc that are not in the game's final build. 
Highway to Hell by ACDC, Two Tickets to Paradise, and Take Me Home Tonight by Eddie Money, and perhaps more, most bizarrely, Money City Maniacs by Sloan. The first two songs having been featured in prior Simpsons episodes. The common theory is that a Crazy Taxi-esque licensed soundtrack was planned, but scrapped very early in development. Fair enough, I'm actually surprised they got to make the game in the first place. But I mean, it worked, and it ended up being pretty popular, and that's what led to uh, Hit and Run, so... Rio9 says, I'm trying to imagine a physical cookie jar where you pull out fortune cookies for game suggestions. But now I'm curious. Is the jar shaped like Robert Cop's head, a Wesker egg, a sitting beefaroo, a standing bagel, or something worthy of Jumping and Tiger? Uh, to be fair, out of those five descriptions, the egg and Robert Cop's helmet are the most shaped for it because they have easy breaks that you could put in there. Beef Ruin Bagel would also work since, you know, they've got the, the heads you could remove. So I think it would be one of those four. I don't think it would be any any female alts or any, any boobs or anything like that. I think those four fit the best. Or as Jomini just said in chat, never mind, he pulls them out of Rosa's cleavage. Just ask Rosa, just put them all in her bra. She, just, she carries it over and complains the entire time. No, I, th I think the Robber Cop head is the, is the one. Fanfiction Dreamer says, Bagel's lucky he's cute because he's such a brat. I would like to give you and Reese a coaster that says, It's really the cat's house, I just pay the mortgage. Yeah, he's that kind of cat. Crytoxin says, Guess what game of all series got its own anime announced today? Shenmue! My mind is boggled by this as much as Microsoft buying Activision. The game world keeps getting crazier and crazier with every passing day. Uh, Crytoxin, what are you talking about? The Shenmue anime got announced, like, months ago. It's on Adult Swim. That was announced months ago. It was, yeah. We just got a trailer for it today, which was kind of cool. I'm, I'm interested in it. Did it get a new trailer? Because it had a trailer back when it got announced originally. Uh, there was a new trailer today, from what I saw. Ah, okay, that'd be why. New trailer, then. Yeah. Gotcha. Yoke the joke. Oh, no message on that one. Thanks, Yoke. Pickletron XD says, For those who may not have enough channel points to suggest a game for Cookie... The higher tier subscriptions give larger point multipliers. Tier 1 gets 1.2 times points, tier 2 is 1.4 times, and tier 3 subs get double the channel points to sub so subscribe at tier 3 today. Pickletron, you're really saving me the trouble of shilling myself out because you do a better job than I ever could, I think. Thank you. And yes, they are, they are correct. Higher tier subs do get more points. It used to be all subs got the same amount, but then apparently Twitch changed it. Because it used to be double for, for subs no matter what. Anonymous says, Hey John, have a bit of this payday happiness. Going to start university tomorrow? I'm studying to major in English literature and college level teaching. Please use this, use this to buy Bad End Theater on Steam. P.S. Help one of my classes is on campus in Cali. Oh god, good luck. Good luck, Anon. Thank you. I'll go make sure I pick up that game after stream. Rhyme says, where's my boy? He needs his little birthday kisses from me. Oh, happy birthday to Beefaroo from Beefaroo's mother, Rhyme. Smashing Ellie says, fun fact, every early, no, every version of the Simpsons game has different box art for each console. Yeah, a couple games do that from time to time. And Anonymous says, dip, dropping some for the birthday luck. Coming up in three-ish days. Happy early birthday, Anon. With that, let's go. Oh, God damn it. Tenmar, did you actually? Yes, he did. Ugh. <laughs> Where'd you even get a clean rip of that? Does, like, audio so, resource have it? Sound resource? So we're adding that in an alert, right? What would it even do? What would even could happen a, in the alert? Could be another warrior just could have, like, I don't know, like one of the Simpsons characters driving and then they crash and it's just that sound effect as they hit things. <laughs> I guess. See, my only thought process right now is like, yeah, like it, it's a clear sound effect, but the fuck do we do with it? Other than I just, just give you an idea. <laughs> other than just randomly pressing the button. You know, some people have like uh, channel point rewards where they can play a sound effect. You could just like start with that one. I've thought about that, and I'm like, no, we'd never, we'd never hear like alerts are enough sounds. I feel adding that into the mix would be chaos. Yeah, oh, my worry. My worry, I think, with that one would be uh, 
let's say you're reading a donation or something and it's very heartfelt and then just a sound effect goes off and it's just like a clown horn or something yeah that'd be uh, kind of bad <laughs> yeah that's kind of why i don't do it mister yeah pet also, the cat I put the chicken on a test but how do i how am i coming through thank you for the coming through good that was very dirty <laughs> yeah thank you John, I have a request. Can you give him a snack? I don't have any snacks nearby. Oh. His treat bag is, is over there. I can get up and get it, but he's likely going to get up and get out of the chair if I do. Well, your finger will have to do. Thank you. Thank you for the clean. Thank you for the clean. Here. Clean your head. All right. He's hopping off cam because we're about to go to our block. Everyone say bye, bagel. Will he be there when <laughs> we come back? Me. We'll find out. Oh, Our block starts here with this picture from Ditto, a finished version of the picture they did last stream. Remember that work in progress I posted yesterday? Well, I finished it. I first watched Who Framed Roger Rabbit last year, and I can see how my lesbian friend fell head over heels for Jessica Rabbit when she first appeared on screen. And watching you, or at least listening to it in the background, play this game made me want to watch the movie again. It's a fun movie from what I remember. And yeah, she's definitely kind of meant to be maximum sex appeal, so I can definitely see how anyone into the female form or just into girls in general would definitely kind of go for that. Thank you, Ditto. Roger Rabbit is definitely a good movie. It's one I've watched numerous times growing up. A bunch of people were pointing out in chat, too, while we play the game. It's like the only movie that has both Warner Brothers characters like the Looney Tunes and Disney characters. Yes. It's, it's yes. like an insane crossover. Yes. Mika says, I drew Rosa Rabbit since Who Framed Roger Rabbit was played on Monday. I used her dancing pose in the game as a reference for the pose. Nice. Her, her powerful dabbing slash elbowing pose. Thank you, Mika. Her rose chasing pose, as we learned. Next up, from Junko, Chinese New Year Countdown Challenge Day 19, Cat John with a knife. Nice. Looks ready for some Christmas stabbing, actually, with that outfit. Thank you, Junko. She was too much for me. I mean, that's fair. That's entirely fair. Jessica was one character who gave me a thing for plump lips. Again, I can also see that. I'm pretty <laughs> sure she's one of the reasons I'm into, like, big boobs. Would not surprise me. She gave a thing. She gave a lot of guys a lot of things. Yeah. She's created leg men, boob men, thigh men, all, all kinds of men. And women. Ice and women. Man, say, and women, as we read earlier. All right, from Gabri19. Hello, everyone. After having such a blast drawing my art piece from last week and cracking up at everyone's reactions to it, I figured I would continue drawing Rosa John's adventures and misadventures at the Pancake Festival. This art piece takes place before the shin ramming incident where Rosa, Luma, and Bifaru are enjoying the festival buying some souvenirs and eating some tasty grub. All of a sudden, Pancake Lad, the god of pancakes in this universe, ca crosses their path, and being the massive fan of pancakes she is, Rosa John cannot help but gush over them for bringing such a tasty treat into the world. However, Hyper Cole, after hitting the syrup again, watches the group from a distance with his trusty Luma companion, ready to steal some pancakes. How will this interaction play out post shin ramming? Tune in to the coming week to find out. Enjoy. <laughs> Thanks, Capri. Hitting the syrup again is a phrase. He hits it hard, apparently. With his head. Fun Roger Rabbit fact. Disney would only allow its characters to be used if they were on screen for the exact same amount of time as the Warner Brothers characters. Not really? Su not surprised. Yeah. I can see that. Uh, Camp Pancakes. Pancake Festival 2022. Wow, it's Pancake Lad. Thank you for everything, dude. Meow. You're welcome, Dalek. I'm so glad I was able to make it this year. <laughs> ah, wait for it. Look at him. Look at him. Sharp chompers Cole's got. Damn. I like how there's a little bit of popcorn there for Beefaroo, and then there's a little bottle of syrup for Cole. And he, Beefaroo's even got like a little pancake hat and a Pancake Festival 22 shirt. Nice. They're all standing around the pancake tree, too, with their little pancake balloons. Very pancake. Thank you, Gabri. Next up. Oops. From Jay Zumi. Uh, sorry, Zumini, rather, because it's mini. Uh, from Jay Zumini. Hey, everyone, it's been a while since I last posted something on the Buru, but here I am once again with some silly art. 
So I was watching Monday's VOD during a really depressive mind space to help me cope a bit. It really ended up helping a lot, even to the point it got me out of a two-year artist block, besides school stuff, of course. Excuse me. Uh, so here is John with a Jessica Rabbit-inspired suit in all its sparkly glory, fashion glasses included. Once again, thanks uh, for making your stream such a safe place that it helps me and others cope when things are going bad or feelings are on a bit of the messy side. No worries. Glad to be of service. Thank you for the lovely art, and hopefully things are better for you. I'm hoping I, things uh, work out. If I may ask, who is Vincent? I don't think I've ever heard him on his voice on Kokon. Vincent Sin is one of our longest-running oh. mods by far. Um, Hello! He does, yeah, he doesn't hop on Kokon that often, because he doesn't usually have the best microphone, or he's usually on his phone when he watches the streams, but, uh, yeah, he's a good dude. He's been around for a long time. You've, you're more likely to see him on the sub-discord, I do feel. Yeah, I'm usually on the sub-discord. Uh, I've actually got a new Bluetooth headset for my phone, so that's why my mic quality's a little better. I was gonna say, this definitely and sounds better I than actually, before. And I got set up with a mobile hotspot for my area to improve my internet quality a little bit so nice. I can watch and get on call a little more often. Nice. 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 Sounds good, dude. Yeah, and actually, speaking of being a long-running mod, I actually just had my eighth or eighth year mod anniversary a couple weeks ago. Jesus. Jesus. Thanks for being around as long as you have been, dude. I appreciate it. Hey, I appreciate you keeping me on the team. <laughs> no worries. From iHive, our neighborhood beefaroo strolls through town, spreading mirth and joy to those around. Give it a pet, a hug or two. Everyone loves beefaroo, and beefaroo loves you. Happy best day. Dedicated to all the good people that deserve hugs and kindness, but don't realize they do. Beefaroo, yay, beefaroo, yay, payampa. From the, on the protondo good boy. Got a little boop on the nose. Walks over and goes, Payumpa, baby, yay, ba, yay. And walks over to Egg and gets a little pat on the head. This is a super yeah. cute animation loop. I, this is awesome. Hell yeah, I love it. Hell yeah. Thank you so much for this. This is super cute. Boop. That is super cute. Next up is a wall of Johns from Yoke the Joke. It's my birthday today. Happy birthday, Yoke. I'm an adult. Happy birthday. Yay. Happy birthday. So here's all of my alts. Left to right is John Koo, The Journey John, Moth John, Magicka Madness John, Keeper of Space, Ghost Hunting Only John, and 13. The Journey John is an alt for an AU called The Journey. I haven't uh, worked on it due to the Magical Girl AU making brain go burr. Fair enough. Thanks, Yoke. Thank you for all the alts and happy birthday yet again. Next up, Payampa, age one, age ten, Payampa. <laughs> From Jasper the Crab, it's a certain beef's birthday. Also a reminder that cattle tend to mature within two years, so it probably won't take beef root ten years to attain full beef. I need more art of this. I need just, like, a dull beef root. Also to paraphrase a classic <laughs> meme, be careful who you try to barbecue in middle school. Oh yeah, he's gonna fuck shit up. Swole beef will fuck shit up. I want to see him pumping iron. <laughs> Bench pressing like 300 pounds. <laughs> uh, as, yeah, as I'm seeing in chat, Bufferoo. Yeah, actually, we don't we already have a Bufferoo? It's definitely we? not the first time I've heard that name. I thought we had a couple different I alt Bufferoos, and Bufferoo was one of them, or that was just like the buff Bufferoo version we made. I like to imagine as his voice, like as he gets older, his voice slowly turns into Patrick Warburton. Jumney says, don't make me do my hey. extreme version of this again. I like how you think that's a threat, Jumney. Thank you, Jasper, for the buff beef. Hey, God. From TBG Hunter. Out of all the God. pilots in the fighter corps, only a select number are given the training and task with piloting the big Yosh bombers. These hulky behemoths carry enough of a payload to send any unfortunate ground or sea target running. Their light armor and sensitive controls require a steady hand and intense training so that many of these bombers return home safely. Nice, more Yosh Bombers for uh, Tim's army for the Advanced Wars mod. Thank you, TBG. More like inevitability? Yeah. Yeah, it really is. Next up, Jonathan Wiener from Tiger Tiger. So I've been catching up on the stream VOD since I tend to go to bed before most of them end. Recently I was watching January 3rd's Game Clearing VOD, January Remix Revenge, and I got to the part where Gerard misread the name tag photo John sent him as Jonathan Wiener instead of Jonathan Winner. 
After checking the Buru and seeing that no one else had drawn Jonathan Wiener as an alt John yet, I knew I had to draw him myself. So now Jonathan Wiener properly exists as a hot dog alt in the Johniverse, and he'll always wear a name tag so that no one will forget his name. Also, I just realized I've drawn three alt Johns now, Pearton John and Rosa No Hands being the other two, and none of them have hands. This says something about me, probably. Probably. Surprised you just didn't give him like a hot dog coat or something, or like a hot dog bun coat. Thank you, Tiger Tiger. Are you now? Are you now cast in Sausage? What was it? Sausage Party, I think that movie was. I think that was yes. the movie. Did anyone, did people like that movie? I never heard anything nope. about it other than people making fun of it. <laughs> uh, maybe like there's some who I enjoyed it in some way, but I think overall, not really. Fair enough. All right, from Angels in the Window, Cookie Jar. So ever since we were talking about the name for tonight and someone came up with Cookie Jar, I've been working on this cute little design. I thought it would be a fun image to use at least until animation or whatever that needs to be made can be made. I love how my Galaxy label turned out. That was a little hard for me to figure out how to set up. Also, a small idea for keeping Bagel in his chair, put a heating pad or hot water bottle, something like that he can't break, on his chair. He may want yours because it's nice and warm. He hates heat. I have never seen a cat prefer to be cold. I don't know why, but like he usually hates heat. Sometimes he'll actually like, he'll take my lap for warmth, but then that's about it. Oh, speaking of, hi buddy. What you doing? Oh, Bagel. He's off. I've got my chair back, just as a art block ends. All right, well, I'm taking Congratulations. my seat back. Congratulations. Taking my seat back. Thanks, buddy. You heard me talking shit about not liking heat. Yeah, I know. You complain about heat? Hi, I'm not following you upstairs. I'm working, buddy. Go get mama. Go get mama. Oh yeah, um, remember how last stream, or last stream that Bagel took my chair, I was complaining about how annoying it is to kind of move around? Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, it turns out it's because moving Bagel around on the chair actually broke the carpet protector, so I've been oh. cleaning up pieces of sharp <laughs> plastic off the carpet for the last couple days. That sucks, dude. Thanks to a certain cat. <laughs> so that's been a fun side effect of that. I'm just gonna have to just get rid of the damn thing at this point. Hang on a sec, let me quickly take some Tums, and then let's go play some Smash. All right, Tums. Not a sponsor. Nope, I wish it is right though. John, what's the oldest console you own? Biggie just wants it, wants to know. Uh, shit. We showed it last time. Uh, I can't remember the name of the console. It's one of those early Pong consoles. I legit cannot remember the name. I think it's the Olympian or something like that. Mm hmm That would be it. Oh, wait, why is the... Is oh. everything alright with the screen, by the way? That's why, the camera was still on. Ah. There we go. All right. Let's play some Smash Brothers. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I hate that Donkey Kong gif. <laughs> it's from the stream. Enjoy it. Enjoy them teeth. Uh... Okay, let's assume this works right away. Uh, 3ds. Forgot how long everything's takes, broken. Forgot how long that takes to boot up. Jesus. No, not Smash Ultimate. There we go. So John doesn't own a TV game six by Nintendo. No, I do not. There's an update. What? Oh, I guess, you know what? I guess this is the Capture 3DS, so it wouldn't have the update. That makes sense. We can just play without it. We don't need it. Too late. Dang. Too late. 
It's updating time. Impromptu Q and A chat. Go. Uh, it's go. updating. It's updating pretty fast. Damn. Okay, maybe not that fast. <laughs> yeah, I think we might be actually being able to do the update the the Q and A after all. All right, yeah, drop some questions, and we'll see how long how many we can get through before this meter's done. Hurry, hurry! Smash main, Ike, most overrated Rob Pokemon, Pikachu. I'm kidding, he's adorable. <laughs> Robin uh, for Smash main for me. I haven't played Smash Ultimate to really pick it, decide on a new main. He used to be Falcon, Captain Falcon for a while. Uh, favorite, where to go? Uh, favorite character reveal? Oh, Terry, easily. Terry. Terry's up there. Uh, hmm. I would say Sephiroth and Sora. I was going to say Sephiroth because I'm a huge Final Fantasy VII nostalgic. Mm hmm. What's your chest size? Uh, depends on the day, but my band's 42, if that makes you feel better. Uh, let's see, I don't even see any questions anymore. Favorite game mode? Oh, uh, Smash Run. Love Smash Run. Wish it had just it had been on more than just the 3DS version, but I get why. Subspace. I love subspace. It's such a good time. Are you okay? Basta Wolf. Least favorite game? Uh, probably Aiden Chronicles the First Mage. It's the only game I ever rented that I returned the same day. That would be for the N64. Is this going to be a Smash Run stream? You better fucking believe it. That's all we're doing. Fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> Favorite custom Smash map so far that you've done with Tom and TRG? Mm, the Scythe one was actually kind of neat. That one was actually kind of neat. That one was cool. Ever played, ever played a game because of Smash Brothers? If so, which? Uh, I kind of already played all the series beforehand. Fire Emblem Smash was the only Indian exception Indian. because Fire Emblem wasn't out over here yet. Uh, but otherwise, yeah. Uh, actually, uh, Smash introduced me to Earthbound because Ness being in 64, I'd never played Earthbound before. Fair enough. I'd heard a bunch of people had the same experience. Mm -hmm. There's definitely a series I got to try after knowing and learning of their existence through Smash Brothers. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Like, I played through Pikmin on stream last year, and that was a disaster, but it was it was really fun. So, you know, <laughs> that's just one of many examples. Favorite genre of game? Metroidvania. RBG. Um, yeah, I'm between, I kind of float between FPS, RPG, or action adventures. Have you ever used the 3D function of the 3DS? Very rarely. I think I needed it for 3D Land every now and then. That was about it. Mm -hmm. Favorite I Valve developed with the game. camera, and then that was it. I think favorite Valve developed game uh, from what I've played with some friends, maybe Left 4 Dead 2. That one's a good time. Which we should do that around here if you're uh, if you're down, John. What game? Left 4 Dead 2. Oh, I love Left 4 Dead 2. That's fun as hell. Fuck yeah. Did you hear that Rockman X Dive, the mobile game, is coming out on Steam tomorrow? I'm surprised. I only saw that in chat earlier. Uh, guess that'll be a thing. It makes sense. A lot of well, games have been moving to there. I mean, fucking Raid Shadow Legends is on Steam. Why not Rockman X Dive at this point? Did you see that there was a Raid Shadow Legends question in the arcade bit the other day? I did. I saw the clip you put in the monitor and I laughed. <laughs> like how no so one knew the good. answer. No one knew it. Water or milk for hot chocolate? Milk. 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 Definitely milk. Favorite utilization of the Miis? Ooh. Um, I don't know if I have an answer for that. Having them as Smash Fighters is pretty good. I like the fact that they were audience members on like certain maps like Coconut Mall in Mario Kart Wii. I thought that was neat. It just kind of hit them in the crowds. I thought that was a nice touch. Favorite RPG that isn't Chrono Trigger or some other Super Nintendo game. So every favorite RPG that's not a SNES game, uh, that actually is a bit harder. 
Because I mean, I might just say, no, go ahead. I was gonna say, legitimately, every RPG JRPG I like that comes to mind is uh, <laughs> is uh, a SNES game. I guess Dragon Quest Eight for PS2. Good that, choice. Because I like that one. I, Yangus is my boy. Love Yangus. Yangus is awesome, dude. Love that guy. I guess action RPG would be, would be Kingdom Hearts 2 and maybe JRPG. I guess I'd say Final Fantasy 8 because that was always just a game that meant a lot to me and has been there for me since my childhood. Yeah, I've got the same sentiment for 7. Is the dress blue and black or gold and white? It's whatever lighting it's in. It's whatever you want it to be. Oh. Believe enough and it can be whatever you want. That stupid dress, dude. <laughs> That took, that took the internet by storm. It was insane. It was just, no matter where you went, what color is the dress? It's different this time. Sometimes people yeah, saw it differently. Then that, and that got have... followed up by the Yanni Laurel thing. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, God, I thought that was the other way around. I thought Yanni Laurel was first. guess not. Did you ever replace your copy of Wu-Tang Shaolin style, or is it still scratched? So here's the thing. Uh, I think it might have just not been able to run in the PS3. I think that might have just been it. I haven't tried it in another system or I thought I did, and it did work? I don't remember, but no, I have not replaced it. I'm just going to hope that it does work. Unless it's in this pile I haven't uh, done yet. Because I have a bunch of games that are just not in the backlogger yet. Because I got a, a, one of my buds uh, out of town. He just shipped me a bunch of games. So I've been slowly going through them and cleaning them. Ever watched the movie Shaolin Soccer? Uh, no, but I know it's... I forget if it's the same director or the same actor as Kung Fu Hustle. But so I, I've heard good things about it. Just haven't watched it. Celebrity you would love to meet. Bruce Campbell. Ooh. Uh, uh, ooh good, good choice. Yeah. Hmm. Well, he's unfortunately kind of dead nowadays, but I would have loved to have met Robin Williams. Yeah. Hi. That been... Bagel's complaining. I'd have to go with John Bon Jovi for me. I grew up with a lot of his music that got me through some good hard times. Good choices. Good choice. good choices. Favorite Mario Party game? Probably two for nostalgia's sake. Uh, otherwise, uh, taking nostalgia out of it... Seven, but six is creeping up there. Three and eight. He's mad you took his chair. No, he's mad I won't let him outside. He wants to go outside so he can go poop, but he hates the weather. Favorite pizza topping? Meat. Meat good. <laughs> Ground beef oh, or meat. bacon? Or ham? Buffalo chicken. Pepperoni, sausage. Might throw some jalapeno in there for some spice. It's always a good time. Uh, uh, juice, rubber juice, green moose, guava juice. <laughs> <laughs> Thoughts on Microsoft buying Activision Blizzard? Kind of an insane thing to wake up to on Monday. That was, or no, that was Tuesday. That was yesterday. <laughs> was uh, a lot of things on that day, dude. <laughs> dude, a lot happened yesterday. Holy shit. Um, I am worried that mm -hmm. I, originally I was worried that nothing was going to come out of any changes there. And then they said one of the stipulations was Bobby Kotick had to leave. So that is a good start, but I think they need to get more people out of that company, like based on like the boards before I'm like, yep, it was a good thing to give them to Microsoft more. I need to see more happen before I start feeling comfortable with that move. Basically. That's the best way to put it. There's, there's promise. I hope Bobby, Bobby Kotick gets fired. It is officially confirmed that once the transit the transition is done, like when the entire transaction is done in 2023, he has to leave. It is confirmed yes. in contract. He is out in a year, but he is still there for a year, which is the other bummer about it. Uh, where's the chat comment? I'm trying to find it. Um, I saw someone. There it is. Uh, v Ronai. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hope I said that right. Uh, asked about thoughts on Daniel Radcliffe playing Weird Al Yankovic in an upcoming movie. It, Daniel Radcliffe's oh, a great actor. He could definitely do a good job of that. Yeah, I agree. He actually he has a decent singing voice too. I think he was on Jimmy. Or, no, God, what, he was on a late night show doing a rap or a, a song compilation. Worst I'd, I'd, video I'd, I'd game. Antagonist. Worst, huh? Oof. 
Now, do you mean worse as an unsatisfying or just lame? I'd say either way. Like worse as in actually like the most evilest of all and worse as in like just bad, just not entertaining. Uh, I don't even remember um, his name, but the guy from Fable 2 was kind of lame. <laughs> fair enough. I'm trying to think. I can't um, think of really anything right now. The antagonist from XY, what was his name? Um, from what? Pokemon XY. Lysanderoth? Yeah, I wasn't impressed by him. Thank you, Lysander. Yeah. Yeah, I literally can't think of anyone that's really like my least favorite simply because they either stand out or you don't. So I, don't uh, I know it's because you need it. <laughs> In contrast, favorite video game antagonist personally. Okay. Hmm. Oh, favorite. Oh, I cannot talk about favorite without spoiling something. <laughs> mm. uh, shit, shit, shit. I have uh, Dr. Nefarious. Yeah, Dr. Nefarious from Ratchet and Clank series. Mm -hmm. He's just fun. He's just a fun character. For a non-spoiler, let's say Bowser's always a fun time because he's just such a goofy character in some games and he's like this serious like bad guy in other games. Like, I don't know. I, I really enjoy uh, I really enjoy Bowser. Mm. I'm behind on a lot of games, so I'd have to get back to you on that, kind of refresh my memory on what I have and haven't played. All right, let's see some more questions here while we're still waiting. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Uh... What? Okay, I had to read this one. What do you think of the Italian Parliament meeting getting interrupted by no. Tifa Final Fantasy VII? Hentai? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hilarious! <laughs> literally. Uh, really? I can't. <laughs> I can't believe that happened. Genuinely can't believe that happened. Incredible. That was like one of the like two wild things from yesterday. Like there was like Tifa in the Italian Parliament. Uh, congrats on her promotion. Um, <laughs> I believe I don't know if that fo if that picture I saw was photoshopped or not, but it, like someone did a Google search for like important people in Italian Parliament, and Tifa showed up. That was absolutely photoshopped. There's no way that Damn was not it. photoshopped. Damn it! But it I don't know hope. if it is, but I, I want, swear it's I'm, photoshopped. I'm, I'm googling it now. You know what? I'm doing it the same. Let me see if it's different for me too. Important people in Italian Parliament. Uh, oh, I did not get any pictures to show up from this. Damn it. Which, Damn it. Yeah, I think, no. I think it was yeah, fake. It no. was fake. That makes me sad, but it still made me laugh a lot seeing it. I'm looking through Google Images. I'm going to try and find a Tifa in here. <laughs> Damn it. It's not showing up. They posted the Zoom call info publicly on Facebook, hence the porn. Oh, yeah. That was a big mistake uh, there. Good uh, God. Yeah. Womp womp. Uh, how y'all doing? I'm doing pretty well. Uh, yeah, I, doing I, good. I had a roller coaster of a day today. I, I got the results from my doctor's appointment. Oh, nice. And, how did that go? Uh, it was a very good, good news, bad news, back and forth deal. Mm. Uh, because I walk in and my doc's like, "All right, before we get into the results, have you ever had any situation where like your joints have hurt?" I'm like, "What? Like, have you ever had any oh. point where your joints have swollen and hurt, gone red, and actually like..." swollen and felt really hot i'm like no like I, like sometimes my joints hurt but usually i figured it was just arthritis from just playing too many video games he's like all right that's probably the case uh so you're susceptible to gout oh i'm like what i was gonna say that sounds like gout <laughs> yeah uh so he's like yeah no you have like there's two things that you've got to deal with right now and they can one of the things that can come out of it is gout i'm like oh He's like, not not right now. Like, you're not going to get that tomorrow or anything, but, like, you, you might want to do something about this. So I'm like, okay, fair enough. Uh, so he's like, yeah, you need to, to lose some weight, which I'm like, all right, that's fair. And the funny thing was I walked in, and I, I had him check something. I'm like, yeah, all right, what was my starting weight when I got here? He's like, it's this. All right, okay, well, I'm 10 pounds lighter already since I started the Vivance, so I've actually already lost 10 pounds. He's like, all right, well, that's good, but you need to lose, like, another 25. I'm like, fucking oh. all right. Like, all right, fair enough, fair enough. But he's like, yeah, if oh, you do man. that, like, change your diet, uh, do that, and then this will all go away on its own. It'll be perfectly fine. So, 
Mm-hmm. Oh, I can activate spot pass. Oh, boy. Okay. Get rid of those titties, John. No, I'm going to, in fact, I'm going to fucking throw those on. That's how I'm going to work out. Right. Told people earlier, that's how I was, my plan was the, the Rosa John fitness test, which is just going to be putting those on and then doing any other exercise because that's just an extra 13 plus pounds at that point. This is really weird weighted training gear. I didn't think they would ever invent weighting training boobs, yet here we are. Yeah, well, if you make them big enough. Mm-hmm. Remember, there's there are two sizes past the one I got for Rosa. For the cosplay. That is true. And I think at least one of them was double the weight. So there's at least 25 pounds of boob I could pick up to do a oh, workout man. regiment with. Oh man, I forgot about this bottom screen. Wow. <laughs> I haven't seen that in forever. All right. Well, we used half the time for the game in updating alone, so I, I will give a little bit of extra time. I'd feel really bad for the person like, oh, hey, sorry, we spent most of your time uh, updating the game. Bye. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I refresh the timer. <laughs> Good. All right, let's do Smash Run. Hell yeah. You've got let's five minutes. One. Boost your stats and then face three CPU rivals in battle. Here, John, hang on. I'll come right over. I'll do. We'll do we can do the group one. All right, sweet. <laughs> uh, all right, so it looks like I don't have the DLC, which makes sense because that would be on my other system anyways. I'm playing as Ike anyways. Good choice. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry, go ahead. I mean, I'll just do default. God, that white outfit, though. I forgot he had that I, white I outfit. I love that, that white outfit. outfit. I'm so sad they switch it to Young Ike in the in the modern one, in the new one. At least I the think that's what one. I think that's who got uh, it in Brawl was Young Ike versus Old Ike. Because that was my favorite color scheme was that one. I think the idea is that this is supposed to be like the Krom outfit, and obviously yeah. Krom became his own character. Yeah. He has both schemes. No, he doesn't. Uh, he has four. No, young no, 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 no. Uh, we know that you can turn to young and old Ike in, in Ultimate. We mean only one of the four got the white outfit. And I think it's young Ike got the white outfit. Yeah, I have the Smash website pulled up. Hang on a moment. Let's see. Ike, let's check your colors out, buddy. Uh... Rosa Ring Fit Stream? Where? That fucking ring is going to get stuck on a boob. There is actually no white outfit for Ike in Ultimate. It just went to Krom. Oh, that sucks, dude. I love this outfit. It's fantastic. He has a blue outfit, which looks to be a reference to, I believe, uh, Sigurd from Fire Emblem 4. Or oh, it could be hammer. a reference to Selif, also from the same game. Where's that golden hammer? Oh, down there. I'm gonna miss that. that. Thing- Got it. Nice. Nice. The best thing in this mode to me was like playing a Sonic and then like hoping you got like a like a race at the end and you have just like a bunch of speed stuff. That was the best. You just like won in like two seconds. Ah <laughs> oh, man, all the enemies they threw in this. Ah, oh, this mode was so cool. I know. That's why I'm so sad it never got moved to any other version. It just stayed on 3DS. Yeah. Smash Run, for those who don't know, is basically uh, Kirby's Air Ride City Rush mode, or like was it City, City Trial? City, City Trial, thank City you. City Trial. Yeah, no, that mode is fantastic and is the only reason I will go back to that game. Basically, I forgot you could just straight up attack Pokemon in this. By the way, I just saw you like smack that coughing. <laughs> oh god! Oh god! I missed. Uh oh. Uh. Oh. Uh, oh. Give me all of the powers. So the whole point is you have five minutes. You need to get as many power-ups as you can. Because uh, there's going to be a challenge at the end and in a bunch of different modes. And you don't know what mode exactly until everything's said and done. I believe, like, it, depending on the enemy you take, you kill, you get different items. I think you get different ones depending on how you are playing during the mode. I think there's a bunch of different requirements to it. But like Sounds the about right. enemy variety is in absolutely insane. Seeing this makes me wonder what they would have done for Smash Ultimate with like all the different characters there, whether like it was new or returning. Yeah, <laughs> I'm I just wish they had done something with it. I like the mode that they put in the Wii U version. Like that's alright, but it was not Smash Run. Mm-hmm. Like there's like the obvious ones, like 
the Castlevania guys would have gotten like whatever enemies from there. Probably like a flea man somewhere if they want to be really annoying. <laughs> Hate those guys. And look, when else can you say you killed a pea hat with Ike? That's true. I mean, I've killed a lot of coughings with Ike at this point now. Oh, hey. well, uh, hey, leaving me. Here. Yeah, back. Smash over, there's a thousand heartless, exactly. Yeah. Oh, God. Treasure trove, a secret room has appeared! Run, Ike! Oh, shit. I remember this room. Oh, is this the room I think it is? Oh, no. Yeah, this is a spicy room. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, my God! Yeah, dude, that was just how good these uh, special rooms were. No, get the gold thing! Get the gold thing! Ah, oh, Metroid! No. Maybe you know, why? You can actually freeze those in Smash Ultimate. Kind of cool. You have to have a character who has an ice move, which is like three characters, I think. <laughs> yeah, ice like climbers. Oh, uh, Lucas and the ice climbers. Oh, yeah. I could, oh, no. Oh, boy. That could have been, why are there so many Metroids here? What? Jesus. Get out of here. They're just looking for their mother. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah, and Hero, because Cook Crackle Slash. Oh, fuck! Whoa. Ooh. I got lucky on that. I got so lucky on that. Yeah, there's a ton of Kid Icarus Uprising enemies here. You could really tell Sakurai's like, it's my game, I'm gonna put what I want in it. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't blame him. Uprising had some great characters. It did. Great characters, oh, great that. gameplay, great everything, really. Oh, what a great time for a heart piece to show up, or a heart container. Oh god, that was a mistake, John. What the hell is this? Oh right, it's a Kinder Chris Uprising anyway. Yeah. Uprising was a great game. I do hope it resurfaces in some way someday. Three, two, one, oh fuck, did I just lose a bunch? Yeah, I did. Okay, let's see what happens here. Stats. Decent speed. Uh, my jump is pretty good. My attack's pretty good. My special's pretty good. Uh, yes. Pikachu has better special and speed. It looks like Pikachu's gonna be the and major threat. His attack sucks, but his special and arms is pretty high, and his defense is pretty good too. Mm hmm. All right, let's do it. What's our mode? Your mode is... Versus enemy team. Defeat as many as you can before time runs out. That's pretty easy. Versus Palutena, Pikachu, and Sheik. Ah, uh, Smash 4 Palutena. Good times. Uh, poor, poor definitely girl. not. Is... Poor girl. Yeah. Cool because concept, but not tournament legal. It was more than like her... So what they did with the tournaments was they had like the base uh, movesets instead. And Palutena's whole gimmick was, hey, uh, the custom moves are really cool. And so she kind of suffered off her base move set not being super amazing. Yeah, and tournaments wouldn't allow the actual, like, custom move sets because they some of them were considered broken. So they're just like, some yeah, them, nope, yeah. sorry, Palutena, you just don't get any good moves. They allowed custom uh, move sets at first, but some characters had pretty ridiculously broken moves. Like, one example I can think of is Donkey Kong had this one, like, hurricane spin, and it was the most broken thing in the world. It was kind of hilarious. Doing pretty good there. I think I got it. Yep, just barely. Palutena nice. was close. Well, they really, they really want you to think about this. Oh, that nice red background. <laughs> yep, there you go. Beautiful. Yay, 42 to 37 to 34 to 24. Alright, I got 
Bunch of stuff. I didn't apparently. I didn't have Meteor Master Protein, Trendy Overalls, Double Final Smasher Raiment, Level 3 Shine Spark. And that's what I didn't have, apparently. Ready for nice. the next battle. Now with a random character? Yeah, let's do random. Let's see who I end up with. Come on, Shulk. Probably gonna end up with someone I am terrible with. Dr. Mario. I mean, I'd be okay with Dr. Mario. Say, Shulk, Robin, I'd be okay with either. Let's see. Watch me Palutena. Watch me Ike again. That'd be funny. Duck Hunt! Oh, the dog. Uh, Ooh, good song playing, too. This is the Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong Country uh, remix, I believe. Or Returns remix, rather. Yeah, this definitely sounds like Returns. I this really is the like first jazzy. minecart or jetpack barrel stage, isn't it? I think so? Or am I just thinking that that's where it shows up in Tropical Freeze? I've not played either. Admittedly, I just know a little bit about it. <laughs> I think you're right about Tropical Freeze. There we go, thank you. Stopping that old Boom. bear, or not, okay, never mind. Just completely missed that, I guess. Gear getaway. Oh, door. All it's right, the door. door thing. Survive, difficulty normal. Yeah, there were like these little challenges you could do too. Oh, that was so. Oh, this was so cool. Oh fuck this thing. All right, this dude. I have to hit that L cream or whatever it's supposed to be. Yep, I got it. Super. I decided to go straight for the thing because I thought I could hurt it. That was a mistake. I lost a bunch of power ups. That sucks. L creamy uh, did not exist yet as well. Oh right. Eggman's robots. Oh, I forgot they had the robots. Oh, that's so cool. They had so many enemies in this from the from their series. Like it's genuinely impressive. Dude, this is just making me want to like load up my 3DS and just play Smash on right now. God, this is, this was so this was so cool. A little cryognol there. Big haul treasure chests on treasure chests. There, a door appeared. Oh, it's uh, Bill. Do I go for the door? I wonder if I can. You have about 20 seconds to get to it. I have no speed, so, uh... Well, I'm definitely not getting there now. Oops, I'm definitely not getting there now! You can kind of get an idea of where it is. Like, you see on the bottom screen there, you can actually, like, touch seconds. that. I'm not doing it. There's no way. 10 seconds. Mm hmm Oh, there's all the speed I needed. Nice. Yeah, it looks like you can hit, like, a map button on the bottom there, just to kind of get an idea of, like, where everything is. I think it even tells you, like, the other players, too. Uh, yeah, I completely forgot this game, this mode actually strip had a map. Yeah. Oh, hi. Big boy. Big boy. Oh, God! Try again. Whoa. Well, I found a door. I wonder what's inside. Probably more death. Defeat them all, difficulty hard. Thank God I'm Duck Hunt, I can just fly. Uh oh. Uh oh. I pissed them off! Oh no. Nope, I'm not winning that one. At least I got some Dang. stuff out of that. So I get for tooling around, I guess. Oh, why did I wake you up? That was a mistake. Uppercut. Man, where are the punch out enemies in this mode? This is bullshit. I think there is <laughs> something. Oh, God. For Punch-Out, I don't actually think there is, unfortunately. Though the idea of just, like, a random, like, Doc Lewis running around, like, trying to punch you would be hilarious. Just in his, like, shirt from oh, Doc God. Lewis's Punch-Out. How many fucking hits do you take to destroy? Fuck. 
Fire the missiles. I would, but I am retired. Nice. There we go. Ooh, big bonuses. Yeah, that's why you hunt them down, but they take a lot of punishment, as you just saw. Mm hmm. But your speed at 500, you're a very fast dog. Well, I needed that because I was very behind on everything else. My jump sucks right now. Mm hmm. The special's really rough right now, too, especially for duck hunt of all characters. Uh oh. Don't die, don't die. I need to at least no, keep no, on no. hanging onto this. <gasps> oh, <laughs> that was close. <laughs> All right, here's our opponents. DK, is that Pit 2? I can't tell. I dark think Pit. I'm... Yeah, it's Dark Pit. Dark and pit. An Animal Crossing Villager. We're in trouble on some of these. We have got speed by far, so if it's actually a race where, where we win. Our jump is below average. Our attack is above average. Our special is abysmal. Our attack's kind of also there, but we got above average defense. Wow, that Dark Pit's special help. is going to hurt. Yeah. High launch smash. Oh. Well, good it luck. It's not a race. Ready? Go! <laughs> oh, it's timed. Oh, interesting. Yeah, most of the modes are. Right, because the Smash, the Smash as a series kind of, I like the time modes a lot, especially in, like the marketing and stuff like that. It's always like the, it's always like the default is like it's just like a timed match. Oh. Doing pretty well for yourself though. I think the AI is just not putting up much of a fight. I don't know what difficulty the AI defaults to. I couldn't tell you on that one. I don't sorry. remember being terrible difficulty wise. Man, I remember Find Me. Find Me and like all the other Street Pass games were such a good time. It's they a shame were that so good. Yeah, like you, you can still play them, but good luck finding people to Street Pass with. Dude, Emil still brings his 3DS to cons no matter what. Mhm. Mm like in hopes for Street Passes. I brought uh, my 3DS to 2019 mag, but uh, I think on day two when I had it, I forgot to charge it, so it died after a little bit. I'm like, oh, I should have charged this before I went out and uh, you know gone to the con. At least Street Pass Dovey. I got one person I knew. <laughs> 12 KOs for us, one for DK, one for Dark Pit, and three for Villager. We got I Fiery can, Jump Punch for Luigi, it. Double Jump Boost, Princess Crown, and Level 4 Strong Kick. You're saying, Vincent? I was just going to say, I actually finished Emil's North American Street Pass map at nice. MagFest one year. Nice. Because he. Montana was the last state he needed, and guess where I was from at the time. What custom specials do you have? I think I have most of them. There was very few I remember missing in the 3DS one. Uh, let's look at the challenge bracket. I remember being mostly done. Yeah, 98 out of 105 done. What were the nice. ones I didn't do? Uh, clear classic on intensity high, fair enough. Uh, obtain all custom outfits, headgear, and special moves. Uh, no. Basically 100%. Yeah. Clear all-star with all fighters. No. That's not too bad. Just That's more just grindy. That's just tedious. Play 50 collective hours of Smash. Total gameplay times participants. I don't even remember what we're actually at in this file. Uh, clear solo 100-man Smash with all fighters. Also does not interest me. Ew. Ew. Collect all the Smash Run powers. I didn't find them all, apparently. And get 200 or more KOs in Endless Smash. Those were all the ones I'm missing. I think I used a hammer on one of these, didn't I? Or was I intentionally not using hammers? I forget. God, that Wii U menu right down there. Do you remember when you could use this game itself as, like, a controller? Yeah. So neat. Yeah. So what am I looking for? There are stats probably what I'm looking for. Playtime, 3401. Smash playtime, 7. Solo playtime, <laughs> 25. So did it say 50 hours? So I guess, yeah, I need another 16 on this cart. 
was it of playtime or smash playtime? I don't remember if it was smash playtime or if it was just playtime. Hmm. If it's smash, then I'm fucked. I'm, I was nowhere near on that. Specifically smash playtime? Ooh. Uh. Ooh. Yeah. I'm not putting 43 hours in just to break one block on a wall. Hammer time. Yeah, play 50 collective hours of Smash. Total gameplay times participants. So yeah, Smash. Boo earns. Well, all right. With that, let's go to the cookie. Well, sorry, that was fun. The, I'm sorry the loading still took a bit on that, but we still got two solid runs of Smash Run. Yeah. Uh, let's see what we got here next. Would you need just 25 hours of 1v1s? Yeah, just 25 hours of 1v1s because that's two players, or just uh, 10 hours, sorry, uh, 12.5 hours of free-for-alls because four players. But yes. it's got to be human players. It only does a multiplier on human players. I'm just happy you had fun. Yeah, like I said, Smash Run's great. I think that is a legitimate fun mode, and I wish it came back. I'm sad it hasn't. If they ever do another Smash, like on the Switch 2 or whatever happens, I really hope they add in that mode in some way. All right. Let's hop over to the cookie. Oh, shit. Because we're going to do round three now. Who's Who all's in round three? <laughs> right. McJohnson88. King Brawly. V Shinobi. Bird Robin. And Pseudobite. If you know McJohnson oh, well enough, because he's been around for a long time in the community, you would probably know what this is without even having to guess. He says, I'll help you test this cue then. NHL 2002 for the PlayStation 2. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah. Yeah. King, King Brawly picks Donkey Kong Country Returns for the Wii. V Shinobi picks Saints Row the Third. Ooh, good game. Uh, I didn't actually check if I had it installed or not, so we'll just say Steam or 360. Either way. Bird Robin says Bob for the Super Nintendo. And Pseudobite picks. Forgot I even had this. Puffin's Island Adventure for the DS. Like, like the damn like bird puffin. Yeah. It's actually made for my home province mm. in Newfoundland. It's made in there. So Puffin's like the oh, national, like the provincial bird. Uh, so yeah, it's one of the few games made in Newfoundland. Dude, representation. All right, there you go. Those are our five games. Let's see what wins. Huh. That's new. But the Everything polls right? being posted. It's okay, it's just it just didn't show up on my side. That's weird. That was really weird. All right. Hmm. Neat. Let's go to the poll then. Oh, Currently in the lead, Puffin's Island Adventure. Not entirely surprised on that, I guess. Uh, 134 votes, 36% of the vote. Donkey Country Returns, second place, 124 votes, 30%. Saints Row the third in third, 74 votes, 17%. NHL 2002, 40 votes, 8%. And Bob for the SNES, 31 votes. 6%. 489 votes. Clock so far. Puffin's Island Adventure leads over Donkey Kong Country Returns. 174 to 173. So it is uh, really close. Slap him in on there, there and see what happens. Right, I can check these five off the list. Here we go. 
Next round, we'll have games from Radiant Shadow 92, Rio 3415, Awojonator, Zenblade 7, and Glitchman 42. And this is a, a pretty strong list coming up here, too, by the looks of it. All right, 201 to 197. Puffin's Island Adventure still in the lead, but not by much. It could still fall to Donkey Kong Country, and Donkey Kong Country could get a 1% rule. It's in range. Orange is Puffin Island Adventure. Green is Donkey Kong Country, clearly for the jungle. Who's winning, birds or the jungle? Two vote gap, three vote gap, four. Oh, actually, Puffin's getting a little bit of a push. And it is going to be... Mm, tight! Next vote takes it, and it... Ooh, that next vote was Puffin. That next vote went nice. to Puffin. I'm calling it there. Puffin Island Adventure takes it, but Donkey Kong Country Returns gets a 1% roll. All right, well, there you go. Next round has six games, and Puffin just barely takes it. It was tied, DK had the lead, then suddenly a very quick one vote for Puffin and then five votes for DK. But the one vote for Puffin came in first. So, Puffin takes it. Oh, Are you my brother Rex Racer? You tell me! <laughs> Some fun stuff about Puffin's Island Adventure from the person that I believe even suggested it. Yeah, Pseudobite. The game is not good, but as mentioned, it was made in Newfoundland. It's actually a tie-in for a brand of cereal, and the soundtrack was made by Alan Doyle of Great Big C, uh, which was enough for me to buy it myself, and I think I sent you the copy uh, the copy you have. That's likely, Pseudobite. But yeah, no, yo, if you've never heard Great Big C, uh, that's they're a very well-known band from Newfoundland. They're excellent stuff, and Alan Doyle is a good dude from what I've heard. Didn't you say earlier no 1%? No, I said earlier yes to 1%. All right. Let's drop some eggs. I have seen Alan Doyle and Great Big C over 10 times live. I am a fan. <laughs> That's fair. Uh, from Captain Joe and Italian Enzo. Thank you for the gift subs. Samoyo for 71. Bagel says your chair is best chair. Oh, He's probably gone up to steal Reese's chair now, to be honest. I Penguin 12 for 42. Zachman 103 for 13. Nice. Mecha GM for 57. Thantos Shades. I keep thinking that's Thanatos every time. I know it is Thantos Shades. Or it's than two shades for five spirit of water montaru for 44 just king dion for 61 wolf samurai for 97 met wars 2 for 38 ryan curtis 2001 ryan curtis actually the one who suggested the idea of cookie jar for the name so shout out to ryan curtis for five uh i believe someone else was the one that suggested the community part added on their community cookie jar so uh, but i unfortunately don't remember who said that first because a couple people did sorry Eevee versus Ho oh for 62. DH Dante for 12. Louvital for 71. Half and double for 79. Michael for the win for 86. Digital Ronin 42 for 55. Nablus the Curious for 49. Uh, Zypher Dragon Lord for 83. Artemu for 18. Blazing Brazen for new. Which wasn't on my list earlier for some reason. Uh, Scully Pandra for 88. Wait, I actually read out some of these already. I guess this is still a double list. Teletran 2 for 40. Gamers! for 47. Akira Coops 247 for 50. Pino Graham for 76. Ray XYZ 3 for 3. Nice. Mega Latino 000 for 98. Ray Day 11 for 37. Available username for 32. Charla P for 87. Grabobly for 60. Dragonfire 1054 for 51. K Head for 100. Thanks, buddy. Glad you've been around as long as you have. Vincent Sin for 75. The same goes to you, bud. Thank you. Uh, and now for me to butcher this name yet again. Because uh, it's C-I-C-A-D-A-E-S-I-L-L-I-C-K. So I think we said it was like, I said Cicada Silic. But I think it was like, uh, it was something slightly different than that. It was like 
like Cicadacilic. Cic I'm, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep butchering every time. I'm sorry. I thought for some reason they said it was close with Cicadacilic. Uh, Vrona, either way, that was for 60. Vronai, 17 for 21. Silverblaze for 24. El Pica Bandito for 78. The Hyperior for 37. Seeking? Is it Seeking Silic? Silverblaze for 24. El Pica Bandito for 78. Hyperior for 37. Bust It Loose for 3. Italian Enzo, 22 for 48. Disillusion, 17 for 23. Unhelpful NPC for 46. Uh... Sivoziak for 51, Fifth Quinn for 59, Kasumi for 99, and PB Primo for 37. Alongside Pickletron XD gifting a sub to hit the follow button. God damn it. Yes, please do that as well. Thanks for seven, folks. I've already been corrected again. It was Sickaday or Sissaday. Sickaday. 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 I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. Sickaday, Sickaday, Sickaday. Sick of a silic, sick of a silic, sick of a silic. Either yeah. way, your eggs tonight are courtesy of the following people. Oh, there's a couple here. Yes. And That's Camille. Right. Uh, yes. Jessica's number. Oh no. Jessica's number in 2022. Oh no. Uh, do it during break, Deef. Camille, Jessica's number in 2022. Well, what am I going to lose if I try to call the number that was supposed to be Jessica Rabbit? I mean, it's not like I'm going to be on a sex hotline or anything. birthday beefaroo beefaroo apparently got a number and he specifically picked the game the number in the who frame roger rabbit nes game aiming real high there champ thanks camille next up from becky star beefaroo's birthday song happy happy birthday happy happy birthday happy happy birthday happy birthday beefaroo yay it's the beefaroo's birthday May his day be full of hugs and birthday cookies. Thanks, Becky, for the birthday song for Beefaroo. And the last one I got here in the carton is from Cool Owl. Still anyone's cosplay. All right, you're the professional. I am so disappointed. But it's still anyone's game. Apparently turned into sketch. All right, we're gonna go to break. When we come back, we are gonna be playing a video game Boss. that I'm stalling for because I completely forgot the name of it. Because it's Donkey. No, it's not. It's Puffin Island Adventure for the DS. See, this is this is what happens when the results change between when I've seen it and uh, when I've remembered it in my mind. Puffin Island Adventure for the DS is up next. See you guys in a bit. I miss Skitch commentating on Baz Tournament. I wish Skitch could hang out more. He was in the mod room like last week, so he's still doing all right. He, he, yeah, I did catch him there. I can't wait for new bumpers. I have no idea what the bumpers are going to be this year. We have a suggestion sheet for some of them. And some of them are pretty good. Uh, I don't know if I should spoil any of these. I don't know if any of these are confirmed. Because I know most of the bumper ideas are pretty spur of the moment, but I know Steven also asked, please, for the love of God, bring some bumpers from home so I can sleep. Because he had to edit them all on the fly during actual Coliseum. So I would like Steven to get sleep. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, there's some good ideas here. I don't think I should read any of these. Some of these are very... I, You know what? I wish I could find the list of last year's so I could just be like, these are the ones that we didn't use last year. Any you can think of off the top of your head that didn't get used? That's what I'm trying to remember. Because the problem is this year, I think some of these are definitely written to be done in person. 
And if it can't be done in person, then, well, yeah. Yeah, like, I one of these... You know what? I might read this one, uh, because it's a sequel, but it does... No, no, actually, no, it does not require him. Never mind. Uh, so I won't read that. Uh, yeah, I don't think I can read any of these, unfortunately. <laughs> you know what? I can read this one, because I have a feeling this one's never gonna happen. Skydiving. Idea description. We jump out of a plane. Who's in it? Jules and anyone willing to break themselves. Oh, shit, dude. I'm just gonna say that. that's probably not gonna happen. Just a hunch Holy on that one. Holy shit, that sounds awful and amazing at the same time. I would skydive, but I'd only ever do it once. I would do it once and then that's it. If I survived, I'm like, that was great! Never doing that again. Just imagine how this opens. It's just like, hey, we're about to go skydiving. <laughs> just like, yeah. what? There, there's a lot of uh, sequels to older ones written down here, so I'll just leave it at that. If a lamp skydive, you're asking just to, like, toss the damn lamp, like, 50,000 feet to the ground? <laughs> that shit's gonna make a crater. Jules will do it now that you've said it's not happening. What's probably gonna happen is Jules will probably just do a green screen version of it, or he'll just go to one of those iFly places. I'm gonna say, er, he's gonna come on the call and be like, guys, I rented a plane. <laughs> you rented a what? What is an iFly place? So iFly is this uh, this company that started popping up a bit more in the past couple years. But basically, they're one of those places where you can do indoor skydiving. It's one of those places that has like a giant set of fans that are on the ground. And they're so strong, they can keep you in midair. So it's to simulate skydiving in a safe environment. I believe iFly is literally like the, the company's name. But you're kept in a big tube, so you don't just go flying off to the side and yeah. wherever. You won't get shot up to the ceiling and hurt yourself, and you won't get slammed down into the ground. <laughs> like, it's 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 safe. As safe as skydiving can be, I guess. I think they give you, like, those, like, wing suits or, like, skydiving suits. Like, they're, they're meant to kind of keep you in midair and let you move around a bit. That's one thing I can never understand people doing is doing those wing suits and have the GoPros and they get, like... Two feet from the ground. Oh, those people who fucking, like, actually do use, like, wingsuits to fly around, they're crazy what they will do. Oh, Insane. It's so cool, dude. But, oh, I could never do that. I would never have the guts. Mm hmm. No. All right. Uh, I gotta go grab the game. I'll be right back. All right. You guys got some questions for us to answer. Most dangerous thing I do. Hmm. Most dangerous thing I do. Right. Well, luckily, this game is a DS game, and we just did a 3DS game, so I don't really have to set anything up other than swap the cartridge. Nice. Check for updates. Uh, it's a DS game. Oh, yeah, fair. Have I played any, any of its attorneys? I've played the trilogy. Edgeworth 1 and Apollo Justice, and that's about it. I've only played the first uh, Ace Attorney. Ideally, I'll be going through Dual Destinies this year. Pseudo, there's a message in here, but I assume it is not from you if you were the one who mailed it to me. Uh, it says, Hi, I'd like to personally thank you for choosing your Canadian GAM store. I really appreciate your business and the opportunity to serve you today. Please email me if you have any problems with the item before giving negative feedback. I will fix the issue ASAP. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. Stay safe. Sincerely, Seville, and then it links their, their emails there. It literally says, your Canadian GAM store. And then, obviously, that was just a typo there, but... I'm gonna assume this was an eBay purchase. All right. It was not for me, I ordered it online. Gotcha. Just right. order... Ooh, uh -oh. Wait, so someone could theoretically order something online but have it shipped to, like, your P.O. box, I guess? Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. neat. Uh-oh. Uh... Pseudo, I got some bad news for you, buddy. 
Oh no. Are we gonna have to email someone? We might have to email the GAM store. Dude. I that... might be able to attempt a cleaning, but there is some dirt uh, in there, and DS cartridges are notoriously a pain in the ass to clean. Yeah. No, it's the right game. It is the correct game. But here, um, let me turn on the camera. You might not even show up on the camera is the real real issue here. I'm going to try my damnedest here. Uh, and let's cover that up. Here's the cartridge. You yeah, can kind of see some... Oh, you can, you can oh. definitely see it. You can definitely oh. see it. <laughs> That's so bad, dude. It's nasty. Yeah. Cleaning that is a huge pain in the ass. At least your fingernails are nice and clean. Uh, I mean, mostly. One of them's cracked. Well, like here. Like, you can see my middle finger. It's very oh. short otherwise. It cracked in, a, in my glove because, I guess, of the temperature the other day. Shift. Yeah, make sure to shift. Get a Q-tip, you're fine. Mm, not if it's, if it's embedded in there, it's going to be tricky. I'm going to try to clean it. I'm gonna try to clean it, but there's no guarantee. And that's the fun about ordering it on eBay. Like, sometimes stuff is okay, and other times maybe not so much. This wasn't from eBay for me, but I remember I ordered a copy of God of War for the PS2 once. Uh, I think it was off of Amazon, like an Amazon seller. And when I got it, um, it didn't work. I checked the disc. Uh, it had a big circle in the middle. I'm like, hmm, that's, oh, a, that's a ring good. scratch. Ew. Yeah, ring scratch. And I'm like, hmm, well, this doesn't work. So I called them, or I uh, emailed them, and I'm like, hey, uh, when I got this, I had this ring scratch to it. And they're like, oh, okay, yeah, we'll refund you for it. Sorry about that. It's like, oh, no, don't worry about it. So I got the refund in the end, so that, that's pretty cool. People saying your nails are long have not seen long nails. I remember that from a few streams ago. No, so Camille specifically was not referring to the length of my fingernails past the cuticle. They were commenting how long my cuticles were compared to her own. So, uh, apparently, like, my actual fingernails, like, the actual nail part that's connected to the skin, is pretty long for a dude. Although, like, to be fair, most people I've seen their hands, it's... It's about the same, so... Camille just had short fingernails. Yeah, my nail beds, my nail beds. Here, I'll turn the camera back on to show what I'm talking about. Uh, yeah, this might need a pencil or something to scratch at that, and I'm a bit nervous about doing that. John, don't you know the camera adds 10 centimeters? <laughs> wow, that's very generous. Here, just to show this again. Uh, my actual, like, my nail beds are, for guys, are pretty long. They're all right. Like, I thought this was standard. My hands are dry as hell right now because of the, uh, the shitty weather change we got going on here, so. Fortunately, it looks, my skin looks bad. But, yeah, these are the usual length of my nails. I mean, no shame in having long, uh, nail beds. I mean, I didn't think that was really a thing you could control, so. Exactly, no, there's no, like, that's kind of a thing, I think, with some people, they try and say stuff like, oh, man, this thing you can't control, you should be ashamed of it. It's like, nah, man, that's just who you are. Yeah, exactly. You can't control that. You accept that and you rock it. To be fair, some people's nail beds are super close to their tip. Yeah, I know. That was, I've seen a bunch of people like that. That was that was the whole discussion. So Camille was like, hey, John, why are your nails longer than mine? And I was confused because I had just cut them that day. So I'm like, what are you, what are you talking about? They're, they're short. And she's like, no, 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 not that. I mean, they are bigger than mine, but I also have small hands. I mean, yeah, that's fair, too. I do have pretty big hands. I have long, slender fingers. And with big hands comes big gloves. <laughs> that is true. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna be honest. I think this one might be a lost cause. Dang, that sucks. Uh, the like, uh, the uh, I have ways to try to scratch off the dirt, but I am worried about the safety of me doing this. Not to myself, oh, no, no, no. but to the cartridge. Because here's the I thing, don't... DS games can't be opened without kind of needing to be re-glued back. They're not, like, resealable like other consoles are. 
if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. So, Pseudo, I'm gonna give you this option then. If I cannot get this working, and it does feel like more than likely I cannot, I will let you pick another game, as it is, as you were the one who won the poll. So you are welcome to pick a second game, and we'll roll with that. Because I know you're here, because you've been messaging in chat. And I guess I'll have to track down another copy of this. Oh, my only option is to use my fucking Switchblade, and I'm afraid of doing that. A Switchblade in the DS? I don't know about that if one, If I dude. press too hard on it, the cartridge is done. But at this point, yeah. the cartridge is currently done already anyways. Like, that's how deep it is. So for those who've never seen, uh, like, trying to clean a DS cartridge before, they have plastic, a uh, plastic grill along the connectors, so you cannot just use a Q-tip to clean them like you would any other cartridge. And the funny thing is, the Switchblade's actually working. I'm being very, very gentle with it. But it, some of this is actually moving around. It's almost like I need a fucking toothpick to use at this point to do this. Use a toothbrush? A toothbrush may work! I just don't have a... Ah, fuck. I had a dirty one I could have used. I threw it out. Like, last week. Shit. Damn you, Foresight. Why aren't you 2020? Because it's 2022. I knew someone was going to say it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I've not seen them say anything in the chat yet about a new option. Maybe they're thinking. They might, they about... might be thinking. They might be thinking. Yeah. Or they're really hoping I can get this working. Hmm. Or they've stepped away for a moment. One or of the that. three. I mean, to be fair, a pseudo I believe is work. back in in my old time zone of Newfoundland. It is two thirty there currently. Oh. Because they are so three and a half hours ahead of me. Or wait, no, they're beyond Eastern. Yeah. No, they're two time zones past Eastern. Because Atlantic is one hour ahead of Eastern, and then Newfoundland is half hour ahead of Atlantic. Mm -hmm. I've cleaned DS cards with a Q-tip before. It just needs to be a fluffy one with a bit of elbow grease. I unfortunately do not have any fluffy Q-tips right now. They're very rigid. Form is, not, is saying to not use a toothpick because it will scratch the contacts. I figured as much. That's why I was being very careful with the knife. The knife moved a bit of the solid dirt around, so it might actually have cleaned up the contact enough, but I can't guarantee it. Because DS games are temperamental to begin with. I am sad if the Newfie game does not work, but it backup, if a backup is needed, let's go with Metal Arms glitch in the system for GameCube, and I'm actually in Ottawa. Oh, you're in Eastern, just from Newfoundland origin. Okay, so you're like me. You're, you're an ex-Newf. Hmm. Which, to be fair, that's kind of, I think, the biggest export from Newfoundland is Newfoundlanders, so... That checks. Uh, we might get lucky on this. It knows I'm- Oh! It knows! Oh, fuck, hang on. Oh... I had it- sh I had it show up for a second there. We might get lucky on this. Come on, I jumped the gun earlier. I still should be in bed right now, but I, uh, but I want to see my game get played. All right, fair enough. Hell yeah. Damn it! I had it a second ago. Fuck! Come on, you can do this. This is got this. this is salvageable. It's not as bad as it was. If a backup is needed, is it a new poll or no? And I would go with Pseudobyte's next game because technically Pseudobyte won, and they said the Metal Arms, so I would do Metal Arms. Donkey Kong's got a 1% anyway, so he gets a second chance no matter what. Too supposed to clean the cartridge? Like I said, I don't... Oh, fucking hell! Every time I get it, I look away to chat, and then I go... It pops off screen. Oh! 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 <gasps> Yo! Ah, oh, damn it! No, it went away again. No. It's close. It's close. 
Have you tried blowing on the cartridge? Yeah, you're not supposed to do that because I can oxidize it. But yeah. at this yeah, point, man. at this point, I'm willing to take a fucking can of canned air to this. Where's that can? I have good news, I got a 4 out of 6 on today's Wordle. <laughs> oh, nice. Dude, I don't know if you saw mine from yesterday, I got like a 2 out of 6. It was insanely lucky. Jeez. And like my first one, well, I had the like... the word was surprisingly easy, too. Like, if you if you got like the first letter, you pretty much knew what it was. It's like the one of the first words you would think of. But apparently See, it's a thing. word that most people would just do for their starting word anyways. The thing is, I... Didn't actually get a single thing correct on the first one. It was all blank for me. I just got like a stupid lucky guess on the second one. Hilarious. Uh, I'm actually going to go right into the game because we don't know how long this is going to work for. So I'm going to skip donos and art block and maybe we'll do after game. Because, because, uh... I don't know how long this is going to work for. Man, seeing puffins makes me think of a video I saw where, like, it was Gordon Ramsay with, like, some puffins on, like, some island somewhere. I don't even know if it was Newfoundland or not. I remember he was, uh, catching them and, uh, cooking them, I'll say that. <laughs> Let's see what happens. I have no idea how long this is going to last, but it's on. It was Iceland. Okay, thank you. Triton, Olivia, and Little. Oh, dude, we they, gotta go with Stewart's file down there. They all have 0% done. Oh, actually, one has 6 of something. Looks like fish. Six. See. Undelete Triton. Trenton out there, just like, oh, just fade <laughs> you away. no longer exist, Trenton. <laughs> Dude, I'm so scared doing things like grabbing the stylus from the back. Like, I'm nervous. What? <laughs> ah, the yes, the gender affirming water wa waves over the picture. <laughs> this is how it works. It's just what happens. It's very slow, too. The tide has to go in and out. Oh man, can we make the Guy Fieri of uh, of puffins? Let's go for it. Yeah. What's the most Flavor Town look we can get going here? I like the, I like this is pretty Flavor Town. I feel. Yeah, I can see it. What's the most? That that's pretty Flavor Town. Yeah, that's pretty Flavor Town. There we go. Amtrans can confirm that's how it works. Oh, it's very slow moving water. Fantastic. Ah, of course. Take me to Puff Flavor Town. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right. Uh, we need a good guy, guy Fieri name. And I don't know how many mm. characters we have to work with. Let's see here. How about, how about foul play? We have 10 characters to work with. Puff and stuff. Puff, Puff Fieri, Fieri might be the only one that might fit at this point. I think we might have to go with it. Oh, there's no space. Oh, there's no space. Of course not. That would be helpful. No. Maybe we get a last name if we're lucky. Puffy. Flavor Town is exactly. Flavor Town is exactly ten characters. This game is a serial tie-in. Chef Puffin works. Alright, we got story mode, multi card play, DS, Nintendo Wi Fi connection, quick play, profiles, and options. Let's do story mode. What do you mean, multi card play? <laughs> Every year in the springtime, puffins make the long journey back to their hereditary nesting grounds. Oh, this is very much Alan Doyle's music. Holy shit. Oh, Fly Fieri would have been great, damn it. Aw. That would have been a great one. Here on Puffin Island, young Puffins will learn the ways of their elders and become fully adult members of the flock. Or get shot by Highwang, apparently. Highwang is here to eat Puffins. 
I'm sorry, Ray D, but you are not powerful enough to summon this raid. Oh, okay, well then I don't have the wrong countermeasures. Thanks. Save me some time. I'm gonna try anyways. Oh shit, he was right. I'm not. Well, fuck. Maybe if I use my credit card. There we go. Hi Wang, thank you for the raid. Although, during the countermeasures, I realized, why did I run countermeasures when I specifically said we were skipping art block and everything else in case the cartridge didn't work? I'm a fucking moron. Either way, uh, thanks for joining us for the cookie jar. We're playing, we're doing fortune cookie basically, but all options are viewer choices that we have in our queue. And we've currently landed on Puffin's Island Adventure, a game from my home province of Newfoundland about puffins, which apparently is not that good. What a shame. And there's not much game development that happens back home, so I'm not shocked. Like, this was like the push to be like, yeah, let's actually try, and then... Eh. Mm -hmm. Welcome to Puffin Island, little one! Oh, this this music? A hundred percent Newfoundland. Holy shit. I literally feel like I'm back home right now. <laughs> just got a fucking whiff of nostalgia. Just hit me real hard in the face. You're home, John. Welcome to Puffin Island, little one. Let me give you some advice before you get started. Thanks, Sage. Young Puffins need to practice all sorts of skills. Flying, fishing, diving, and swimming are just a few. Puffin experts all over the island can give you access to different... Games. Games. Game. Look for puffins with colored markers around their feet. Dark blue equals the puffin can sell you unlockable items or give advice if you're lost. Purple gives access to a game. Gold offers a task. Light blue unlocks a new game level to help. Okay, to help you further, a yellow pointer appears in the top screen whenever your next goal is located. The better you score during game events, the more levels and games you'll unlock. Improve your scores enough, and new areas of the islands will open up for you to explore. As you progress, you'll gain a home. Oh, you'll gain a home. You can decorate, attract a mate, and start a family of your own. Is this what being in Canada is like? This is what being in Newfoundland is like. Why does it sound Scottish? Because uh, Newfoundland is a mix of Irish and Scottish. Oh, I didn't know that. That's cool. We're also where the Vikings landed originally. Like start once from Minnesota? Start with Puffin 500 by take talking to Noir just a little to the north and east of here. If you ever need advice on what to do next, double tap touch me with the stylus. Or stand in front of me and press the A button to talk. You can always find me right here by the pond. Show me how to fly. Touch the bottom screen with the stylus and the Puffin will walk, swim, or fly towards it. You can take flight by touching the flight icon. You can also use the control pad to move and take flight with the B button. Once you are flying, you can't just land anywhere. You need to find specially marked landing pads to enable the landing icon. Fly over a landing pad and touch the icon to press the B button to land. At first, only one area uh, has landing spots available, but more will open up all over the island as you find a complete task for the other puffins. I assume this is who we just talked to. Yep.
Let us fly. And let us land. We went very far today. Welcome to the Puffin 500. Pick a course and get ready to fly as fast as you can. Oh, that's a lot. Yeah. All right. Steer using the control pad. Accelerate with the A button and slow down with the B button. You can bounce up and fly higher with the X button or the L button. Once you climb this way, you will slowly glide back down to the normal height above the ground. Collisions will cost you health. Your health will be replenished whenever you complete a lap. If you lose all your health, you'll be out of this race. Floating gates can restore your health or give you a speed boost if you fly through them. Catch power-ups by flying through... This is a lot. Catch power-ups by flying through their floating icons. You can use a power-up with the Y button or the R button. Power-ups can give you a speed boost, protect you from damage, or damage an opponent. Keep an eye out for golden feathers. The only way to earn a perfect rating in a P500 race is to finish first with all three golden feathers. Remember what you said about racing games being the easiest to make? Well, I mean, you could still make them fucking complicated. Collect golden ca caplin. <laughs> Jesus. Collect golden caplin by flying through them. They don't affect the event, but can be spent on unlockable items once you return to the island. Which button was go faster? I kind of glazed over everything after a while. I did not expect this to be a racing game, I won't lie. I'm down for it. I'm using my famous puffin shield. No, I wanted the fish. How dare you? That fish was mine. I've got all the feathers. Music's pretty exciting. Lap two! What button sent me into midair? Why I believe it was. I believe so. Oh no, it was X. I'm not gonna lie, I'm fucking afraid to lift up the 3DS because I don't want it to stop working. Mm -hmm. It's a valid uh, reason to not want to. Especially with your uh, unfortunate situation with this game. <laughs> Sucks you honestly have to even do that in the first place, but, you know. I mean, I'm just glad it works. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to just get. Oh no! Oh, come on! Wow, you stay stunned for so long when you hit a wall. That is kind of ridiculous. I mean, I mean sure, if you like okay. ran into it. Puffin shield, save me! Oh god! Well, we lost this race. Dang. Just gonna go out on a limb and say that's the case. Unless this, this game also seems like it's rubber banding like absolutely mad. Just from what I see on the bottom screen, I can see it. I'll see it. This draw distance is a thing. <laughs> well, we won. Nice. Congratulations. You're the best puffin around. A plus. Puffieri beat Squawker, Rotter, and Sneaky. Squawker. Good name. Fine. Congratulations. Find puffins with light blue rings around their feet and talk to them to add new event levels to the menu. You've gained access to new levels for Puffin 500. Puffin Plummet. There's a new Puffin 500 course available on the menu. You should check it out. Okay, goodbye. So I can take off from anywhere, but I have to land on one of those spaces. Seems a little uh, counterintuitive. 
talk to Winter on the southern tip of the peninsula if you want to play a ring race level. Sure. Dude, these birds are kind of ugly. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Oh, well, it's just it a cartoony so style for the puffins. I suppose so, yeah. yeah. Found a shop. It looks so like... smug in a dialogue, though. Yeah, no kidding. Also, can we get the backstory of the main character's battle scars on his beak? Would you like to unlock some new special items or review the ones you've already got? Puffin, a curious puffin in the grass. Is this actual footage of puffins? No way. No. I, I gotta know, dude. Damn it, I have I wanted the puffin fight, but I only have nine fish. Alright, we gotta go we gotta go get more. Remind me to go to the shop. A part of me wonders, is it copyrighted footage? <laughs> I doubt it. I want to practice up a bit of the other events before you have a go at the ring race. No, fuck you! I want to play the ring race! Well, fuck off, then. Guess I'm gonna go do the Puffin 500 again or some shit. I lost the four best stones out of my rock collection. I just can't get on my on with my day unless I get them back. I would really appreciate it if you could find them for me. They should be oh, nearby. No. Dude, I can't do anything without my stones. Have you thought about not blocking my way so I can get your stones? No, I guess I, I guess these are the large glowing things I need to find. Yep, there's a bunch of large glowing things here now. I found three of them already. Mm. There's number four. All right, cool. It's a really weird comparison, but I'm getting like this top-down view and like playing as like. I guess you're, like, you're playing a bird, obviously, but it's a little different, but it kind of reminds me, reminds me a little bit of, like, the Disney dinosaur game for the PS1, because there's, like, in the first level, you control, like, this pterodactyl that's, like, completely original to, like, the game that wasn't even in the movie, and you're, like, flying around on the island and everything. I had the game as a kid, and it wasn't too bad, honestly, but I'm sure, like, if I went back to it now, I don't think I would like it as much, but for a kid, it was definitely fun. Kind of hard too, especially when you didn't have a memory card as a kid. <laughs> oh god, that, that was gonna say that would make it pretty bad. I heard that dinosaur game had some like rough later stages. It did, yeah, definitely did. Oh, thank you for returning my favorite rocks. My collection would never be the same without them. Okay, what did that do? Yeah, I would. I got That's cheered. Cool. Will you let me play? Nope, you still won't let me. Oh my god. How dare. You practice your profit by under racing and come back later. I want to play other shit. Maybe that's uh. why people never play this game more. They get one of them to race. And there was a period of time I had a PS1 without a memory card, and trying to finish Metal Gear Solid on that was a pain. Oh, God. Oh, I do not envy you on that. All right, here we go. Let's get some fish. Let's yeah, get that puffin fight footage. Times, there were days that the PS that PlayStation stayed on for four or five days straight. Jesus. Jesus. Oh, my famous tornado powers, finally. I was wondering when these would appear. Oh, oh. Wow. Okay, yep, yeah, no. Oh. Did you just face through that wall? I think I apparently flew over it, but it sure did look like that, didn't it? All right, we got two of the golden feathers. And we're missing two fish. Two more laps to try to get them all. One of the fish, and there's one of the feathers. God damn it! That wall throws me off every time. Hello. Is he is he being a troublemaker again? For do you say 45 minutes? Jesus. Okay. Well, I guess it is getting warmer because it's going to warm up here otherwise. 
Hello, Reese. Hello, Reese. Chat says hi, babe. Bigel wants snacks. We get snacks. All right. All we're missing is one feather. And we know where it is. We just keep getting clipped off the side of it. I love you too. Sorry, I can't look away because I'm afraid this game was a struggle to get working. There we go. All feathers. Let's do it. Let's win this race. For Puffieri. Do it for Puffieri. Put up the puff shield. More puff shield. More shield for the puffins. Uh oh. Get back here! Well, you said get back here, he got back there. That's true, he listened a little surprisingly well. Oh no! Robbed. At the very mm -hmm. end. Let's see. What a fucking rip up. Look at that. 21, 251, 7, 8, and 0. Bullshit, dude. <laughs> That's ridiculous. You got access to new levels for Puffin 500. Apparently, no, we don't because it didn't actually list anything. Well, guess what we have to do again? Yay. Three minutes of racing because we got shoved out of the way at the last possible second. I think the rubber banding's a bit, uh, overzealous? <laughs> what do you think? That's the word I think we'll use here? Because holy shit. I'll be right back. Go for it. All right. Out of the way, I'm trying to get my feathers and my fish. God, why would like why is the second race three minutes long? Feels a bit much. And what no, it wouldn't be as bad if it wasn't for the fucking rubber banding. Holy shit. Mm hmm Oh, missed it again. I do appreciate the movements, if anything. It seems kind of all right. Well, the, so like... left and right turning is a bit uh, loose, for lack of a better term. Like, it, it's really hard to stay in place when I try to turn. Really? Hmm. Like, I try, I like, I have to overcompensate. Gotcha. Right, and how does that feel, I guess, to do that? Not the best. Dang. Missing two fish. It just sucks just to have someone like catch up and hit you for no reason at all. So there's one here we missed. I think the other one was in the cave at the start. Yeah, there we go. There we go, we got all fish. Grab this booster. Oh, come on. This is not even remotely fair. Get the fuck out of here. We did it. We all did it. Newfoundland has never made a game before, so all the rubber bands were super stretchy. Fair enough. All right, what did that unlock? Puffin Plummet! Let's go buy that video first, or picture, whatever it is. Alright, let's see. Uh, 
Do I want Puffin Fight? Take off, Puffin Flock, Puffin Chick, Seaside, Wave Rider, a Puffin in the Water. Whale Tail, a whale comes to the surface. Ooh, whales. Capelin, a Puffin holding a Capelin. Windy, a Puffin squawking in the breeze. Sky Flight, a Puffin in flight. Look out, Puffin in the tall grass. Meal time, beak full of Capelin. I think a lot of people, yeah, people want to fight. People want to see that fight? Let's see if it's a video or just a picture. Oh, it's I footage. Gotta, gotta it's know. footage. Yo! All video footage. footage was captured live on the Whitless Bay Ecological Reserve in Newfoundland, Canada. To find out more about puffins in the reserve, visit the official environmental and conservation website. What, what Was that it? No, I think they're still going. Or did it I, loop no, I think already? it, did it, I think it already? looped. I think you're right. This is a ripoff. <laughs> All right, well, we got we got eight more points. We can get puffins and herring gulls, a group of puffins and burrows, a big puffin, or just a puffin. And we got to get big puffin. Do I got to see big puffin? Big puffin. Look at this guy. Look at the size of that lad. He is a big boy. Look at him. And that's it. That's the footage. <laughs> Damn. That's all you get. Damn. Alright, we still got time on this. Let's go see if we can what what was the minigame we got? Puffin drop or whatever? That's not that one. Is it this one? No! They said we unlocked a new minigame. Yeah, what happened to it? No, oh, actually, hang on. Wait, someone else is highlighted. Let me go to the highlighted person first. It did say the game, but it didn't say any mini games for it, so maybe that's why. Maybe we pseudo unlocked it. Up and coming puffins are always working to improve their puffin plummet dives. I hear there's a new level on the menu. Think you're up to the challenge? Goodbye. Now, now it fucking works. There's a new Puffin 500 course available on the menu. You should check it out. Goodbye. The page wasn't even found, apparently. Damn, website doesn't even work. Up and coming Puffins are always working to improve their Puffin Plumper Dives. I hear there's a new level on the menu. Think you're up to the challenge? Yes! Where the fuck do I go? Now I can do it. I had to talk to those three Puffins specifically. And now I can do it. Are you ready for the challenge? Oh, each one I talked to actually unlocked a different stage. So we actually did get many games for both. Oh, Okay. Puffin Plummet is played with the Nintendo DS turned on its side. Fantastic. Using the oh, stylus, no. drag the draw cursor to a, to start a line. Draw your line through as many targets as you can. Aim for their centers to score high. Watch your dive. Replay and get scored by the judges. Higher scores result in more interesting dives. Your final score is average between the two dives, so little mistakes don't have as much impact. Collect golden cable by drawing your line through them. They don't affect the event, but they can be spent on unlockable items. All right, dive one. All right, let's see that replay. Let's see that replay, baby. You get to watch it sideways, I'm sorry. <laughs> Damn sound effects. All right, and that was a 9.5, 9.7, 9.6. Nice. Not too shabby. Dive two.
And now, the laid back sleepy. And then the face the camera and say hello. And then hello. the face the camera and say hello again, I guess, but differently. And then the actual dive and then the roll, the barrel roll. Oh, then an actual barrel roll on top of that. 9.2, 9.4, 9.6. Wow, that was worse somehow because we missed the middle of the targets a bunch, but. All right, A plus with a 9.5. Saving. You gain access to new levels for Puff and Plummet, but we're never telling you what they are. Because <laughs> I gotta go talk to this guy over here and then I get the access to the level. That's what it is. Oh, I gotta go in this house. Up and coming, Puff, is, uh, Puff and Plummet. Let us fly to where we need to go next. They want me to do the fucking race again. God damn it. God, do they actually? Yep, they want me to do Twilight Woods. Haven't you haven't you done your time? <laughs> haven't I've you raced done. enough? I mean we are just hitting 30 minutes now, like like in a couple seconds here, so I guess we'll do this last race and then we'll just be like, yep, that'll do. So I guess that'll we're not gonna do. get that third minigame. Oh fuck, okay, I jumped too high. One feather. Two feathers. I missed that fish somehow. Oh, and I missed that feather. My psychic puffin shield will help me. I guess. Maybe. Does not seem like it actually is. Like, this game seems okay, but definitely not the target market for it, I can tell you that much. Yeah. Whoop. I just wanted to go get the fish. Go get the fish. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh fuck, where do I go? Oh god. I'm not looking at the bottom map at all. I need that health. Final lap. What are we missing? We're missing one fish and that's it. I believe that's on the right path. I hope. <laughs> Have I chosen poorly? Oh, I think I did actually. There we go. No, 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 no. Go, go, go. Okay, I got some of my feathers back. I... Okay, no, there's plenty of time. All right. As long as we don't miss the booster at the very end of the race, we've got this. Even if they rubber band. But if they rubber band, they could smack us into a wall, causing us the race! Almost cost yourself the race there. No kidding. A plus. Only one by a done. second, too. 
Yeah, these uh, times are very close, I'm seeing. Tide like pool like fishing and ring race. We finally unlock something else. Congratulations, you gained a burrow. A good home is the first step to establishing yourself on the island. It may look barren right now, but once you attract a mate, you can fill your burrow with decorations and eventually more puffins. All right, so I get... Oh, this is my house. Got a welcome mat, a fucking mailbox and everything. But I want to go try one of these other minigames. It's quite difficult and even dangerous to get down to the beach from here, don't you think? Find me five pieces of driftwood and I bet I could do something to fix that. You know, we can fly, right? We're birds. But no, no driftwood sense. only. Only driftwood? Only driftwood. Oh yeah, there's a minigame down there. But let's see which one this is. It's locked! Neat! Oh, there's one of them. Alright, chat, what's the consensus? Are we gonna try to get this third minigame, or are we just gonna go to the cookie? A lot of cookie. Yeah, I had a feeling it'd be a lot of cookie. I think people are pretty done with this one. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. Did I miss the puffin fighting? Yeah, you did. You did. It wasn't very, wasn't very special, sadly. It was like ten. Like the whole clip was ten seconds long, but the puffin fight itself was like two seconds of that. Mm hmm. This was a cool 20 minute experience. We've been playing it for 35 minutes. <laughs> I didn't turn the timer on until the game started. One last video. Uh, do we have enough fish for that? We might have enough capelin. Let me see if I can. I'm going to actually. I want to go see that minigame first. I repeat, this was a cool 20 minute experience. Fair enough. All right, who wanted to build that bridge out of driftwood? This is all the driftwood I need to fix the path down there. It should be easy to get down to the beach from here now. It's so easy. I'm just going to fly down there because I am a bird. You're really making waves. I think you're ready for a new challenge. A new tide pool fishing level has been added to the menu. You should give it a go. All right. It's the one I've been waiting for. To be fair, some birds can't fly. Yeah, none of the ones in this fucking game. Everyone can here so far. If puffins are normally birds that can fly, yes. <laughs> Draw circles around edible fish to gain points. Circling predators will cost you points. Fill the time meter by quickly catching edible fish. When it is full, bonus time will be added to the clock. Circling predators will fill the time meter in the opposite direction, causing you to lose time when it is full. The faster you clear edible fish, the faster new waves will arrive. Draw a circle around gold and capelin to collect them. They don't affect the event, but they can be spent on unlockables. Well, this is a thing. <laughs> Yeah, this is, this is fish. This is fish. This is what fishing is all about. Why does it just feel like just weird Pokemon Ranger right now? Kind of does, doesn't it? Fish Ranger, exactly. Nice, got all those yellow dudes. Yep, now we can just botch the rest unless they want to rank us on our fishing. There's a lot of jellyfish here now. Fish fear me, puffins love me. <laughs> if 
Oh no, the damage. I mean, I had no choice. Look at how many fucking jellyfish are there! God, it really does feel like back home. Jesus Christ. Did you deal with a lot of jellyfish as a kid? There, yeah, there were a lot of jellyfish nearby where I lived. Mm -hmm. When I would go visit my were grandparents, we'd, we'd go to the dock and there'd just be a bunch of jellyfish just kind of around. Were you ever stung by one? No, thankfully. I heard it was okay, painful, good. Though. So I've heard. Ah, oh, dude, one off. Yeah. Puff and plummet, tide pool fishing. All right, so we got new minigames for that. Let's go watch one last video. Let's see what we got enough for. Ah, uh, some jellyfish are deadly. Uh, we can, this time around, we can get look out, puffing in the tall grass. Meal time, a beak full of capelin, and that's the most expensive one. I don't know, dude. I'm, I'm kind of feeling meal time. All right. Yeah. We're hungry. Hungry. Hungry birds. That's it. That's the footage. <laughs> we paid twenty fish for this. This cost me twenty fish. All right, there you go, and that's gonna do it for that. I'm glad we got it working. Uh, yeah, we're gonna figure out a way to clean that properly, but at least it works for now. You Thank at you. least got to do it for a stream segment, which is good. Yeah. <laughs> so I was like, this is less footage than the cheaper one. Yeah, it pretty much was. Oh my god, you're right. Yep. Let's go to the cookie. So, King Brawly gets a second chance with Donkey Kong Country Returns for the Wii. That is correct. Uh... Oh, this is round four, and we've got one last round after this as well. So let's slap that 1% rule in there. And then we've got five new people entering the fray here. Who do we got this time? We've got Radiant Shadow 92. Oops, put the wrong symbol in there. That's supposed to be an underscore. Who picked Celeste? For the Switch. Oh, interesting. Do they still want that? Considering we just played it, like, kind of recently, or...? Radiant, I don't know if you're still here. Um, you want to stick with it? Because, yeah, we played this, what, was it last cookie? Or... Last cookie, because your most recent cookie, I think, was with... Uh, who was on that night, actually? I know it ended with Clue. I think it was Dan and Popsky, maybe? Probably. Probably was. Uh, I'll leave it on there. Meanwhile, uh, they might not be here anymore. So if they're not, we'll leave it on there. Uh, Rio, 314, Rio 3415, rather. Who picked... Spyro the Dragon 1 in the Reignited Trilogy. Ooh, good choice. I thought Celeste was from the week before last. You think it's been two weeks? I don't remember. Has it? Radiant says, I'm awake I... against my better judgment. Do you want to stick with it? Do you want to stick with Celeste or do you want to change your game? Your call either way. People are saying it's been about two weeks since Celeste, so it's not the biggest of deals. Your call. It is not, no. You're calling that one, yeah. All right. A Wojonator says Tecmo Bowl for the NES. Time passes by so fast. Uh, Zenblade 7 picks Dead Rising 1. Ooh, uh, really? Ooh. I have the PS4 version, I think. I think that's the more recent one I have, so that'll look the nicest. They say keep it. All right, Radiant says keep Celeste, so Celeste is staying on there. And the last All one right. I have for this round is from Glitchman42. <laughs> who says, Ratchet and Clank up your arsenal. Is there a place we can see the queue? Uh, I'll just tell you there's a lot. <laughs> uh, no, there's no way to see the queue. Only myself and the mods can see that. And yeah, there's there's many entries on there. Yes. All right. Six games on this one because of the 1% rule for Donkey Kong Country Returns. This is going to be a strong one. 
Let's see what happens. All right, pulls up. Can mark these. Five is complete. And the last pull of the night we're doing tonight will have Kid Arc Storm, Da Policia, Flying Tengu, TBG Hunter, and PV Primo. Currently, though, results wise, what do we got? Currently, Spyro the Dragon 1 is in the lead. Ooh. Because it's the reignited version. 61 votes, 71 votes now, 26% of the vote. Donkey Kong Country Returns is in second place again. 61 votes, 23%. Now make that third now, because Ratchet and Clank up your arsenal is fighting it. 68% or 68 votes, 22%. Celeste, 27 votes, 8%. Dead Rising 1, 25 votes, 7%. And Tech Mobile, 25 votes, 7%. Actually, fighting out with Dead Rising for last and second last. Spyro the Dragon currently leads 105 to 94 over Donkey Kong Country Returns. So let's slap a minute on the clock and see what happens. Stop. I assume this is going to be another attempt at getting a 1% rule by the looks of it. It's looking like it. Yeah. There's a lot of good options here with these games. Uh, I've never actually played a Ratchet and Clank game myself, but they seem interesting. I own the PS4 one because they gave it off. Uh, they gave it out for free, uh, like last year. They were doing a uh, play at home thing. Uh, Sony was doing that, and they gave out a bunch of free stuff. And Ratchet and Clank PS4 was one of those games. And I picked it up. Nice. Have you ever played Portal Two? Postal Two? No, I have not played Postal Two. I know of it though. How long can a 1% rule chain get? I mean, if it keeps getting 1% rules, it keeps getting another chance. That's just how it works. Longest one I think we had was an entire night. Like, so that would be four cookies at least? I think so. But it looks like that ain't happening to... Oh, I guess technically no, it would be, because it's at... That's a percent and a half. Are we giving uh... DKC another chance? Uh, now it's 28, so it's like definitely... Yeah, we'll, we'll give it another chance. Yeah, let's definitely... Yeah. Spyro wins it, but Donkey Kong Country Returns again gets another 1% rule. Donkey Kong Country returns, returns, returns. Yeah, but it still has not returned enough to win because Spyro the Dragon Reignited is up next. Oh, uh, Kid Ark, I'm gonna tell you right now, you're saying like, I guess I gotta stay up for another hour. I feel bad because you got a good game choice, but there are some meme choices coming up next. You may not win. <laughs> I have been surprised before. We'll see. Kill me now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I respect <laughs> your game choice, though. I do respect your game choice. Let's definitely preface something here. I think it, that's important to say is uh, please, like, don't be upset if, like, your choice doesn't win. At the end of the day, it is, like, an audience, I guess, vote for all this. Uh, and you know, it's cool to see like you guys submitting different choices because it really shows like just the various like love for all kinds of games that people have around here that they would want John to potentially play, you know, like that's really cool. That, that's just kind of it, really. <laughs> all right, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and get to the carton. Has there been multiple 1% rules, i.e. more than one game being in the cookie for the 1% rule? Once, I think? Yeah, like, it was like, the games in second and third were tied, and they were both really close to first, but they didn't win. I think that happened at least once. I, I, I do know it happened at least once, and that was years ago that happened. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, let's drop some eggs. Oh, 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 my dude and anonymous. Thank you for the gift subs. To shift and a pocket monster. Wan spell for 35. The super thingy ma bob for 23. Radiant shadow 92 for 25. Cardian joker for 96. And production videos for 12. Alongside Zale Explorer for 23. And Bloody Mark II for 12. Thanks for seven, folks. Your eggs tonight are courtesy of the following people. 
which I'm... Oh, no, there's more. Oh, though, I thought there was just the one. There's a couple in here now. Uh, from Iskabird. KK birthday for Beefaroo. It's your birthday, let's celebrate. So make a wish and cut the cake. Today is made just for you. Happy birthday, our dearest Bifuru. Very nice, Iska Bird. Hell yeah. Fuck Very yes. Nice. Next uh oh. <laughs> I have to wait four minutes to show this one, apparently. There's two from Draco. One is labeled, Do not watch until January 20th, 2022. And it is four <laughs> minutes away from me. And the other is labeled, You can watch this one, though. Thanks, Rhyme. So I guess Look, we'll watch January this 20th one. Year. I guess we'll watch this one. Ice cream! Yay. Oh, Alright, we're gonna go to break. When we come back... We're going to play us some Spyro 1 in the Reignited Trilogy. See you guys in a bit. I'm excited. Love this game. I grew up with, like, Spyro 3, if anything, and that's the one I really, really love. But 1 and 2 are really good, too. As I have stated numerous times, I have no, no nostalgia for this series at all. Oh, that's and completely I, fair. I, I heard of it, but I never got to play it. Because the only person who had a PS1 growing up... Uh, actually, well, I guess I had two friends... Uh, one was into, like, you know, Metal Gear Solid and, like, mech games and shooter games. The other uh, was my cousin, and they had Final Fantasy VII, which is what I played every time I was there. And then every now and then we would rent a PS1 game, and we rented Duke Nukem Time to Kill and, uh, and Mortal Kombat 4. So, me and her had played some messed up games, is what I'm saying. But no, never Crash or Spyro. Weirdly enough, never those. My only experience with Spyro is from a demo disc from a PlayStation magazine way back. I don't know what else. I think Cool Borders was another game on that demo disc, but... And Cool Borders was pretty popular, so I could see that being the case. <coughs> oh, oh boy, there's the acid again. Hmm. Well, I had, I had chili for dinner, so that's why my acid reflux is acting up. Right. So it's not exactly like an unsurprising thing this is going on right now. Let me turn off the retro tank. I said turn off the retro tank. Thank you. Let's turn on the non tondo swanch. Let's go find my copy of Spyro, if I can figure out where the heck that is. I also need to go get some water and maybe grab a little snack. Get that snack, dude. You deserve it. <laughs> do I? Yeah, treat yourself. What, 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 kind of snacks do you, what kind of snacks do you have? I don't know, man. Like, usually I grab an almond bar, but we're out right now. Reese did pick Aww. up a box of animal crackers. Maybe I'll grab those. Are they in your soup? No. That's good. Don't be like Shirley Temple. Don't put those damn crackers in your soup. <laughs> I was like, where are you going with this? A Shirley Temple joke in the year of our Lord 2022. <laughs> Fantastic. Exactly. Be right back. Uh, oh, favorite level three, three Spyro games? Um, oh, I'm a big fan of Fireworks Factory from 3. I love that mm -hmm. level. Um... Scorch from 2 is pretty good, too. I remember liking that one. Three's got a lot of good stuff, too. Three's, like, one of my most, like, nostalgic games. Well, yes, I know there's Scorch in 3, but that's the boss fight Scorch, and not the level Scorch. <laughs> Ooh, favorite boss from the 3 games. One has kind of more level bosses than it does like boss bosses, like I guess like traditional boss fights. But I guess I would say the final boss of two is probably my favorite fight, or favorite boss fight across the entire series. Like that's just a really cool fight. Uh, 
For Spyro 3, though, I really like the um, spike fight, except only in the original game. I found it to be a little too easy in the uh, remake. I don't know, they made it a lot easier. I don't like it. I like the original one more. <laughs> I actually had a copy of Crash Bash when I was a kid. Oh, I get why people don't like Spyro 3 that much. I, it's because of the different, like, gameplay styles. And that's completely fair. Oh, don't even remind me of Yeti Boxing. Frozen Altars is a great level aside from Yeti Boxing. <laughs> Ooh, Skelos Badlands. Good choice. Or is it Skelos? Man, I remember there's like a point in like Skelos slash Skelos Badlands where like you have to save the cavemen from like dying to like the dinosaurs. That part can be a little rough. Oh, was the Spyro 3 remaster outsourced? I didn't know that. Huh. I still like the remaster for what it was, but I definitely noticed some interesting aspects to it. Yeah, it's it was mainly about learning the spawns of the dinosaurs in that mission. Favorite ice cream to get from an ice cream man? What's your favorite, Vincent? Do you, like, got a favorite ice cream? Wait. I usually between mint chocolate chip or a cookie and cream. Okay, that's a good choice. I like the, uh, have you ever had the, um, it's like the lemon, like, lemonade ice cream cup thing. You, like, they give you, like, a wooden spoon or a plastic one. Have you ever had those? I've had those a couple times, yeah. Yeah, those are great. I love those. I guess you also can't go wrong with the Sonic ice cream with the almost always mis mismatched eyes. <laughs> I have not played the Legend of Spyro games. I've only played the original three, uh, some of the GBA ones, and uh, what was the other one I played? Oh yeah, I had Enter the Dragonfly. I didn't beat it properly. I beat I did I beat it through the speedrun method <laughs> where you glitch into the final boss. Did you know they reprinted the PS4 and Xbox One versions a year later that was optimized to have all three games on disc? They did it so quietly, you have no idea to know unless you look at the disc's printed year. I did not know that, Lundea. That's interesting. Make me say I live in a downtown urban area. Dude, I haven't seen an ice cream truck here in, like, years, so don't sweat it. <laughs> oh, there's no shame in liking Enter the Dragonfly. I know a friend of mine, uh, Live, she was streaming that recently, actually, and I'm like... Man, this is kind of rough looking back on it, but she enjoyed it, so, you know, that's that's great to see. Spyro into the Dragonfly, my only child at Spyro, and I still enjoy it. That's good to hear, cried Tocton. What's an ice cream truck? Uh, it's, def it's something that will go around the neighborhood and just like, yo, what's up, you want some ice cream? And like, yeah, I want some ice cream. It's like, pay up. It's like, ah, oh, shit. Money. I'm a child. I don't understand this yet. And so you have to ask your parents, like, hey, I want money. And you always know they're coming by the jingle you hear five miles away. Yeah, dude. Like a fucking, like, nuclear siren. You're just like, oh man, it's, it's time. I, I hear it. <laughs> it's ready. <laughs> Except instead of, like, running for your life, you, uh, run out to get some ice cream. The Pavlovian response. <laughs> pa pa yeah, yeah. Pavel responds to a fucking ice cream truck. That is amazing. Did someone ask what an ice cream truck was? Am I getting old? I'm sorry, Grandpa. <laughs> it's time to take you to the home. I am Chow. Yes, Gumball Eyes Sonic was a, was always a classic. Have yourself a good night, Tiger Tiger, and to anybody else having a good, having a go to bed, definitely have a good night. It was always thing that would always be a street away when by the time you could get money from your mom. Dang. They had the Mario ice cream. I never saw the Mario ice cream. They had like the SpongeBob, and they had the. Uh, 
What else did they have? The Sonics, obviously. They had like the cops. Those are good too. Oh, uh, Rocket yeah. Pops. Rocket Pops. Yeah, Rocket Pops are good. Man, it's gonna be uh, cold over here. Uh, it was thundering, thunderstorming a little bit earlier, but it kind of went away. I was a little worried, actually. It'd be kind of bad, and I could, you know, it would be like picking up on my mic. But uh, it stopped a while ago, so that's good. Oh, they did have some Powerpuff Girls and Dora uh, ice cream popsicle things over here, too. What's your favorite flavor of ice cream, Vincent? In my experience, it just tastes out of blue. Like, didn't we just have this? Did we just talk about this? Like, like your favorite flavor? <laughs> did, 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 did we actually just talk about this? Yes, yeah, mint chocolate chip or cookies and cream. Fuck, I remember you saying this. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yay. Yeah. We need to put you in the home now, Grandpa? <laughs> you, you can't put me in the home. I'm not going there. Yeah, well, yeah, what I want to go there. I don't want to go to the home. I still have my World War II buddies. They're, they're still out there. Having a dude, it, it's a fun time. <laughs> I missed it too, actually. <laughs> but it's it's been fun. Uh, let's see. I'll read in the chat back a bit. Uh, ice cream you've never. What's a flavor of ice cream you've never tried before? Um, it's an interesting question there mm. because I have to think about what I've never had before that I've seen. Yeah. Hmm. I've dabbled in a lot of different kinds of ice creams. Mm -hmm. uh, there we go. Hey, everything alright? Yep, I just had a Rice Krispie Pete Square birthday cake one, and I just had a couple animal crackers, so. Did it have any extra Ooh. sugar, extra oil? MSG? Uh, it's extra salt, isn't it? Extra sugar, extra salt, extra oil, and MSG? Yeah, you, that, you missed I one in there. Ah, oh, dang, you're right. Ah, oh, fake Jet Set Radio fan. Dang, oh, gotta revoke it. To be fair, I don't think I don't think your Jet Set Radio fandom marker should be birthday cake. I kind of like that song though. It's trash, but I kind of like I it. I like that. the rest of that album. <laughs> the rest of the album's fine. I just don't like birthday cake. Oh, that's completely fair. Oh, and to answer the ice cream question that I haven't had, uh, um, green tea ice cream. You know, I'll say that too. Green tea ice cream, yeah. Never had that before. It is past midnight, John. Happy birthday, Beefaroo! Happy birthday, Beefaroo. All right, but I'm not showing that video until next break, so sorry, Beefaroo. Although, I may have to stall for time because I forgot that the Spyro Reignited Trilogy only has, I think, one of the games on the cartridge? So, someone That's was actually mentioning... Oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. So the other two had the download, and I had them downloaded on my Switch, but then I moved to my OLED, and they didn't auto transfer. So yeah, they're currently uh, re-downloading. So that's not, I guess it's not a Switch thing then. But what I was reading in chat earlier that someone mentioned about the PS4 and Xbox One versions, they at some point um, kind of quietly like put the games on the disc instead what? of having to have them download. Yeah, apparently they did that at some point. So not every print of the game has the other games on it. Right, like some you have to download them, some they have them just all on the what? disc. It's weird. All right. Hey, I don't know if that's true or not, but that's what someone in the chat earlier said. I, I know for a fact. I, I know for a fact the Switch version has one on the. I think it's Spiral one specifically on the cart, and the other two are downloads. Yeah, that's how it was on release. That was a reissue due to feedback. Ah, uh, okay. To be fair, I get being upset at that. I understand. Lundea has all three copies on PS4 with all three games on the disc. I think it actually was Lundea who said that earlier, and I think about okay. it. If the disc says 2019, it has all games on disc. Do you need to download the other two to play one? No, but I had the download running anyways. It do I do have the start software option, worst case scenario, but I'll buy some time. It says 14 minutes left, and 
Art Block will take 10 of that. At least, so. But let's read a couple of alerts I missed earlier, because we did skip alerts earlier. Because we weren't sure that Puffin game was going to keep working. Uh, we should be around here from Smashing Ellie. Didn't post anything about it to the Booroo today, but I'm starting a Johniverse Metopia playthrough. The first three party members besides myself are Shantae the Mage, Ryu the Thief, and Wesker the Warrior. Nice. Good party. Yoke the Joke says, I didn't know I could do a message. Or, f uh, fuck, I didn't know I could do a message, rather. It's my birthday, so you know what that means. Take my money, good sir. Thank you for making content since I was like 10 years or younger. Can't remember. Thank you and TRG for everything. I would like to give you guys a big hug. Have a good day, friend. Thank you, Yolk. And again, happy birthday, bud. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Oh, 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 says, Left 4 Dead 2 reminds me of the time me and my buddy Keith went to get sushi for his birthday. And Keith thought he hated sushi, but it turns out he loved sushi. So he thought, hey, how hard is it to wrap raw fish in seaweed? It turns out, it's hard. And we didn't even have any fish, so we just used chicken. Well, it turns out eating a bunch of chicken is real bad for you. Old Keith had to get his whole stomach pumped. Oh, no. I'm, I'm pretty sure this is actually a bit from Left 4 Dead. Oh, wait. One time, my <laughs> buddy it. Keith and I... God damn it, you're right. Ah. I realized it halfway <laughs> through. I'm like, this sounds really familiar. Yeah, no, no, that's... He's probably, he's probably telling Nick or Coach this. God, that whole cast is just great. The Valve is really good about their cast. Like, I was thinking today about how perfect like the TF2 cast is. And TF2 cast and the Left 4 Dead 2 cast are fantastic. Yeah. Good old Coach and Nick. Coach is my boy. He's always going to play and... Was Rochelle in 2? It was Rochelle, yes. right? Yeah. Yes. So I couldn't remember who the female member of the cast was in 1 or 2. I actually don't remember the name of the character in 1. But I never played Zo 1, so I don't remember any of the characters, really, aside from Bill. Zoe? Bill, Zoe, uh, that sounds right. Lewis? Lewis, yes. I think that was the pills here guy. Yes. Uh, Bill, Zoe, Lewis. Bill, Zoe, Lewis. Who was the last guy? Frank, maybe? Francis. Francis. Francis was the uh, guy in the tattoos, uh, or who had the tattoos. Oh, the biker, yeah. Yeah, biker. Nice. One time, my buddy Keith and I. Legend of Daniel says, Continue from a bit drop from Monday. I beat the bonus boss of Shin Megami Tensei 5 yesterday. I was a bit more prepared with the items and abilities this time. That was the first bonus boss I beat in any SMT game. I was so happy. I'm And then, ah, oh, I missed Smash Run. Fair enough. <laughs> Congrats, Daniel. Congrats on that. Sly Guy that's a, that's says... A fun fight. Is, oh, I'll take your word on that. I take it you beat the game? Yes, I'm working on 100% right now, actually. I'm kind of, kind of close to it. I just kind of finished my like hard mode playthrough, and then I'll be done. Nice. Sly Guy says, The end of the world, where Fire Z Missiles is from, is over 18 years old now, and now I will t go turn to dust. I mean, to be fair, all your base is, what, 23 years old now? I think all your base was 99. That sounds right. Yeah, memes be old. Mm hmm. Terrible Secret from Space, I think, is like the year after. Cryptic Creative says IMO, the two things Switch is missing from the 3DS is a Street Pass equivalent and themes. Also, shout out to the Yu Gi Oh! game Shadow Drop. Frick yeah. I'm gonna be honest, I have no fucking clue why the Switch does not have themes yet, despite having had a theme menu since day one. Yeah, isn't that odd? I know the 3DS took years to get themes and folders, but I really thought by now the Switch would have themes, uh, other than light mode and dark mode. Maybe if we're lucky, we'll get it this year. Uh, Pseudobite says, some fun stuff about Puffin's Island Adventure. The oh, we already read that one out earlier. Sorry, the game is not good. Queen Chi says, hey John, hey chat, remember when I donated those 888 bits for my job luck? Well, guess who signed the contract today? Nice, congrats. Fuck yeah. Thank you all for the well wishes. Plus, my job is basically AUS time, so that means I can watch the stream while I'm wrapping up for work, I think. But anyways, here's Lucky Cow for all of you. Yo, congrats, Queen Chi. Enjoy the new job. Heck yeah. The 3DS only took three years, and now we're on year five for the Switch. Oh, well. Well, okay. Let's also state this. I'm sure this might have had a part of it. Three years in the Switch's lifespan? slides right into the pandemic. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. I could see them being like, yeah, maybe development of the, of the themes is 
much lower on the priority list now. I could see that having bumped it if they're doing it. That's an assumption at this point. Mega Nerd says, Great Big C disbanded informally in 2013 and formally in 2015, but Alan Doyle still publishes albums, solo, and tours as Alan Doyle and the beautiful, beautiful band. So, you know, why, wait, hey, hey, it's just an ordinary day. Uh, Megner also says, actually, I have another fact. You know, during the sea shanty craze last year, one of the songs that memed was Row Me Bully Boys. Alan Doyle created that. He wrote it for when he was in Robin Hood, but it never got used, but he still plays it in concerts. Neat. Queenira says, hello, it's me with our cow of anime fun facts. Why is your cow full of anime fun facts? The new Shenmue anime will not have the game cast reprised from the games. According to Jason DeMarco, head of Toonami, they wanted a clean slate. The dub is being done uh, out of a studio in Houston called Sentai. I, I oh, can see wanting the, the clean slate. Because there is an awkwardness to the to the voice acting for Shenmue. And I'm sure, they want, I'm sure they want to be a bit more serious with it. But it also that's also part of the charm. So we'll see how it goes. Mm -hmm. Queen Era says, Wario time. Owo says, Toothbrush Fund! Silver AC says, Happy birthday to our little friend Beefaroo. Side note, do not eat him. Pseudobite says, I'm glad everyone has enjoyed the high quality Newfoundland Puffin video game. Now let's all go enjoy a bowl of Weetabix's Barbara's Puffins breakfast cereal. It is somewhat sad you never made it to the ring race game. Apparently it involves flying through rings, your favorite. Oh. Maybe, oh. It, was a, maybe it was a good thing we stopped. Womp womp. Let's go to our block. If they ever made an anime of the Yakuza series, would you watch it? Hell yeah. I'm sure it'd be fun as Yeah, well. why not? Alright. Ar Hi, Beef. Philip Draco says, Happy birthday, Beefy boy! Yay. It's Beef for his birthday. Art Block! Oh, Starts here. It's me pressing the wrong song. My bad. Uh, with a lovely picture of my wife. From Senshi. So I heard you played a Who Framed Roger Rabbit game the other day, which gave me a good opportunity to draw a horse mom in a dress. Oh, and I also, I guess, is my first drawing of the year. I had a bit of a late start, but that's fine. Um, I wouldn't call January a late start. You're good. But there you go. Thank you for the lovely Jessica Rabbit-esque horse mama. Thank you, Senshi. Jumping over to page one. Happy birth, Beefaroo! Thank you, Purple Boy. Maybe early, not for us because of time difference, but here's a little gift for the adorable Beefaroo on, on his first birthday slash anniversary. Him in purple at his party. Sorry about the whole mess with the rose drum. Oh, no, Mel, sorry. I, I told you, I sent you the message about it. Don't worry about it. Like, the post office is what fucked up, so don't sweat it. Thank you for the lovely, lovely picture of purple and Beefaroo for his birthday. Apparently, Judgment's getting a Netflix series. Would that be a successful thing in your opinion? It probably could. I could see it working. Since the Simpsons game was picked, I finally had an opportunity to post this. Poor Bart. Poor Bart having to write that so many times. Like, he's got, like, a huge bunch of empty space he's got there on each one, so really, I guess he's getting off easy on that. Thanks, Al. Next up, from Ditto. Be through with a birthday cake. It's the baby boy's birthday! I think I might have got the date wrong. Anyways, Beefru's enjoying some birthday cake he's super excited about. Nope, the 20th is Beefru's birthday. You got it right. Thank you for the Beefru cake. Next up, from Horizon Strider, Herf Beefru. In a monotone voice. Hello, welcome back to Honing with Horizon, where today, instead of cooking Beefru, we are cooking for Beefru. So in celebration of his birthday, we are making a grass cake. To start, we need to grow the grass. So first, we need to fertilize the soil, till the soil, broadcast the seeds. God, why is growing grass so difficult? Something, something, I'm working on art for something, something, help. I want to co cook beef root. No, wait, you didn't hear. No, don't cook. Don't cook the boy on his birthday. Thank you for the cake, the grass cake. Thanks, Horizon. And putting a candle above the grass cake. That may be, maybe not be a good idea. That may not be good. Maybe not safe. Maybe was the point. From I'm Not Batman. Introducing the Cookie Jaw! Now you can use your channel points as just games for me to play! A few minutes later. What's that noise? Rattle, rattle. Rattle, rattle. Pop. Looks like I need a bigger room. Now, it's not a matter of if, but when the Cookie Jar will grow just as big as the backloggery. God, I hope not. What is the number for now? I know that it has gone up. It probably is actually farther away than when we... Yeah, it is. It's farther away from then when we started the stream. 
I think, was it on Wednesday stream? No, this is Wednesday. On Monday stream, I think I said it, it was at 137 or 135. Is at 145 right now. So we've taken 20 games off the list and we're still behind. So what I'm saying is this list will never end. So yes, it will eventually catch up to the backloggery. Thanks, Batman. You say 149? Really? I got 145 on my side. Did you expect the number to go down? I figured it would break even, is what I actually expected. I figured it would break even. Next up from Noir. Oh, the small bovine is blessed with angelic-like wings for his anniversary of origin. Hey, I was playing Act Razor Renaissance. Ah, forsooth, Lord Higgledy Piggled, we give you a lovely beefaroo to protect your your civilians with. Thank you, Noir, for the cute beefaroo. And like the little, little blep he's got, too. Little bleppy boy. Next up, from Tiger Tiger Herf. I just remember that Beefaroo's birthday is today, so I drew a quick doodle to celebrate. I can't believe that little guy is one year old already. I also don't mind the blobbiness of the word in the background. I just really need to adjust the pressure sensitivity of my tablet. Gotcha. Thank you, Tiger. I figured you were going for a look on that. This stream is an economist's dream. Infinite inflation. Well, if you word it like that, it's many other people's dreams, too. So, thanks for that, Waluigi. Is there barbecue sauce soap? I'm sorry, what? What is the conversation I see going on in chat? Is that really it? Please tell me that's not a thing. It probably is a thing, isn't it? It probably is a thing. Please tell me if, there, if it's a thing. Next up, from Princess Pixel. Oh look, more OC lore! This one involves my special OC from an Indies game called Drawn to Life. Makat or Makato. Or Makoto for easier pronunciation. It used to be just another player's creation and a hidden gem of a game, but years later the Miis were confirmed for Smash 4, which means uh, Makoto was technically confirmed for Smash. This is the drawing of her first battle, and I must say, I'm proud of my girl. Nice. Going right up against Link and doing all right. Now I think about it, is Beefaroo available in Smash as a Mi too? I think there is a Beefaroo Mi out there. Someone did it. I feel like there was. There's a laundry detergent called Laundry Sauce. And I'm getting confirmation and a link to the fact that apparently barbecue sauce soap does exist. All right, I'll show it in a bit. Thanks, Princess Pixel, for the art. Next up, from Yoke, is the Beefaroo. The birthday boys, look at them. Beefaroo and Yoke sharing their birthdays together. Congrats, you two. Enjoy. Enjoy the birthday. Next up, from Ditto. While I'm listening to the stream, I've been working on an animation for Valentine's Day. It's about how my boyfriend and I got together, and Valentine's Day will be uh, also be our couple's anniversary. In favor of this, I, I redrew a screenshot from it with you and Lugajin, replacing my boyfriend and I. Oh, that's super cute. Thank you, Ditto. Thank you, thank you. All right, Spyro's good, so we're, we're good after Art Block. From Tails. My birthday was yesterday, the 19th, and Beefaroo's birthday is today, the 20th. I bought him a Neo Geo Pocket Color because it seemed like a good idea. I think he'd enjoy it, and it's got a flat enough size he can hold it easily with the hooves. Thanks, Tails, and happy birthday to you, bud. Hopefully it was a good one. Next up, Jessica Rabbit. My favorite frame out of my whole thing. Did you know I got a productivity spike at like 9.30 p.m. to do this thing in one setting? Dang, am I something? Anywho, booba icon. Thank you for the booba icon, and the animation was really good. Thank you, Camille. Next up, ooh, that's a that's a long comic. Okay, wow, okay. I think this is all for the uh, Battle of the Buru here. You, you deceive your goddess, use me like an, an energy source, and have, have ultimate power at your beck and call, and yet you still you uh, lose to those mortals? I should destroy you for your insolence. You throw your blame on me, yet you were the one who had lost on two separate occasions. Roaring scream. Ah, boom. And as for you, time and time again I've spared you, but no longer. I've had it. I'll just kill you all now. You'll no longer be a thorn on my side. <laughs> and then there's a... Ah, as I see a block. Huh? I'm supposed to be the ultimate being. Why can't I be rid of you? Why can't I finish you? So what do we do about her? We can't just uh, detain her again. She has her powers again. 
You'll never truly be rid of her. However, she has a failsafe. If Joliana takes too much damage, her body forces her to reform. She should be close. That Black Star nonsense is something I did not put in her genetic code. And then let's end this one final attack. Big old charge of explosion power! Where did I where, go wrong? Was I still not strong enough? To think I could be defeated by lesser beings. This isn't over. I will have my revenge! I think it's over. Finally, it feels like this has got, been going on for months. Womp womp. Someone grab the clam! We're done here. Finally, I can relax. Oh shit, PSL! Oh man, I almost forgot! You think Dark Rosa survived that blast? I sure hope not. To be continued? Okay, now where do I begin? Well, I didn't expect this to be a six page thing, but here we are. <clears throat> after their split, Joliana takes yet another defeat and seemingly blows up Dark Rosa after completely snapping. She breaks down and is explained that while they can't get rid of her for good, they can at least set her back quite a bit with the ultimate attack of teamwork. Surely it's all over now, right? It's uh, been a ride to say the least, but this is the last piece of battle for the Buru coming from me. Just want to say it's been fun, and thank everyone who came along for the ride. Also, while Roto suggested I add in the jokes about PSL happening, he didn't probably expect the next PSL season to also be happening right at that moment. Because registration for Season 6 of the Proton Splat League is opening on the 20th, tomorrow, or by the time you read this, tonight. And I just didn't have time to make an ad for it, although Battle for the Battle... Uh, Battle for the Battle, I assume Battle for the Buru, ties into Season 6's theme anyway. Teasers up on the YouTube channel, though. Free Agency Showcase is also happening again as well. Should be a fun send-off for Splatoon 2 before 3 comes around. Sorry for that wall of text, just needed to get that out there. So yes, this is likely the final season of Splatoon 2. I, I, I say likely, I, it's pretty confident at this point. So Season 6 will be the last Splatoon 2 season from the Proton Splat League. So go check it out. If you want to join the server over there, Exclamation League brings up the Discord link for the Proton Splat League. If you love Splatoon, hang out, have some fun. Even if you don't want to play in the actual tournament or the league, there's still a bunch of fun to be had there if you like the game. Thank you, Icy, for the lovely comic. Uh, and I've got two pieces left here, but my timer went off. I think I'll finish these two pieces. All oh, right. God, you actually turned your monitor. <laughs> From Westerford. The DS game stream needed to be sideways. Easy fix. Just turn your monitor 90 degrees. Easy. I wasn't expecting my monitor to let me do this. Don't do this at home. Don't most monitors have a button combination you can press now to just do this automatically? I think, but I wouldn't know it off the top of my head. I think they can. Some of them can. But yeah. yeah. And some just have it right in their settings. You can just... Or just have a, an actual hinge. You know, just have a rotatable hinge. Thanks, Westerford, for getting, giving everyone, or giving yourself, I guess, the authentic experience. And the last picture I've got here is a very lovely Rosa here. Oh, look at that. From Queen Autumn. This idea has been sitting in my head since watching Game Clearing on Roger Rabbit. I've been drawing a lot of Rosa lately, and ended up drawing more of her. I was thinking of drawing Pon Pon in this outfit first, but I feel she doesn't have the appeal for Jessica's dress. To quote Sailor Moon, it's the talent. I was gonna say, yeah, it's because Rosa's the bustier one. Anyways, yes. congrats on beating that very confusing and difficult game. Thank you, Autumn. This is incredibly lovely. It looks amazing. Thank you so much for doing this. Uh, and yeah, if you have not been paying attention to game clearing, this year has, so far, the theme has been Revenge. That's what we're doing for January, where I'm taking on games that we tried to beat on stream and failed, or games from my childhood I tried to beat and failed. And so far this year, we have beaten uh, Fortified Zone for the Game Boy, which was a game that crashed when we were clearing it last year. Uh, we tried to beat Mickey's Dangerous Chase, but apparently it just crashes when you run it in the Game Boy Player for more than like 35 minutes. So that one got put aside. And then we took on the Flintstones, the movie, the game for the Super Nintendo, which was a struggle. And then on Monday, we finished Who Framed Roger Rabbit for the NES, which was also a struggle for slightly different reasons. It's been a ride so far, and we've still got, what, two more Mondays or just one? Um, two more it, Mondays left to January, so... God knows what we're playing on on Monday. It's gonna be it's gonna be stressful. Thank you for the art, Autumn, and thank you everyone for the art as well. Let's go play some Spyro. So I will say, like when I came back, uh, 
I sat down, and the first thing that happened was my cat runs out and just attacks my leg. I'm like, oh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> Love that cat, but she's a little shit sometimes. Three more Mondays this month? No, there's only no. two more Mondays. The 24th and the 31st. Oh, you're forgetting the elusive 38th. Ah, finally. The 38th day of the year. Of the month, rather. Were you playing Fortnite with the cousins again? I sure was. Well, actually, the 38th day isn't incorrect, actually. Now I think about it. Yeah, it would be the 38th day of the year. I just realized that. Ah, uh, toys for Bob. John... Uh, the game you play on my birthday is how the rest of my year will go. How do things look? Uh, which is your birthday? The 24th or the 31st, Cole? Uh, and as for what we're playing, let me bring up the spreadsheet and look at what I was considering. The 24th. Okay, so this coming Monday. Wow, this thing loads slow. What's up with that? There it's just a Switch version thing. Oh, it also is probably because it's just initializing too, so. Yeah. Accept license agreement and privacy policy. <laughs> Gotta do that on no. startup. Can I decline this? You can, but then you can't play the game. You must accept the license agreement and privacy policy. Proceed, press A to return, or quit the application. Quit. I just want to play my video game, Activision. I don't give a f Why do I need a privacy policy for a single player game? I don't know, dude. Unfortunately, as of September 1st, 2015, we no longer offer Activision accounts to Russian-based consumers. The fuck? Uh-huh. Hmm. Wait, let's start that game. <laughs> yeah, all right, there you go. We're done. We're, we're in here. Would you like Spyro part. staring at you with his eyebrow raised? Spyro posing seductively, or Spyro really looking like he needs to poop? We pick this one. In the world of dragons. Dot, dot, dot. Uh. Hello? <laughs> Give it a second. The yeah. switch load times are a little rougher. I was gonna say that was that was that was a long one. Okay, rolling. Uh, uh, oh, uh, it's been peaceful here in the five worlds, or is it six? <laughs> For a dragon's age, we now have twelve thousand treasure, or is it fourteen thousand? What about this Ganasty Ganok character? Now I understand he's found a magic spell to turn gems into warriors for his cause. I'll take that question. Nasty Nork is a simple creature. Simple? He has been contained in a remote world and is no threat to the Dragon Kingdom. No threat! Besides, he is ugly. <laughs> ugly? That does it! Aw, oh, poor guy. I'm putting on my hat. Get my hat and my hammer. Oh, oh. Okay, Nasty, you're oh nice shot. From inside a building, Looks too. Like I've got some things to do. <laughs> well, there you go. And there's the plot. Dude was kind of an asshole to him, though, I guess. The adventure begins. So these cinematics were in the original game, but they were remade for this game with the modern, like, graphics and stuff like that. It looks They're really like, nice. Even for the Switch version, this looks really nice. Oh, dude, it's a really good-looking game. Rescued Nestor. <laughs> Thank you for releasing me, Spyro. Free ten dragons in the artisan world, then find the balloonist. He'll transport you to the next world. What about Nasty Nork? I'm going after him. Find dragons first. That's all I can tell you. Okay, so another thing I am aware of from the Spyro games is that uh, they redesigned every dragon in this game, and apparently mm -hmm. uh, it really was a positively received by the furry community, or scaly, <laughs> whichever way you want to word it. Because, yeah, I have already seen a bunch of people in chat say, like, why are all the dragons so fucking hot? 
like hot or daddy or like other things like yeah. that really <laughs> uh never changed yeah it costs <laughs> a thousand percent <laughs> I think I saw someone say like, yeah, no, they hired a bunch of furries in, in uh, on the actual Toys for Bob team, and it's just like, yeah, it shows. They did a good job. Mhm. Mm so, some good stuff going on, Spire here. Your goal, it's a collectathon game. Uh, gotta go and get the treasures, save the dragons. Pretty simple plot. Do I only have Fire Breath, or do I also have Fire Ball? Uh, you only have Fire Breath. Fire Ball comes from special power up gates that you may see later on. I forget if those are also in this game, too, if that's just a later game thing. But for right now, you're limited to your fire breath. Okay. You can charge with the square button to basically run faster. Or, I'm, I'm sorry, the left button. Which by the way, the soundtrack the... is by Stuart Copeland, the drummer for the police! I do believe that. That is correct. I've heard that, yeah. Vinny had to ban the word daddy in his chat. Word is still banned to this day! No fucking <laughs> that is, way. That is also correct. Yeah, that means Vinny he is weak. He is weak. We found Vinny's weakness. <laughs> Finally, our Vinny. time to rise and defeat him has arrived. Gone, you have Vinny Vine Sauce. <laughs> All that's taken is the power of Daddy. Where's Nasty Nork? I'll torch you. Keep your horns on, Spyro. <laughs> you have much to learn first. Do you know what the dragonfly following you is doing? Uh... His name is Sparks, and he's helping and protecting you. Keep an eye on him, and see what I mean. So Sparks, pretty self-explanatory, he's your health. Yeah, he has three that, that's the dragonfly, him. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> is Vinny weak, or is his chat too powerful? If you cannot withstand the power of your own chat, you are weak, unless they are intentionally being antagonistic. Having daddy issues or being into daddy dragons, that ain't issues. Well, it's a different type of issue, I guess. Vinny's chat tends to troll him a lot, from what I've seen, so... It's, also true. it's not like the chat here doesn't troll yeah. me. It's true. Just, I, it's just I tend to roll with it a lot. Hey, you figured out that puzzle. Well done. I did it! But I'm not doing that yet, so bye. That is one of the flying stages. May I link to the account for the character creator who does great stuff? Yeah, go for it, Cole. So are all, all the other dragons total daddies in this game? Isn't aren't like the vast majority of the dragons you save in this game male? I think that actually is the case. I know that their uh, designs keeping that whole aspect out of it, I think I remember the designs being pretty good from what I saw. They're good designs, yeah. And I think they're they are majority male. I don't actually remember if there's any female dragons. I believe they all are Spyro 2. How dare you assume I would troll you? I don't have to assume, I know for a fact. It's not an assumption when you have concrete evidence. James, I see what you did there. So you're saying Vinny can't handle the scale of the fandom, yes. <clears throat> Look man, my son is a fucking Hydra, like I was ready for this. <laughs> I was ready. Uh, well done. Okay. So skill points are gotten from different challenges throughout the game. Uh, basically, they earn you an extra life. Oh, okay. I was wondering what they actually were. So, again, for clarification, my only experience with Spyro the Dragon as a series is on stream. We have played Spyro 3, like, three separate times, I think. But Spyro 1, I've never played, and... Um, we played one of the PS2 ones, the one that has a glitch that you can skip to the very ending of the game. And we did that. We, we absolutely did that. Cool, Flash. Do that again. So sheep looks so helpless in the scorcher wall. portal in the dragon mouth, but you are not yet ready, Spyro. First, you must <laughs> I forgot his watermelon. Other artisan lands. Why is one of the members of Fly the Concourse voicing a dragon in Spyro 1? <laughs> I want to jump in the nostril. Let me jump in the nostril. Sadly cannot. Okay, so we got side rolls. Yep, L1, R1. L1, that I think was... Keeps the camera behind me, which actually is pretty helpful. Sorry, I keep like thinking like PlayStation controls with this, because that's why I've played it on the most. 
Like I've hundred percent of these games like a few times, and they're very, very enjoyable. Who's the balloonist? Uh, I liked it so much I did it for my charity block. Oh yeah, you did too. Yeah, I did the uh, trilogy bid war sort of thing. It was, it, was a, it was a good time. Because dragons are from New Zealand like smog. Eh, touche. Got me there. Should I go into the warps or am I done? Have I done what I can do here at the moment? It looks like I've done everything I can other than go uh, to the gates. There's still like gems and stuff you can collect in other areas, but feel free to explore Stone Hill or Dark Hollow or anything else around here. Oh, right. Spyro can't swim. Yes. Oh, you could just jump out of the water, actually. You don't have to stay there. Oh, I thought that killed me because the controller vibrated, so I thought it was dead. No, you can uh, exit the water. There's certain waters that can kill you, but if you can jump out of it like that, then you can survive. Oh, you know what? You just reminded me of something, Nick. Hang on a moment. Where is it? I need to do something for me, John. Let me see if I can find it. All right, so we're missing one dragon. And a surprising need... amount of uh, gems still. I need you. Where is it? Where is it? Can I even get that last dragon right now, or do I have to wait till I get some ability? Or are there even any abilities for me to get? Uh, people said even... it's Spyro 2 that you get, like, power ups and stuff. Uh, yes, Spyro 2, Spyro 3. Oh, actually, wait. Here's the path we never went. Never mind. We're good. So do me a favor, real quick. Uh, go into your pause menu. Yep. Hit right, right, or R, 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 R. R, 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 R. Left, 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 left. Left, 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 left. Down, up, Y. Down, up, Y. Okay, something unlocked. All right, now go back to your game. Check out your front. Amazing. Pride sunglasses. Amazing. E exclusive to the Switch version, for some reason. Sick. Let me know if you want some other cheat codes, by the way. <laughs> Rescue Thomas! Hey, Spyro! Press the jump button twice to glide. And... and don't be afraid. Afraid? Of what? Falling from high mountain peaks? Plummeting into prehistoric glaciers? Oh, that. Amen. All dragons found! Well, you did it. You got all the dragons. Now you just missing some gems. Yeah, let's grab the gems. Let's keep these six sunglasses on. I believe in the Switch version, if you hit the left stick down, Sparks should point to some gems for you. Yes, he does. Okay. That was an unlockable thing in the previous games, but they made it a bit easier for you in this game by just giving it to you immediately. I mean, that makes sense, because I know I've always heard 100% of these games kind of annoying at times. A little bit. Because, like, I watched uh, one of my past girlfriends play through one of the Spyros. She said she grew up with it and she loved it. Mm -hmm. But, like I said, I have no real... The only Spyro time I've played Spyro at all is on stream. Oh, yeah, Town Square's right there, too. Another fun level. What I love about these games is just like the different like levels within these overworlds. Like there's just a ton of different environments you can explore. It's a very creative series. One of how many X's did you have? Uh, six. Hmm. Yeah, five or six. Lucas Lucky 7? Uh, yeah, I believe so. Well, now you got me actually thinking. Hang on. Uh, <laughs> what? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, actually, she might be actually lucky number seven. She's either lucky number seven or my lucky number of eight. So, uh, yeah, either way, lucky. Did they make tree tops easier? Nope. <laughs> Alright, so I'm still missing <clears throat> still three, and they are to the 
right somewhere. To you, no, to your left. Hmm? Oh. Left side. Other way. Oh, the tail. So is the tail pointing the right way, or is it the head? His head. His head. Because I'm going to be real, he his shape right now is that of a hand pointing a finger, and having him the actual tail of him pointing the correct way makes way more sense to me. I like to think of him more like an arrow, I guess, if that makes any sense. I guess, but he, gen he like honestly looks like the tail should be where I'm supposed to go. It straight up looks like that's what it should be. I can see why you think that. Yeah. But there they are. Either way, they are right there. Okay. Like, his his body, like, right now looks like a... Imagine, like, a closed hand with a finger mm -hmm. pointing out. That is the shape he looks like to me. I can see the finger. arrow as well, but the arrow doesn't fully grasp me immediately because of the shape of his body, there's no top half of the arrow point. It is literally... Right. It looks like an arrow where the top half has been removed. There's one long ass finger. Well, there are a lot of fucking gems to find, so break out the long ass fingers to find them. <laughs> All right, let's go find that one that we did the button thing for first. Let's start there. Oops. Ah, sunny flights. John, do the big head code. Up, 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 R, 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 A. So, welcome to what are basically your bonus levels. Oh, for, oh, it's inverted. Ew, 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 ew. Replace, return, change, change. <laughs> Cannot change it, actually, sorry. Fuck off, I hate it. <laughs> All right, I'll do my best to adjust. Oh, <laughs> uh, god damn it. All right, You'll get used to it. Oh, and that was a fun minigame. Well done. <laughs> I pressed Y, which stopped my flight immediately. As I have no Spyro or Spyro experience prior, or not enough for doing these stages, I had no fucking clue it did that. It's all a learning experience. Remember, almost gifted. Ouch, that hurts. I still don't like in I still don't like inverted flight controls. If you're gonna give me inverted, at least give me a cursor. I'll a Star Fox. I'll accept it if it, if I can have a cursor. At the very least, this is not required. It, oh wait, hang mm, on. that's camera though. Yeah. I don't think it's gonna be the same. Oh, so the t subtitles menu there. Uh, there were no subtitles on this original release of the game. The dragons just spoke without subtitles. Oh yeah, no, that was common. Like PS1 games, they didn't give a shit. Well, yeah, but this game did it too on its release, and that was kind of rough for people who were hard of hearing. Oh, oh, so they added that in in a patch. Oh, wow, okay. Yes. Get in the boxes first, nice. Got those. Okay, hitting the walls is not the end of a run, thank God. It is not, no, only falling in the water is the end of a run, or running out of time. Oh, there's a timer. Oh, didn't notice that. Thanks for pointing that out. It was kind of tunnel visioned. You can get more timer back from uh, destroying things, as you just saw there. Yeah. Basically, like, doing your objectives. I'm better Choo -choo. at behind me, and I fucked up by just doing the straight path. Or was it on the other set of tracks? Uh, I have not seen it. I don't know. All right, let's try again. Cow. All right, well, the la the actual sensible thing to do, which I don't know why I chose not to do it, is I should be going the opposite way as the train, because then I can just do this. Yeah. <laughs> this is the move that act. Okay, never mind. That's why it doesn't make sense. Okay, well. <laughs> Yeah, you gotta watch out for the front of the train. I mean, it, it worked for the other ones. I'm like, eh, maybe. No. no. What's up with the gates? Oh, you have to fly through those. There are four different objectives. You usually have to destroy things, or fly through things, or illuminate things. It doesn't show me the objectives until I either do them or fail? Yeah. All Don't right. worry, later get better about this. Oh god, oh 
god. Oh. Invert. Invert. Do I have to go in order? No, you don't have to go in an order. As long Sick. as you get them all, that's what matters. I saw the number three, so I'm like, oh, I guess I gotta do that one third, and then I realized they all said third. No, that's the amount of seconds you get from doing it. Three, two, one. Oh, fuck! Aw. Oh. Hit that water. Yeah, these are these are tough stages, I will say, especially for someone playing Spyro for the first time. I do remember my ex hating these. I do remember hearing a constant barrage of ah. Honestly, I would say the flying stages are probably at their hardest in the first game. Oh god! Oh so god. you know, great first level to pick. <laughs> yeah, it's me. It's me learning through the in the worst possible way. Well, it's gotta happen eventually, and apparently, like, they're in the whole fucking series, so I guess I gotta get used to them if I'm gonna ever play this series. Mm -hmm. Alright, that's the treasure chests. Let's focus so on the ever, next. If you were to hypothetically do this for game clearing, would you 100% it? Uh, what's the time difference between the two? That's the kicker. If it's, like, like an hour or two time difference, yeah, I'll do it. If it's, like, the difference between a 20-hour game and a 30-hour game, absolutely not. You might add on an extra, like, five, six hours, potentially. It, it just depends on how long it takes to get 100% of the stage. That's a maybe, then, at that point. Mm-hmm. Oh, boy, I don't think I gave myself enough time to do this one. One is a bit rougher to 100%, but at least the later games are a bit better about that. In terms of, like, the, the flying stages. There's no way to fly faster, is there? No. Oh, and the planes are something I need to take down. Oh, God. Yes. So for our base game clear in this game, you do not have to do the flying levels. Two and three have backtracking, less so in one. All right. Two is backtracking is probably the worst of the two. Three definitely has it there, but it's not too bad. But they both have a little bit of backtracking to them for 100%. If I touch the sides of these, am I going to get stunned? No. Okay. Good. No. Spyro! He does not change his direction very fast. Not necessarily, no. I forget if pressing, like, the bottom button on this would actually make you flap up a bit. Okay, you oh, do. Oh, hello. Hello. Oh, I forgot okay. you can kind of do a roll. And there's a reverse roll, too. All right. I wish I knew that when I was playing this game. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna. And, oh, there's no, there's no restart button. Of course there isn't. There's not. You'd have to go into the water to restart. God damn. Well then, fine. I guess you don't have to when you have that option straight up. All right. Mm -hmm. Also, keep in mind you don't have to do everything in order. You can get, like, let's say, for example, get like one or two gates and then move All on right, to something. But like I noticed there's an all-in-one entry on there. Does that dictate a difference in 100%ing the game or not? Um, I think for later games. Yes, but not one. Oh, no, 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 there is because there's a gem reward for getting all of them at once. Yeah, there's a bunch of yeses. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, I had to, had to remember that one. I would not count skill points for 100% personally, Hunter. I don't know. I, I never count the skill points for 100%. Because I always just have like extra little things. But does the game count it for 100%? That's really the question. No, not really. Like you, you can get like the 100%, and it will not count the 100% or the uh, the skill points as part of that. No, I think I actually fucked up. So I'm not gonna be able to make it over to the remaining gates in time. Maybe, actually, hang on, let's try it. This might be Risky Bisky. It's my favorite Shantae character. I don't play more of those games. I've only played uh, Risky's Revenge and half of Pirate's Curse. They're good games. I like that series a lot. Mm hmm. I always recommend them if you want a good, chill Metroidvania to get into. For sure. Please tell me I can fly over this. Uh, I'm not gonna make it. Again. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Ah. <sighs> Because it's right there. Fuck, no. so close.
That was a great attempt, otherwise. Like, that's your best attempt so far. Yeah, I'm just gonna figure out the correct order to do these in is the problem. Mm-hmm. Because gaining time is not the most uh, easy to do, I've noticed. Getting three, it's like, it takes three seconds to get to a plus three seconds for the most part. Mm-hmm. That's kind of the hard part about this is you cannot be wasting time. Or you have to do something like that where you try and get like multiple things at once in a short amount of time so that you have more time to work with. And again, would be easier if I had an actual fireball. Yeah. Go for gates, then we should have just enough time to come back and get a train or two. And we can go for treasure chests. Hello. There actually is also an option uh, in the. Ten minutes or so from now, why? The idiot is out and again. Uh oh. Okay, I will check on the idiot when, when break is. Okay, I'll check on him during break. Promise. Love you. Ah, I think I should have gone for the treasure chest. No! The yeah, treasure chest! I, I should have gone for the treasure chest. Dang. So there actually is a option in the sound menu to change between the reignited soundtrack and the original soundtrack. If you just really wanted the original soundtrack with the uh, newer, nicer graphics. I love when games have that option to Is, is this have the original I'm listening to or the classic? Um, because I can hear this sounds PS One ish that era. I think if you hit your start button and go into the volume option, you should be able to see it there. Or sound option. Music reading. Yeah, there's also dynamic tracks too. Eh, this isn't the original. Spiral One soundtrack I am not as familiar with. <laughs> Did it not save the change? No, it should have. Or does it only load when it, there's an actual loading section? No, it, it's interchangeable. Like, if you put it on, it should change immediately. It doesn't sound any different. Dynamic just means when you charge. Okay. Hey, I can kind of hear it, like, on that sound right there. The, uh... Kind of more like the original Copeland style. I'm gonna leave that one guy there, and I'm gonna hope for a miracle when I come back, but I might have fucked myself over because of that. I think turning around a loop to get him was gonna take too long. Loop de loop move or not. Take the loop de loop and fold. Okay. Eight, seven, six, nine. Oh shit. Can't go missing stuff, John. Yeah, the remixes are pretty faithful. Nothing sounds too, too different. Oh, okay, good. We did get that. Wow. Okay. Nice, I thought nice. that was a miss. I thought that was a miss. I mean, trains. Did I line this up right? If I line this up right, we'll make it right back to the... No! Oh, we got it. Oh, my God. Get that plane. Let's fucking go. Nice. Uh, 6.4, baby. Well done. Should what I try again? Run. Absolutely not. Neat, who pointed that out? Uh, that was Shadow War. Thanks, Shadow War, for pointing that out. Okay, cool. I don't have to go there anymore. Oh, right. yeah, you can't... Uh, I can't what? Oh, the the whole, like, uh, breathing fire and, like, moving around in the level transitions. All right, we got enough time to start one other stage, because I spent a lot of time on that one. Sorry. Uh, so, where should I go? The one you were just at. That's a pretty short stage, actually. Which one? The one you just passed. Oh, the one in the a maze? Yes, uh, Dark Hollow, I believe, is the name of it. That one's a pretty short stage. 
Night, Biggs. Have a good night. Later, dude. Mmm, chunky. Okay, I thought that was the feed doing that. No, nope, that's the that was for... the game. That was the game loading. Dang. Want to get Big Head Motor Truck? Yeah, sure. We'll, we'll pop that on here in a second. All right, we got Big Head. Would be... Here it is. Quad, uh, quad R-A. Up, 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 up. R, 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 A. Uh... R, R, B. Oh, thank you, because that was definitely wrong. Uh... And then B at the end of it. Or, wait, no, no, no it was yeah, it's on, it's or... on. Oh, okay, never mind then. I was looking at the damn Xbox controls. Big sunglasses. Even bigger sunglasses. Frogs. Burn so the frogs. Always... So there'll always be frogs and other small creatures you can kill that basically are health restorations. Okay, I can't break this yet. Do I need some yes. ability that I don't know yet? Check out the front of it. Or does it actually just need a key? Oh, it just straight up needs a key. Okay. Yep. Gotta find a key somewhere. Ow! My giant head made me a bigger target. So metal enemies. We'll carry around metal things. Can't flame them. Rescued Alvin. Does he have a big head too? No. Sadly, no. I wasn't sure if you'd escape those annoying little creatures. Of course they wouldn't bother me, but here's a hint. Their metal armor is fireproof, but a charge attack will take care of them. Goodbye, Albin. Thank you, dragon. <laughs> Olmec? Ow. My giant head keeps making me a huge target. Frog, give me help. Now I'm gonna roast some campfire. Roast, uh, roast me some frog. marshmallows at the old campfire. You ever had frog legs? No, I have had crocodile though. Same actually, I love crocodile slash gator meat. Yeah, it's surprisingly, I... they, they the joke is it tastes like chicken. No, it actually did taste like chicken. It does. Also, you picked up a blue butterfly back there. Sometimes uh, the creatures that give you health will sometimes give you a blue butterfly. It basically is a instant full restore and an extra life. Nice. And an extra life. Yep. Oh, you weren't kidding. That's the end of the stage right there. Mm-hmm. Like this north with the club cannot be charged, but a quick flame, that should defeat them. Is, uh, there are no, uh, no, not, what's I'm looking for? Someone asked if, about rabbit. A rabbit? I can't find it out. Someone was asking, like, have I ever had rabbit? I was gonna say, oh, yes, rabbit. I have, I have had rabbit. Uh, I have unfortunately caught a rabbit, and with, my dad taught me how to skin a rabbit, and that is exactly why I don't like rabbit. <laughs> Mm, because the why. the image of having to skin a rabbit is still in my head, and it will <sighs> never leave my head, and it sucks ass. I'm sorry to hear that. Between the smell and the actual process of skinning an animal alive, yeah, no, I'm good. Mm. Thanks for other animals. I've not had rabbit before, but I have had uh, deer before. Deer meat is excellent. I love deer meat. Wait, alive? No, 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 no. Did I say alive? Sorry. Did. Oh, fuck. Yeah, no, no, I definitely did not skin it alive. Holy shit. I was like, Jesus, John. Holy shit. <laughs> My dad's pretty fucking hardcore, to be fair. Uh, but no, no. Thank God it was not alive. Yeah, uh, thank God. <laughs> Sorry, I misspoke on that. Yeah. I have been noticing since I've been on Vivance, I've made a lot more weird, like, misspokes. Misspokes. I can't even say the fucking sentence. <laughs> I misspoke's misspoke. good. Yes, you did. Thank you. Would you like to be pointed to the direction of the key or nay? Uh, I mean, I'm going to look around and see if I can figure it out myself. So, hey, the home okay. is right there. That's so fast. Yeah, dude, these early levels are really short. Let's see, I got 
peek around here first before I go in, just in case. Yeah, I figured there's gonna be gems here at the very least. Oops. Right, inverted. That's annoying. Man, I was gearing out. Oh no, it doesn't it doesn't affect it at all. Never mind. Why do I think it did? You said you wanted some gator, Vincent? Yeah, first time I had it was when I was working up in North Dakota. Uh, we had some guy from Louisiana make some gator A2 Fay. Oh nice. Oh I get it. Hang on. No? Oh yeah, okay. There you go. You I, got thought it, he was, I thought he was still alive and was very confused. Nice. Oh, that counted? Huh. I was surprised too, because I definitely thought I, it didn't. Yeah, I've heard bear meat is really weird. Bear meat's weird. Moose meat's yeah. alright. Uh, not super huge on it, but I did remember liking it as a kid, depending on how it was made. It's very tough, I guess. Mm-hmm. Because I know someone in chat earlier was asking what's moose meat like. Oh, another interesting thing about this game. That five gem you just collected, it's only blue in this game. Other games, it's purple. Use the action button when you want to zoom in and look around. Oh, your secret's safe with me. What's the no, action not, button? Not, yeah. The top what button. The what? The top button. Oh. oh, not that one. As in, like, the top, like, the ABXY. I think it's the Y button or the X button? It, it's, it's one X, of the two. Uh, it, oh, there we go. There you yeah, are. It, was, it wasn't doing anything earlier. I literally went through the whole button set. Maybe it's a hold still. I don't know. That was weird. No, I have to move. No, no. I, okay, now, okay, now it's working when I'm not moving. That was weird. Weird. I swear it didn't work. Yeah. Pressing the, saying press the action button does not narrow it down. I mean, they have to do that because... I know, get why they have to, because this is the same for all versions, but yeah. Yeah. Alright, let's use the key. Let's assume it's automatic. And that's all gems, and we got all dragons as well, right? That you did. Level so, complete. Cool. So how many... Worlds does this game have? Um, I made a spreadsheet for it at one point because I was going to use it for something, but I never actually bothered with it. Let me see if I can find it. I like this. Hello, like, fourteen thousand gems. Yes, but some worlds will have way more gems. Like this one only had a hundred. You'll have some worlds later with like five hundred or so. Oh wow! Okay. Yeah. yeah. It was like seven or eight levels, I think. Let's see. Even the PS One version says action button. Interesting. You can exit a level in the menu. Oh yeah, do I have to? I don't have to get to an end gate to actually finish the stage, right? Well, um, you yes, but also it was good you did that because you actually have to at least take one of those portals to open up that boss stage you saw earlier. Uh... Yeah, so you at least want to do that for one of them. I found that out the hard way <laughs> when I was doing my uh, preparation work. What do you mean by the boss stage? You mean up here? Or... Uh, you saw it earlier, actually. Do you remember that sealed sort of door? With like Wait, the big so dragon. Not, not this one? No, not that door doesn't do anything. Okay. This is the dragon head, dragon mouth thing. Oh, the nostrils. Okay, yeah. Yes. There's a boss stage back there. You have to at least beat one world to get to it. So would it open now is what you're saying? Yes. And that answers that. Should we fight Toasty? I will warn you, it's just it's another stage. Boss fights are weird in this game in that they are full stages rather than like just a boss fight. Try up, left, down, right, up, Y, R, Z, R, L, Z, L, up, right, down, left, and up, depending on what button you hit. For the final input, the code like BXY, right, or down, if you want to change back to the normal spiral colors. What? That's like to switch spirals colors if you want to switch like any of his colors. Right, up, left, down, right, up, Y, R, Z, R, L, Z, L, up, right, down, left, up, 
and X. Ew! Yeah. I, 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 the standard dragon colors, I guess. I hate this lime green. It's like a shiny Pokemon that's just lime green. It's so gross looking. <laughs> oh, I hate that so many went with lime green. Also, there's a good I... 29 plus levels in this game. Hey, go hop We'll go with that. Even I, it's just I, as gaudy. I, it's just as gaudy. Actually, if I count all the flights in here. Yeah, there's like a good like 29, 30 levels in here. Confronting Toasty. There's Actually, six the hubs, kind of artisans, like peacekeepers, that. magic crafters, beast makers, dream weavers, and machinists. All worlds except the final have five uh, stages and machinist has six. Hang on a moment. Uh, okay, so machinist doesn't actually exist. I'm going to tell you that right now. That's not actually one of oh. the worlds. Well, I thought that was going to be a friendly character. It's actually artisans, peacekeepers, magic crafters, beast makers, dream weavers, and North Nexus. Machinists, uh, so the reason I say six worlds because that was actually some cut content. I know the wiki says that, but that's actually incorrect, and I don't know so why. So that's it why says it says five or maybe six worlds in the opening cutscene. Yes. Wait, I, oh, he took. I did not burn him enough. These dogs suck. I, I burned him, dogs. so I thought he was he was dead. Nope. No, they they take two hits and they uh, they have a bit of a lock onto them. How many gems are there here? A hundred. And there's one dragon, gems. which I assume is behind Toasty. Ow. Nice. Oh, well, there's the well dragon. Done. Well done in that. Well, yeah, I especially had to be careful because I do not have uh, a dragonfly at the moment. Which is yep. also why I've not been getting these gems automatically. Yep, that's another thing about losing sparks. you got to pick them up yourself. Nevin. Nasty Nork has put one of his most devious henchmen in charge of the artisan world. Bring him on. I think I smell a barbecue. Be careful, Spyro. Toasty has many tricks up his sleeve. Was that Toasty? That was Toasty just now, yeah. Looks like a boss arena, so I'm gonna make look around here and see if I miss anything first before I commit. So I have no way of getting a dragonfly at the moment. Like I'm just, <coughs> I'm just SOL. A little bit, yeah. Neat. Oh. Yeah. By the way, they, the dogs have mid air control as well when they dive. That's also what makes them kind of bastards. <laughs> All right. So where does this put me back, and with what? Uh, full dragonfly at the dragon because it's basically a save point or a okay. checkpoint. But I didn't lose any gems. You do not lose gems once they're collected. Thank God! All right, that's good. Yep, this game is very nice about that. It's not like Banjo Kazooie. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah Banjo Kazooie okay. still. Get How the fuck did you not get hit by any of those other blasts? Banjo Kazooie still gives me nightmares about that. Mm -hmm. If you two would like nightmares, it is out on the Switch. I think today now. Hooray! Yeah, I wonder how people are going to feel about that whole, like, the notes not be staying permanently grabbed. Yeah, we'll see. I get the feeling so, some people will not be happy about that. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I, think, I think I got everything I can get here other than what's in that last room. Uh, yes, you should have collected everything by, by this point. Yeah, I got 72. So there are, So I'm not missing any gems? You are not, no. The the rest of your gems are uh, past this point to, past the points you've like, already explored. Okay. Well, one thing that really bugged me about Banjo Kazooie is finishing that game, you end up with two extra jiggies that you could do absolutely nothing. Hey, it's just leeway. I get why it's there. It is. But it bugged me as a kid. 
That's fair. That's entirely fair. Oh, the dogs are gone. Interesting. Yeah, I remember all the dogs I killed. Oh, congratulations. You beat that, the boss. That was it? Yeah, you were finding the boss the yeah. whole time. I'm telling you, dude, they're just level bosses. They're they're really weird in this game. Yeah, that is kind of weird. I mean, again, this is the first zone, so I guess I can't be shocked. Still a little surprising. I expected a I expected like at least like what Crash Bandicoot has, which is a boss proper. Uh, you'll have to wait another game for that one, sadly. Okay, fair enough. There's still neat designs for the bosses in this game, though. I will say, like, there's neat ideas going on here, especially like some of the later ones. But for a more proper boss fight, yeah, you'll have to wait till Spyro 2 for that one. Okay. It's funny you say that, uh, Jasper the Crab, because I remember in this game, they actually, in the Reignited, they made one of the Spyro 3 bosses way easier, but like as a result of that, they also made one of the Spyro 2 bosses way harder. <laughs> it's kind of interesting. All right, well, this you know what? This seems all right. I can see why people like these games. This seems pretty chill. Yeah. They're, other than 100%ing other than those flight stages in one go, this seems like a fun, relaxing time. The flight stages are probably like some of the hardest parts, especially for like newer players. Hell, even experienced players or people who've played these games a lot will still have trouble with them because flight stages are kind of rude, especially in this game. Yeah, cool. Well, then we'll tap out here then in that case. I know I had Spyro 1 on game clearing at one point. It was on a mm -hmm. poll a while back. Oh, wow, we just did 11% of the game too. Holy shit. Yeah. But uh, I know it got overshadowed because I think the month that it went up, I put Spyro 1, specifically the PS1 version, because I think as I had written it in, like a day later, the Activision stuff happened. Like the whole, oh. the whole leak of everything that was going on, and then everyone was just like, oh no, we don't want to touch this right now at all. Yeah. So that was fair. Uh... Oh, s***. All right. We've got... Yeah, we've got time for one more. This will be the last one. But then i got to go check on my son during right. break. And I Art Block is very... not backed up. So we're good. Yeah, let's do it. All right. Let's roll our last one, then. So we have, again, a 1% rule of Donkey Kong Country Returns for the Wii. King Broly definitely getting his points worth on this one. Final round. Slap that one back in there. So we got six games again. Where's my list? There's my list. Kid Arc, I feel so bad. Because this is going to be an uphill battle. Because this is an excellent game they've chosen. But it's going to be a fight. Because they chose Rogue Galaxy for the PlayStation 2. This is, um, oh shit, I can't remember the studio. Is it f not Factor 5? Level 5. Oh, was it? Interesting. It's a level 5 action RPG uh, with a lot of crafting. Is it? Wait, actually, is it level 5? Uh, let's find out. Rogue I actually Galaxy. have someone else, someone else is saying it is level 5. Um, yeah, people are saying it's level 5. Yeah. Yep, developed by level 5. There you go. Uh, very, very into crafting. Uh, I heard, like, it's a pretty cool RPG. But, I like, you, if you want to get 100%, apparently it's a nightmare because you have to craft a lot of things. If DKCR gets 1% again, does it move to normal cookie? Or Correct. is it, like, the next? Uh, Correct. Okay. Now, like I said, this game has an uphill battle because Da Policia has apparently decided that I have had it too good for too long. It'll be a while for my pick to come up at this point. It's been, yeah, 18 days since they submitted it. But you've dodged this bullet for long enough. It's time for Sonic the Hedgehog. Genesis for the Game Boy Advance. Ah, uh, one of the most terrible ports of Sonic 1. Correct, Mundo. Notoriously bad. Mm-hmm. Game you number three. Oh, sorry. Oh, uh, I was just going to say, if you thought Sonic 1 was already kind of bad, well, uh, you haven't seen nothing yet. Flying Tengu gives us game number three, Graffiti Kingdom. 
can't say I've heard of that one, sadly. Uh, it's where a game where you basically make your own 3D model monsters, and then they you physically control them and fight other monsters. I forget. We, so we, I think we played either Magic Pangle or this one. I can't remember which. They're basically the same. So like a mix of Spore and Monster Rancher, I guess. In a way, but like it's okay. more of like a ha action RPG hack and slash. Ah, okay, gotcha. Game number four from TBG Hunter. Hunter. Battalion Wars. Good choice. For the GameCube. I gave you the second one, the MechFest. Yeah, this is a spin-off series of Advance, of Advance Wars. It's a third-person shooter series. And while I did say there were meme options, I did mean plural because PB Primo also came out swinging because they picked Meetle, as I apparently just typed in. Metal Wolf Chaos XD for Steam and Ooh. CD. Richard! Richard! It's it's an uphill battle. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens, folks. How do you know I... like me now? Okay, let's party! Uh, what to vote for? Hmm, I kind of want to see that one. All right, let's let it ride for a couple seconds, and then let's go see what's going on in results. Oh, Stop! Currently in the lead is Donkey Kong Country Returns? People really want DK. What? <laughs> All right, currently in the lead, Donkey Kong Country Returns. 58 votes, 30% of the vote. Rogue Galaxy in second place. Everyone's getting behind Kid Arc for the most part. 52 votes, 22%. Sonic the Hedgehog Genesis in third place, 41 votes, 17%. Metal Wolf Chaos, 35 votes, 14%. Graffiti Kingdom, 16 votes, 6%. And Battalion Wars in last place, 15 votes, 5%. A shame. I'm not gonna lie, genuinely stunned on the winner right now. Are you? It was getting 1% pretty consistently. Sure, but like, this is a strong fucking list. I can't believe it's still got the lead. Genuinely can't believe it. All right, then yeah, let's put a minute on the clock then. Let's see what wins it. DKC returns 106 votes, 34%, versus Rogue Galaxy 75 votes, 24%. You built up Rogue Galaxy, mean votes were split, but DK has a united front. I guess. I don't know, man. I, I feel like we play, like we did Tropical Freeze for game clearing, like what, a year ago? Uh, oh yeah, you did do that, huh? God, you did that. Yeah. How did that go? It was, it was all right, it was fun. But like, nice. like uh, Return specifically, I don't like the control scheme. I actually prefer the 3DS version of the game because the control scheme feels better. Really? Hmm. Yeah. You rigged this with that DK GIF on intermission board? Oh, you're doing a face on. I was like, how? That was been there for a week. And you're like, you're just doing that. Is he gonna jump? Is he gonna do it? Diggle's gonna jump, but yeah, it is. DKC returns, handedly wins, 110 to 81. Sorry, Kid Ark. Sorry, Kid Ark. Happy birthday. It's not your birthday, but happy birthday, anyways. <laughs> happy day. Generally surprised. There you go. I honestly. I can't believe Metal Wolf Chaos was fourth. That I, seems weird for you. I, I, you want me to be perfectly honest? This is the order I saw things going. Probably Sonic Genesis or Metal Wolf Chaos in first. Probably Rogue Galaxy in second. DKC Returns, probably neck and neck with it. And then whatever of these two didn't make it would be in fourth. These two I saw being in the bottom two. So, like, not the ending I expected at all, to be perfectly honest. Yo, Chloe, Chloe, you want that uh, Rogue Galaxy PS2 option for the future? Hell yeah. <laughs> Actually, wait, there's two Rogue Galaxy options right in a row. Uh-oh. Uh, yeah, worry what? about that later. What? Oh, because like, I see like, Kid Arc and Chloe, Chloe both just suggested uh, Rogue Galaxy for their oh, choices they're, in the they're future. swinging again. I would laugh. Oh, I mean, if they both end up in the same poll, I'm just going to skip one and then grab it for another poll. Mm-hmm. 
Kid Arcstorm will wait patiently for their revenge with Rogue Galaxy for another X months. Let's see how many, how long you're waiting. Uh, yeah, that Rogue Galaxy. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, those are one nine five and one nine six respectively. They're they're waiting for a while. <laughs> 195? It's not that much, is it? 195, 196. On a cookie night, we go through 10. Right. And on a uh, and on one of these nights, which we were planning only doing monthly, we go through 25. They've they've they're waiting for a couple months. Okay. Like they, this won't happen before Coliseum, essentially, unless something happens. Here comes the super cookie jar stream where we do 10 at once. Oh god. I mean, we could do that. We could generally just add in more options, but I always like the condensed number of five. So. Mm -hmm. Alright. Let's see here. Before we go to break, because I know some people want to know this, uh, on Cookie on Saturday, the following people are going to see their games pop up. Lady Juice and Dragonlord Carter will be in the first Cookie round. Dark Lord Zagato and Roto Eve in the second. T Man 64 and Kid Arc Storm, <laughs> who apparently. <clears throat> wait, no, hang on, hang on. Oops, 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 mega oops. Wrong page. That was 150 and 100. That was, yeah, that was like the, the last page of the list. My bad. My bad. Uh, let's try that again. Amphest Mako and Cool Calzone are going to be in round one. Round two is going to be Tiny Seven Eyes 3D and Ruby Ryko. Uh, round three is going to be Phase on Edge and Agent G. Round four is going to be Trevbot911 and Shining Silver. And round five, if we make sure we have it, is actually still Kid Arcstorm <laughs> and Cryptic sure Creative. You, are you sure you're looking at the same one? I am looking the one at I'm the seeing. right one, one to fifty. It is a I different. It is a different game on there from eleven days ago. Eleven. I have stuff from eighteen days ago. Uh, you may want to refresh your list. I just refreshed it. You might want to do the same to yours. <laughs> oh, I see why. Uh, it didn't take the the uh, refresh I put in there for some weird reason. Let's try that again. Oh, yeah. What the fuck is going on with this list now? Oh, I'm just going to reopen the damn tab. It's a completely different set of names. God damn it. Fuck it. I'm not saying who's got their games coming up then. Fuck it. <laughs> Want me to do it? I, I have it right here. Uh, hang, yeah, go for it. Just say the people. Don't say their games. Okay. Uh, first one, Free Star and Winged Wolf. Second one, Falcon Pain and Jimbo Doggo. Third, Pole, Ulrich362 and Prime Explorer. Fourth one, Xena Persona 8... 819 and Pizza 1016. And fifth poll, Chris M543 and Keith the Yang Yang Werewolf. Yeah, my list is refreshed. That is correct. So I don't know where that list I was reading out came from. Was that on the wrong page again? Let's see here. I think it was on the second page. No. Oh, you know what it is? What's that? I was on the bottom of the page, not the top, oh. because I, can I show this window? I'm gonna spoil some of the games that people have suggested. Uh, actually, I probably don't even need to. The The scroll bar doesn't appear. The scroll bar, scroll bar is invisible and it was flush, so I thought it was at the top. Oh, huh. So yeah, the scroll bar only appears if I scroll. So I looked at it and thought that was correct. So my mistake, Thanks, web page, for not showing me a scroll bar. That's what I'm here for. Yay. Apparently. So yeah, so yeah, Freestar and Wing Wolf will start uh, next cookie with their options. Sorry about that. All right. Uh, eggs. I just see the Night of Void. And Kamubo for 12. Night of Void was for 49, and Kamubo was for 12. Thanks for subbing, you two. I know there's at least one egg in the cart. Let me see if there's anything else first before we play it. Yep. This one's from Philip Draco. Do not watch until January 20th, 2022. Is what I would say is if, if it would load. There we go. Oh, well, this is a long one, too, so I guess this makes up for being the only one. Oh, man.
He's riding in the ice cream machine ride. The, ice truck, the ice truck machine ride. That's cute. I'm, wait I'm waiting for this thing to just go off the rails. <laughs> I mean, this is a two-minute video, so something's gonna happen. Oh. Mithru is summoning all the food to for all the eggs! Do you have a top hat, a sword, or a hat? Have some ice cream! Some beaver ice cream! Hey, it's Robert, you. Wario, Soma, Michelangelo surfing with that steak. <laughs> I'm going back to that exact scene in a minute. Oh no, all the ice creams. Oh no. The art block is in space. Uh oh. <gasps> no. Right on money. Driving school. No. <laughs> Can't give a one year old a license. Happy birthday, Beefy Boy. That was super cute, Draco. Hell yeah. That was awesome. I need to go back to that one scene. Because off in the top left here. This fucking speed racer being hit by the oh. rainbow beam by Dr. Weird. I didn't notice. Nice. It's fucking fantastic. All right, we're going to go to break when we come back. Oh. Last game of the night. Donkey Kong Country returns for the Wii. See you guys in a bit. I've got to go check on my son. How's it going to feel in 15 years when that beef boy is old enough to drive? Oh, God. I'm not in the one teaching him how to drive. <laughs> Prime designed the truck and the ice cream. Nice. Well done, Prime, Camille, and Draco, and everyone else who worked on that video. Our, our community never ceases to amaze what they can pop out. Dude, they do some great stuff. I am always very surprised and... I guess a little envious of like how some people can like draw their stuff, but I also know that just takes a lot of practice. Right. And, uh, yeah. So I'm like, man, I wish I could just, like, grab a fucking pencil and just make fucking, like, Mozart or whatever, but nah. <laughs> For one thing, Mozart is music. Maybe I can make a sheet music, I don't know. God, I hope he's music, because I'm going to sound very stupid if I don't, or if he isn't. <laughs> he's music. Alright, thank you. Practice and patience, yeah, that, that sounds right. I tried dabbling with the art for a little bit, but then arthritis started kicking in and my hands are nothing like they used to be, so mm -hmm. trying to hold pens and stuff like that, just not comfortable after a while. Right, sorry to hear that. If your process is screaming, you know what? That's fair, Tails. Happy uh, belated birthday, by the way. As I believe your bir as I believe your birthday was yesterday. It was hell yeah. Happy belated birthday, dude. Yeah. You guys got any questions for us in the meantime while John's out looking for his uh, orange sun? Favorite flavor of ice cream? Uh, chocolate. Always a fan of Dutch chocolate, though, uh, pistachio almond is very good too.
I, mm, between pancakes and waffles, I think I prefer pancakes. Uh, but they're both really good. It just kind of depends. Maybe, maybe waffles, actually, because waffles I think I can just have with more things, like a chicken and waffle um, kind of meal, as an example. Whereas pancakes, you don't really... Like, you don't really do pancakes and chicken. That just sounds weird. <laughs> Alright, got him. Nice. Did you give him any pancakes? No, Bagel doesn't like pancakes. Ah, okay. What about waffles? Nah. Ah. Oh, he's peeing, too. Oh, he, man, when... Whoop. Go ahead. He went out to use the litter box, and he is now inside to use it instead. Mm -mm. Did someone use their points to demand more dragon daddies? Yes, they did. <laughs> yes, they did. <laughs> oh, gosh, your biggest gamer bragging rights moment. Uh, Let's see, I guess I've done... A lot of the super bosses in the Kingdom Hearts games, I, I, I guess like I've hundred percented like some RPGs, like Octopath Traveler, I hundred percented. That was a, that was a good time. I really enjoyed that game. Getting above eighty five percent on Freebird on controller for uh, Guitar Hero Two. Oh shit! Damn. Nice on controller. Impressive. Yeah, because I had a dog that decided my guitar was a good place to take a piss one night. Fried half the buttons. Gross. That sucks. Best burger slash dish you've ever had. There's a really good burger place near me, actually, that I've actually taken a couple of people. Ow, I just bit my tongue. I've actually taken a couple of people to, uh, uh, from like here, like, uh, to it, actually. Like, meds, when we, when we went, met for the first time, uh, I remember I took them to this burger place where we also went to go to a retro game shop afterwards. Funny enough, the same thing happened again with my friend Igis, uh, Igis of Servia in the chat if she's still here. We also met up at that burger place when she was around the area, and uh, we also went to the uh, retro game shop as well. But that place has some of my favorite burgers, I think, anywhere I've ever had, and I love getting to get a burger from that place whenever I can. That game shop was interesting because I bought some good stuff from there, like, that's where I got my copy of Path of Radiance. Uh, years ago. Um, I know when I went with Meds, I grabbed Sonic Riders and a Tony Hawk game. When I went with Igus, I grabbed uh, Final Fantasy Tactics, I know I grabbed for myself, and probably another game, but the main thing I remember grabbing was two games, actually, because I knew she was going to a con that John was going to be at, so I asked her, actually, to deliver some games for me, and those games were this, like, Mulan PS1 game where you like made some scenes or something it was really weird but the other one was Avatar The Last Airbender for the Wii based off of the M. Night Shyamalan movie uh, so you know John owns both of those now and hey you could maybe those could potentially come up in the future you never know <laughs> you don't swaying know the, the vote burger. I see look I'm just saying like I gave I, I bought I spent money on those and had them delivered to you by I guess like <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not trying to sway the vote, per se. I'm just saying what happened. I'm just trying to get my money's worth, is all I'm saying. <laughs> also, this uh, place also had a uh, DK burger, as everyone has called it, where basically everyone kept seeing DK in, like, the bun of a burger that I had. Uh, that Actually, it was Meds' burger. Funny enough, it wasn't even my burger. If somebody has that picture, uh, for whatever reason, probably Neo King. Or Nick or somebody that I know has it. Uh, send it to me real quick because I want to see if I can post it. And uh, ask what people think about the DK Burger. <laughs> Alrighty then. Uh, let's see here. What were, Was there a couple things I forgot to talk about today? Like, I got halfway through something. Like, I never did show the, the soap that was also barbecue sauce. The what? Yeah, we were talking about this earlier. So here, here's the soap. Oh, that is barbecue sauce. The Grill King soap, bacon, bourbon, and caramel scented. Ew. <laughs> Burley Stone, made handsome. The Grill King soap. You never knew the grill could smell so good. At Burley Stone, we believe that more is 
more. All of our soaps are massive, easily twice as big as most other handcraft soaps, so they last longer. If you love our soap as much as we do, we recommend keeping it in a well-drained soap dish between us, or in between uses to make it last as long as possible. Unique blend of scent and colors. The powerful scents of bacon, bourbon, citrus, sandalwood, and caramel. Make this one of the most unique soaps we've ever created. No fucking shit. You can see those scents working, but it's not one that I would personally want to wash with. The colors, a primal swirl of red, gray, and black, are reminiscent of the fiery charcoal embers we all remember, but you're in charge of bringing the marshmallows. I swear there was something else I was talking about too when I got cut off. I think it was something with Cole, but I don't remember what. Oh, right! Uh, yeah, Cole, for your birthday, uh, for game clearing on Monday, I've looked at a couple different games. <laughs> what is this picture? It's the DK Burger. How is it a DK Burger? Does it say DK look, on it? Look on the second picture, because everyone has said there's a DK in that second picture. I, don't, I, wanted, I, wanted... I don't see it in the second picture. I see it more in the first one. How do you uh, see more in the first uh, one? Hang on. But anyways, uh, for Cole, for your birthday, for game clearing, uh, let's just say it's not going to be a good sign of your birthday if you're basing it off of what I pick for game clearing that day. <laughs> yeah, that That's what I meant to say earlier and did not finish doing. I'll leave it at that. Uh, let's quickly read Donos, then let's go to Art Block, because there's, I think, about a row of stuff, and then let's wrap up with some DKC returns. Philip Draco says, Happy birthday, beefy boy, which I believe I read out earlier. Jasorin11 says, Let's go. Westerford says, What's your secret, John? I only sort of have one ex, but it was because of distance and not because she was the daughter of a, co a communist. Wait, what? What? <laughs> I'm going to reread that. I only sort of have one ex, but it was because of distance and not because she was the daughter of a communist. Dot, dot, dot. It's a long story. It must be. Uh, also, the secret is... Be nice to the people you're attracted to, and hopefully they find you attractive? I don't know. There's not really a secret. Like, yeah, there's not really a secret. <laughs> I don't know how else to word it. Like, I just, I knew them for a bit. Uh, almost all of them? Oh my god, I forgot we even had this alert. It's been so long since it's been activated. What is this alert? Wow. It's the Bomberman alert. It never gets activated. I think that's the second time period it's been used. I got added in the new year. What was I saying? Yeah, look, I think all of my... All the people I've dated, aside from one, was me asking them out. Every... Although I think one was the other way around. And there was one that a friend hooked us up. But, like, there's... It's just... It's just luck sometimes, man. It's just treat treat people nice. Tell them you're interested and hope for the best. I don't know how else to describe it. <laughs> Let it come naturally. I think that's like that's one of the most important things with like any relationship. Yeah. My t someone says my tip is not going in with the intent to date, just try to become friends first. Now that's not always necessary, because definitely at least one girl I dated in one of the longer lasting relationships, like, we met on the first day, and then like, the next time I saw them, we were dating. If that makes sense. So, it can happen like that. But traditionally, yeah, just strike up a friendship, and then if you want to see if it's worth going anywhere else, then then try that way. I Literally, I can't give this advice because it's just kind of a thing that just happens. Uh, Westerford says, Thought I heard you mention being on Vyvanse. I've been on it for most of my life now. It helps me manage my Asperger's syndrome. When it wears off at night, my thoughts start wildly bouncing off the wall like a toddler on a sugar rush, like right now. Uh, yeah, I can see, like, when it fades, for me, uh, my fatigue hits in like a bunch like my voice is worn out so it'll, it'll drop a bit in octave and stuff like that and uh, yeah it'll get hard to no, I wouldn't say hard to focus on stuff as much as it is just I feel tired that's about it but Vyvanse also lasts for 14 hours so or at least it's supposed to Get Storm says alright how to sell this game to chat to beat memes 
Well, there's the characters, world, combat, hmm, no, I need to do better. Wait, I know, I'll just hold the Buru hostage! Genius, nothing will be possible! Wait, what do you mean I'm also a hostage included? Oh, no. Veil Leaf says, for April Fools this year, I'm gonna make a video where I start selling NFTs for one Zimbabwe dollar and have a link that says for a 0 0.01, so as in one penny USD discount, click here. And then after some time, people accused me of promoting NFTs without context of April Fools. Huh? I think I think your sentence fell apart at the end, Vale. I, I understood like Zimbabwe and NFTs and I, yeah, I, they're gonna start selling NFTs for one Zimbabwe dollar, and have a link that says for a, a penny discount, click here, and then after some like it, it falls apart. Like there's gotta be more to this at a point. There, there has to be. Probably donation uh, character limit thing. Yeah, and then after some time, people accuse will accuse me of promoting NFTs without context of April Fools. I assume that's what they meant. I think it's just a typo. <laughs> but yeah, I think they're basically gonna try to fool people with NFTs. All right, and we'll see what happens. It's an unregulated market, so who the fuck knows what'll happen there anymore? I don't think they meant it, it turned into past tense, which is what got confusing. I think they meant pre future tense. I'm assuming they meant future tense. But for those asking, yes, NFT's have been around for three years. Yeah, like 2018, I think I saw some listings from one of... Yeah, three, I think it was like three going on four, I, I believe. Yeah. I don't do NFTs, by the way, if that sounded like I did. <laughs> yeah, apparently a bunch of people are not realizing that. No, uh, guys, like the original test for NFTs, I think was 2015, the proof of concept. And then actual NFTs as we know them started uh yeah three or four years ago those those youtuber nfts on OpenSea that suddenly started gaining a lot of traction the other day uh yeah the one for my channel says three plus years old mm -hmm. they've been around for a while it's just they've gotten noticeable within the last year so yeah they've been around for a while because again uh the concept of them is probably where the market's going owning digital goods and like owning exclusivity to them but uh a the pandemic and b the the boom of crypto and nfts in the past year or two have basically made it so that grifters are all over it so the grifters are basically fucking it up for everyone essentially i i still think regular nfts still need work before they become actually okay they have a lot of things they need to work out but all the scammers are just fucking it up, period, so. Yeah. It's, it's got years before it's not as bad as it is. But I also don't think it's actually going away. I think the bubble will pop, but then people will still stay there, and then it'll actually become what it probably should have been. But it's an unregulated market, so who the fuck knows, essentially. I think I've seen the comparison of... Uh... Oh, it's like the star you own in the sky. Here's your certificate about, like, what star you own. Exactly, yeah. And then apparently there's been, like, dozens of those companies that have, like, f shown up and disappeared, so. Yeah. Fo Fox of Cloud says, Since Outer Wilds appeared twice, now seems like a good time to buy the DLC, Echoes of the Eye, for the copy I bought you on Steam last year. Sadly, I think I've seen the best this game will do on polls, at least if there's a popular game on the poll. Yeah, fair. Thanks, Fox. I'll make sure to pick that up. I think there's two things I gotta pick up tonight. I'll scan through and grab the other one later. Alright. Let's go to Art Block. Art Block is a roughly a row, a little bit more than that, too. So let's start here with. Bullsh with bullshit. No, actually, a lovely picture from Nitro. Happy birthday, Beefaroo and Egg Pack Celebrity Yoke. This is super cute. Look at this. They look so happy. Look at these party par party pals. Ooh. Thank you, Nitro. I'm sure Yoke loves it, and I know Beefaroo does too. Next up. <laughs> Sam. Sam. <laughs> <laughs> happy Beef Day. It's his turn in the baby carrier. Thank you, Spotted Alien Monster, aka Sam, for Beef Roo and the Baby Carrier. He looks so happy. From Blonde Lombax, how fans saw the Act of Blizz buyout. Save yourself. How I see it. Hey, you want me to set you up for a remake? Sounds like fun. Let me think it over. 
Just taking a quick soapbox with a silly little comic, Toys for Bob did a fantastic job with the Reignited trilogy, so I'm adamant that in the future we could see the original two Banjo games see the same treatment. Most likely wishful thinking, but a man can dream. I think it could happen, but the way that Activision is currently shaping has kind of fucked up a lot of things, because Toys for Bob kind of got dragged into... Wait, was Toys for Bob dragged into Blizzard, or was that Vicarious Visions? One got dragged into Call of Duty, One, the other got dragged into Blizzard. But either way, uh, remaking those studios or making enough, getting enough staff from those studios to make something of that caliber is going to take years. Microsoft doesn't get full control for a year, and there's still a year for things to be fucked up. So I am cautiously optimistic at the absolute best, basically. Right. They've got a lot That's to prove. I, I've heard good things from studios that have gone to Microsoft other than Rare. Like, the oh, most man. recent buyouts of Do other studios lately have doing? apparently been like, yeah, no, they're great to work with. I think Rare was just at a really bad time, essentially. But, again, time remains to be seen. I will stay, at what? best, cautiously optimistic, and since, again, it's still a year of Bobby Kotick running it as a CEO, pretty pessimistic. Mm -hmm. I just hope that, that the union was trying to form can actually do that under Microsoft. And I think they might allow them to do that. I've heard good things about Microsoft in the past couple years, but again, I don't know for sure. One year from Rhyme. Birthday boy! It's cute. Oh, Santa Slice, I put a little rhyme here. P is for perfect, A is for auspicious, Y is for youthful, O is for obedient, M is for magical, P is for pure, and A is for adorable. That spells Payumpa. Happy birthday to our little Beefaroo. That's cute. Thank you, Rhyme, for the art. Thank you, Sand Slash, for the actual little poem there. And thank you, Deepens, for saying Payumpa. It's super cute. Rhyme, thank you for making Beefaroo and doing the lovely one year art. Next up from Storm. Cute dragon noises. Payumpa. Rosa John. John's basement. Glitch and gun. Oh, they're playing Clue. Herf the Cowbub, and I've had this idea in my head since you played Clue on Cookie, though it was the best idea to play with these two. Also, yes, they're playing a John of Arts theme Clue. There you go. Rosa John. John's basement. Glitch and gun. Who, who got killed? Am I killed? I can see the alts murdering me. That would happen. Thank you, Storm. You have to take over somehow. Night. Next up from Germany. Why can't dragons be hot? They can. They can be hot. They can. Unless you said it's yeah. because there were no female dragons, which fair enough. But then that's what apparently I'm for. <laughs> Thank you, Germany. Looks lovely. Next up. Purple. Purple. Happy birthday to our beefy boy from I'm Not Batman. Keep calm, payumpa on, and enjoy your purple. Thank you, Batman. Beautiful. Yeah. And the last one I got here is a very angry Kidark Storm. If Rogue Galaxy loses to memes, dot, 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 democracy was never an option. Or peace. Well, chat, you know how this works. Hand over your democracy and the peace. I, it, how it be now. In all honesty, I was hoping I would get through, but oh well. Rogue Galaxy is one of my childhood favorites that I'd like for more people to experience, but we're still stocked for the future. But hey, I've got two other slots before we even get back to Rogue Galaxy. John, you pretty much know what other possible game choice I'd like to get you to play. Oh well, guess I'm my own hostage till the next bit. Anyways, I killed my sleep for the ship post, so I'll probably sleep now. Maybe. Anyways, thanks. Thanks. Anyway, take care now, chat. Bloop. Well, like I said, don't worry. Like, the, I saw the other game you had on there, at least one. Uh, and yeah, I'm down for that one for sure. That's a fun game. So, it may have its proper chance. Thank you, Kid Ark. Sorry it didn't work out for now, but there's always other chances. And let's go to the last game of the night because it's getting real late. We should probably start this right now. I just realized how late it is. I'm on the wrong screen. There we go. Mm, monkey. I don't know. Excuse me. Not the 3DS version, that's not the one that was picked. It was specifically the Wii version that was requested. Oh, 
Oh, I thought there was a save there for a second there because I saw the 1-1. Nope. I gotta play this at some point. I got a copy like lying around here somewhere. Just don't know when I'm gonna do it. All right, what style? What are the controls? Movement, grab, combine, dismount, Donkey Kong Rambi, jump, pause, crouches down, ground pound is, oh, uh, uh, now I'm remembering why I hated this. Uh. What are the sideways controls looking like? It's, a, it's pretty much the same from what I remember. You still gotta shake for rolling, shake for blowing, and ground pound. Uh, so no matter what, yeah, that's why I remember hating about this game, was you need to do motion controls to do what in the other Donkey Kong countries was basic movement. So, right. uh, yeah, that's why I think I prefer the 3DS one, personally. But Get if you, the one that looks better is going to obviously be the Wii one. Did it go to the Wii one just now? Hmm? It looked like it stayed on the weird mode and nunchuck option. Yeah, that's what I wanted. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. I thought you wanted to switch it for whatever weird reason. Hmm, that is interesting now, because I wanted to maybe stream this, and I'm like, hmm, motion control. You may, you may want to look at the 3DS one instead. It will the, the graphics will look worse, obviously, but the controls will be better. Right. I remember, like, I stopped playing this after the first Kong stage because I got frustrated on the on the bouncing mechanic, how it was different from the original. But I remember getting way farther in the 3DS one, I think, with the World 5 because it felt more like what I expected. <laughs> I mean, I just play on my own time. Dude, I want a I want a 3DS capture, but also gotta get like a original 3DS and like all the loopy or whoever's doing it now stuff. Yeah. Or hopefully get lucky for a completed set that's on like eBay or something. Mm-hmm. Bananas, get us bananas. All the bananas. It's always the bananas. He's got a lot of bananas. Which is crazy, because those things, like, go bad in, like, a week. They do. So they either eat a shit ton of bananas, or they got magic bananas. Which I guess they float, so, yeah, pretty magical. Very special bananas. Bananas. <laughs> <laughs> I forget if this implies that Donkey Kong is too dumb to be hypnotized or too powerful to be hypnotized. I prefer I both. <laughs> I can see one or the other. Man, I remember when they first revealed this game, it was like, it was just that right there, like DK exiting his house and like, there's just like the crowd reactions to it. It was, it was really nice. Dude, cause it had been so long since there had been a Donkey Kong Country game. Yeah. He's too himbo? You know what? I will accept that. DK is definitely <laughs> a himbo. There's no denying that. Well, welcome to the Night of Daddies. Uh, right, hang on. DK, let's let's, let's get some music going here. I thought, wait, isn't it just ground pound? Or is it near the TV? I gotta do it. It's near the TV. I had to do it. Gotta do that. Now you just got, you just had to do that. Of course. So the dumbest mechanic in this game, bar none, probably one of my least favorite things about it is the blowing mechanic. You have to stop your moving, duck, and shake the Wiimote to breathe, and they hide shit under that. Oh, really? They, it's so <laughs> annoying of a thing. They took it out in returns because they realized, oh wait, people don't actually like this. 
And thank God they did, because... Yeah... Really did not like that mechanic at all. I noticed this game... One big change already from other DKC games. You have hearts, so there's more than just one hit for DK, it looks like. Yes, so it works a little differently. So if you're not familiar with Returns at all, at least the first one, uh, you play as DK basically completely. Like, you're always DK. Unless you're playing two-player mode. In that case, then you get access to Diddy. But at, while, you're, while you're DK, you can find Diddy around. I don't think we get him in the first stage. I forget. Oh, almost fell for that. Whoa, nice. Yeah, I'm recalling uh, Josh and I believe Super Genius is uh, yeah, LP of this game, actually. Yeah, yeah that's, that's, a that's an old oldie there. Dude, that was some oldie but a goodie. It's like the Jet Set Radio Future song. <laughs> mm -hmm. Soon I'll be back to that damn LP. Yeah. Right. Let's do that. Don't get a heart yet. Like, just don't rush yourself on that, dude. I know, I just I got a lot of shit going on, but like, it's it's calming down now. Like, genuinely, uh, LP stuff is getting recorded again, so I'm excited to get back to it soon. But it's not mm -hmm. quite what people... It, it's different. I'm doing some co-op stuff with people for the, for the YouTube channel. Oh, nice! I'm not spoiling who yet, uh, but some of it will be expected people, some of it won't be. So I think you can save me, it's okay. <laughs> Don't tell them yet! Oh, sorry! <laughs> yeah, I think people will be happy. But I just feel bad that it took this long to get back to it, since it has indeed been quite a while. Mm -hmm. All right, let's just... Uh, I forget if I can get that. I think I can get that without Diddy, because I can just... Yeah, there we go. Nice. According to a news article, Miyamoto suggested the blowing mechanic after seeing that the game had particle effects. Oh my god, of course. Yeah, that sounds like Miyamoto. So, yeah, in this game, instead of having Diddy as a tag-off partner, Diddy rides on your back because he gives you a jetpack ability. So he basically oh, gives cool. you, like, not an extra jump as much as it is a hover. And obviously he adds extra hearts to your health meter. So now we have four hearts total. And I believe without Diddy, the rolling mechanic only lasts for like a spin, but with Diddy, it lasts for quite a while. Shit, Interesting. I, I forget if there's something over there or not. Uh, let's not risk it. All oh, right, because yeah, I have to go in the background now. That's what it was. Hey, wait a minute. This was the this part right here was the uh, Smash Four stage, wasn't it? Yep. Nice. Okay, that's cool. Honestly, surprised I didn't think that try and have that stage come back, but I guess I understand why. Also, nice puzzle pieces there. Six out of nine. Yeah, we're doing it. We're doing it. You seem to remember this game pretty well so far. I mean, it's a Donkey Kong Country game. Like, you, you, you get the uh, the muscle memory for it for the most part. Even though the games are different, they still play sort of the same. And we also did do Tropical Freeze. Apparently it was two years ago, someone said. I thought it was, didn't think it was that far back. Wow, really? But yeah, they, they've got a flow to them. One, if you remember the flow, like, they're they're awesome fun. Oh, that, that, that balloon should have counted. Oh, I see you can move. I can, I can move, I just wasn't doing it, I was because I wasn't in a rush. Right. Here's the problem, though. No, most of these bonus games don't have a floor, so if you fall out, you don't get the puzzle piece. And it goes by Donkey Kong Country 1 rules, where you can't get back in. Oh. So if you fail in attempts, that's it. You gotta come back to the stage and do them all again. And you gotta also pay attention to shit like this, because what if something's in there that you need? If you are a completionist, it's kind of a headache playing through this game because you have to do a lot of like, okay, do I breathe on this item? Do I ground pound here? 
It is more searchy than the rare ones are. Oh shit, speaking of, I think I fucked up because, oh no, we're good. Nice. Because there's a lot of collectibles and in this game, collecting the Kong letters actually matters. I have heard that, yes. It's something to do with like an extra level, right? Yes. Let's see if I can get this. Nice. Okay, 13. Wow, that was perfect. Look at you. Image gallery updated. Do you know Gerard's opinion on returns? I, has he? I thought he did a video on it. I thought he did one of them. I think he did do a return. Oh yeah, and now that I've beaten the stage, there's also a time attack version for every stage. So there's like a, a medal there too. So here, let's just show this for example. Collecting the Kong so they cheer for you. That's why it matters. Satisfy Kong's love of letters. He does love to spell, specifically his own name. I love spelling. Damn it. Oh, that's gonna cost us. Kong is doing many great things for people. And many bad things. Oh, I probably should have got that heart. Yep. But yeah. Oh, oh, it kept the timer. Never mind. Never mind. Yeah, no, we're good. We're not we're not getting a gold on that one. I think I saw people bringing it up earlier, and like, there's been this rumor about like, oh, a 3D open world Donkey Kong game for the Switch that may be coming at some point, or maybe not. I don't know. And like, I mean, it'd I would be not cool. be opposed to that. No, same. I mean, like, if yeah, it's like, be fine. Like, as much as I don't like DK64 because I find it too much of a game, too much of a good thing in a way. Like, I'd be down for another one. Mm -hmm. maybe, maybe a bit more reined in, but I'd be down for another one. Right. Would you want more like kind of like Odyssey levels of like collectibles and like different environments or? I think it depends because Odyssey could be also taken as too much as well, but it just felt so fun to explore that I kind of I kind of put up with how much you had you could get in that game. Mm -hmm. I also don't think too much of something like collecting that is necessarily a terrible thing. It just for me it's. I'm like, I want to go on to another game. I just want to, like, a tight, shorter experience that still gets me what I want out of a series versus someone who's like, I'm a kid who only gets one game a year. Give me a game that will last forever. Right. Like, like I genuinely get why people like the longer game experiences. It's just, I'm, I as an adult can no longer get that kind of enjoyment. No. Hit the fucking ceiling. What a bummer. That sucks. Yo, Smite, how's it going, bud? Where's my Donkey Kong MMO? Give it time. That's why Retro hasn't put out a game lately. They're clearly working on a Donkey Kong MMO. God, what, what would be the Nintendo series that does, like, an MMO? Pokemon. You Pokemon's, know what? I can see Pokemon's it. Pokemon's the most logical at this point. They've got enough monsters just on default alone that they could pull off an MMO. Mm -hmm. Will they ever do it? Probably not. <laughs> could they do it? Yeah. Fire Emblem, I see. I want my Golden Eye and Perfect Dark MMO, thank you. Uh, well, you're gonna have to ask Microsoft and Rare for that. Mm -hmm. Apparently, fucking Golden Eye's getting a re-release. Oh I think, yeah. I think, um, been, I think it's been all but confirmed at this point because, like, the ESR or no, it was uh, achievements got leaked. Yeah, John, uh, is yeah. Mike good to join in? Hmm. Is Mike good to join in? If you want to hop in the call, sure. I didn't realize he wanted in. Yeah, he just uh, added me about it. Hey, Donkey Kong. That's Donkey Kong, my dude. Aw, this game. Smite, have you played through this in full? Have you gone through and gotten 100%? Uh, I tried to play with my nephew, but he, he kept trying to get me murdered. Oh, so <laughs> the proper Donkey Kong experience, what you're yeah. saying. Yeah. I was at MAGFest and I found out when I was there that David Wise was going to be there, and I had nothing for him to sign. And I went down to the, the store, and they only had an enormous 
huge Donkey Kong Country Returns poster, which I got him to sign, and he told me he didn't work on that one. Oh no! <laughs> oh, yeah, no. he only did he only did Tropical Freeze. Actually, I'm surprised he didn't know because I thought he'd been there a couple years now. Pretty sure that wasn't his first Magfest. It might have been my first Magfest. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Oh, how was Meg, by the way? Like, cause you actually went. It was reasonably good. Nobody in my group got sick. That's and good to hear. The panel was pretty, tech issues aside, pretty good. Yeah, I didn't I... see a lot of the show, and the arcade was a little slimmer than usual. Yeah, so I heard. I heard... I'd heard one of the one of the vendors just didn't show or was not able to, which is fair, cause it looked pretty condensed in there as it was in the images. Oh yeah, a couple people that were actually in the chat were actually at your panel. So I see Ilea saying that was a good panel. I saw some of the footage that was going around on Twitter. What in the world was that weird basketball game that you had some people playing? <laughs> oh, you mean Fooskitball? Fooskitball, yes, that's the one. Fooskitball? Excuse me? <laughs> it's a fusion of uh, foosball and basketball. Oh, I see. I gave them two minutes to make two baskets. I didn't make it. That's how good Fusky Ball is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there was this game where you uh, you drop a bunch of Pong Balls into an orb container, and there's a bunch of drums to help you bounce them in. I can't remember what it's called. It's like Hippo that, or That's Scotto. Yeah, Scotto, that game rules. Yeah, no, Scotto's amazing. No, there's no line for anything except Scotto. The only <laughs> game that had a line. I watched, uh, I mean, I could get like 100 points, and I thought that was good, and then this dude made a bet with his friend that he would drink one shot for every one indifference in score. Is what he's like, okay, and he just got like 200 points, so he was just jamming it. Jesus. <laughs> the high score, top 10. That yeah. is insane. Scotto, for those who've never heard of it, is literally a uh, trick, like, beer pong, essentially. You've got five drums and a pile of ping pong balls, and you have to like, score them into this target area while also bouncing off of specific lit up platforms if you want like there's other modes where you can just get them in and that's it's all right but like it's like a bunch of it's basically trick shot ping pong slash beer pong and it's kind of amazing every con it's gone to it's like always had the biggest lineup yeah and they got that they had that machine with the lights and you battle the two oh the, the 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 long tubes yeah, I don't know what that. I mean, it's in Japanese. Who knows what it's called? But that game rules. Hey, Mister. What's up? Yeah. Uh oh. Uh oh. Is it ruin ruin the stream o'clock time now? Oh shit. Hey, Mister. Hey, go. You hungry, buddy? Or are you just bored? Do you want me to play with you? Yeah? You wanna lie down on the table? The table's poor messy. Hang on, buddy. Hang on, let me... Let me give you some room to lie down. Yes, yeah, step all over my keyboard, please. That's exactly what I want you to do. <laughs> oh my god. Bagel, I love you, but holy shit. You are a nightmare when the weather sucks. Alright, yeah. Hello, buddy. He wants to be petted. Which means I gotta activate a code orange. Which I cannot find suddenly. Where is Code Orange? There it is. Boss! He's literally just rolling around on my desk, knocking shit over because he wants me to pet his stomach. Hi. Hi, are you that bored? Hey, buddy, I'm almost done. Don't worry. Don't worry. Can you hold that for 20 minutes? And a no? That's a no. All right, let's see what we can have happen here now. Let's hop back to the game. Let's see if we can get a couple more stages done before, if Bagel will let us. We are now at the mercy of the cat. He demands all the love and affection, and probably a little bit of food. I may have to sneak off just to make sure he's gotten the last part of his food for the day. Mm -hmm. uh, not at the mercy of the cat. 
definitely tell it's a case of just like, yep, cat runs this house. No questioning that. Sounds like a cat. Yeah. Smite, how in the world do you survive? Because you have like, how many pets? I just have two cats here. Oh, I thought you also had a to, dog for some reason. At my old house, uh, my parents, um, they live with my brother now. He took my place. They have like six dogs, seven cats, and a bunny, oh, and uh, a Jeez. rooster, and um, Did you say a rooster? Yeah, a rooster rules. He's great. You can pick him up. He loves company. He just comes right on out. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. The little dinosaur. Yeah, he's great. My sister has three dogs, two cats, and two twin boys that are about eight years old. And that house is just a nightmare, so I can't imagine having like all that other stuff on top of it. Oh, she likes large dogs. Like the smallest dog there is like a Great Pyrenees. It's like 120 pounds. My sister's, <laughs> oh my God. Oh, so, oh, your sister, your family member's the same? God. Yeah, they got, they got Rottweilers and uh, Huskies. Good husky. My sister has uh, a wolf dog, a husky, and oh, she just got a puppy. I can't remember what breed it is, but apparently it's like a military trained breed. Otherwise, it's the one that was on SEAL Team Six that helped find that helped find Bin Laden. Interesting. I cannot huh. remember the name of the breed at all. I could probably find that. But actually. she's and she's a puppy right now, and she's just a terror. An absolute terror. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Speaking of terror, yeah, it's you. I'm talking about you now. Belgian Malinois is what I'm saying? That sounds right, a Malinois. Huge dogs are cool because they pick up trees and treat it like a stick. It's a very big dog. Oh, fuck. Yeah, holy shit. Cranky makes like one of the best sounds. I completely forgot. Hang on, we got. I hope I got enough coins to make him do it. He's just sitting here in the dark. Yeah. What is he doing? <laughs> He's an old man. <laughs> he just doesn't want to do anything. He's just like. I think. He, I think when you buy an item, he goes like. Wee! Let's see. I think that's what it does. Or is it something else? There's when I don't have enough money that he does that. I'm trying to remember. Bagel, what are you doing? There it is. Meow. <laughs> Meow. Nice. Yeah. What's wrong? Is uh, Tropical Freeze the one where he's playable finally? Yes. Yes. Yeah. In this one, it's just Donkey and Diddy, and in Tropical and in Tropical Freeze, uh, you get Funky and Cranky and Dixie. Funky Kong. Maybe we should have bought a squawks. Oops. I probably should have actually bought the fucking key. Well, that's. <laughs> well, I'm an idiot. Well, bye. 20 coins, what a scam. Yeah. Hi, buddy. Yeah, yes, knock over more things, please. Yes, thank you. How Hi. much is he knocking over right now? <laughs> He's knocked over a couple games I have on my desk that I haven't like cataloged yet. A couple controllers, the camera, the camera using the film earlier. He's knocking over a container that I apparently did not get rid of. He's just he's just making a mess. Rocky crawl. It's because he found one of the Q-tips I was using earlier, and he's going to town on it. Yeah, buddy, I think you're hungry. Do you want me to go up and give you some food? Can you wait a couple minutes? Give me five minutes. My, my cats have a thing for snagging Q-tips off my nightstand. Yeah, no, Bagel does too. If I leave any Q-tips on my desk because I've been cleaning cartridges or I'm going to, he will go to town on them. Here's the thing. I don't know where they run off to. I thought for a while they were on, they were going under my bed, but I, I pulled everything out. There's nothing under there, so I have no idea where they're... Bagel's weird. He will play with it on the desk, but once he's like, once it's off the desk, he does not care. He will just leave it on the ground and just move on with his life. Okay. 
What happened to the Nerf gun? He doesn't like the Nerf gun, he just likes the bullets. My cat likes garbage. Oh, really? Uh, like I had to get salt to, because of the snowstorm, and uh, track some into the house, and the salt cubes are the new toy. It's very exciting to trash, to trash around trash. Does he try to lick them at all because there's salt on it, or what? Oh, shit, I was... them around, they move when you hit them. That's all you need when you're a cat, I guess. I'm looking at, at the screen. Oops, well, there goes the K. Bagel, Bagel, for some reason, whenever I'm eating, like, salt and vinegar chips, he will try to get all the salt off my hand. Like, if he hears the chip bag at all, he runs towards me. Aw. But, like, he runs towards me to lick my hand, so it's just like, well, that's cute, but, like... I can't eat food now because you keep licking my hand. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, is this the Rambi stage? This one that I have to flip. Oh, it is a Rambi stage. Okay. Rambi destroys spikes. Which means if you go back and check all the other spikes around here, you'll find this one you can break. I love how he just is untextured. <laughs> He's just a rhino. They were just like, eh, what can we fit in from the old games? Ah, the Rhino. Everyone liked the Rhino. Cool, there we go. Awfully cute. You're trying to butter me up, so I either let you outside or give you give you some early food. Yeah, that dang spider was cool. No, Squitter. I think was his name. Yeah. Wearing sneakers, amazing. Yeah, <laughs> I forgot he had sneakers. Completely. Yeah, they were great, dude. He had like six of them. And then it's what is a, it? Six uh, three had a fucking elephant that shot water. Like that was the main. That was the thing that replaced Rambi. Ah, uh, yeah, it sounds right. Three had some interesting choices. People are saying Ellie. Yeah, Ellie the elephant. That sounds right. Can't hear the name Ellie without thinking of the uh, without thinking of Up, which a uh, great movie by the way. I think it was it that weird toy game Ele Elephant the Elephant or whatever it was. That's weird because I was what? just thinking about that toy earlier today. Yeah, the one that like breathes out butterflies and you have to catch them in a net. Yeah. Oh yeah, I know I missed K. I commented that I wasn't looking at the screen. It's my own fault on that one. Oh fuck! Oh, we already had to come back anyway. It's not a big deal. Yeah, we missed one puzzle piece in that minigame, we missed the K earlier, so... We did spell on, though. I just realized we didn't even get the G. Oops. <laughs> Donkey Kong has a really good uh, matter-of-fact face about your letters this time. Like, oh, man. Yeah, if you don't spell the entire word, he just gets upset. I wanted to see my name written down. It's not the same. Let's go get a key, too. You want to free the island from those stinking tikis? You'll need my help. Get in here and then give me money. You're trying to find all the island seekers, or are you just taking the easy route? When in doubt, pound or jump or blow or whatever. I'm sure you'll figure it out. 
When in doubt, do something. Yep, that's good advice, Cranky. Thanks. So, if you get all the Kongs in every stage, all the KONG letters, uh, a bonus stage unlocks. And they are very difficult. They are definitely the hardest stages in the game. And uh, I remember, at least when playing the Wii one, like that, it annoyed me because you had to do like a bunch of specifically just enemy jumping. And the timing was different in this game than it was for the SNES ones, which really upset me when I first played it. But then you have to do the same thing in Tropical Freeze, and I think I finally adjusted to it, so... But yeah, keep in mind that, like, you need to get the Kongs for more than just bragging rights, but you may pay a terrible price if you do. Hi, everybody. Oh yeah, the temple, the temple levels also do not have checkpoints, so you have to get through the entire stage in one sitting. Which is kind of a bummer. They're, e they're even harder on top if you're trying to do this game co-op. Oh god, I can't even imagine doing that co-op. At least on co-op, you like you can just have the other player hop on your back. The reward for all of them is mirrored levels. Oh fuck, really? Jesus. Oh really? Mm -hmm. Gross. Oof. Yeah, we just did four percent of the game just then. Uh, all right. Extension content. Yep, yeah, you gotta do it. You gotta do it the way they can, Mister. So in co-op, uh, Diddy can run a, like off of Donkey Kong's back, like he can just move around as a proper character. And I think he, does he get his peanut popper, the gun, or does he just still jump on characters? I forget. I think he just jumps. I don't remember him having the gun. I think I'm just confusing it with I... Smash at that point. Oh, There's no extra world in the Wii DKC Returns, isn't there? Like, no, I don't think the bonus stage at the end that like in Tropical Freeze, I think that was just Tropical Freeze's edition. He can shoot instead of ground pounding. Oh, that's what it is. So he does have the gun. He has the peanut popper while on DK's back. No secret K rule, what a shame. No, there's no K rule in either of the Returns games. It's the Tiki's in this one and in the Penguin Vikings in the other? I believe they're Vikings, yes. Yeah, they are Vikings, I just can't remember. I guess it's not just Penguins, because you remember fighting walruses and other stuff. Mm hmm. The dev who made King K. Rule was so emotional about him being added to Smash, couldn't believe it. And I'm over here like, I had the collector's card for that dude, man. I love that guy. King K. Rule. Nintendo Power Cards. Man. Framed. I find it so funny for a character that was just essentially just like a random ass villain that everyone was just like, I really want him <laughs> back. I want to bring him back. Bring back our, our chunky K. Rule. He's back as Captain K. Rule. Yeah. Then he's back as Baron K. Rulenstein. <laughs> it's Diddy's Kong quest, not Diddy Kong's quest, Dan. Mm. Yep. And then Dixie Kong's Double Trouble. Maybe the next DK game we'll see a uh, K. Rool, uh villain lead again, we'll see. I feel like we might, just because of like, you know, him getting more popular again. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. I, I'm generally waiting for them to announce the next Donkey Kong Country game. Like, but I don't know who's gonna do it. Like, is it Rare again? Or sorry, Retro rather again? Because Retro's been really quiet for years. Or mm -hmm. what? I have no idea. Wasn't he originally gonna be a Battletoads villain? That would make sense. He definitely looks like he's designed for it. I could see that, actually. Alright, let's wrap up for the evening, shall we? Let's see what's going on in Art Block here. Let me get the cat off my desk so I can put my keyboard back. Thank you, buddy. I'll give you food here in a minute. Now you've shed all over the desk. Uh, Amarnith says, Wish me luck. I feel a fell down my steps last week and have been waiting for the pain to go away on its own, but it hasn't, so wish me luck with trying to get one. Uh, in the meantime, I can't grip anything in my right hand, and I'm right-handed. Uh-oh. Yeah, you're going to need a doctor check out with that. Here's hoping it goes all right. Hopefully you didn't actually break anything proper there. Veil vale Leaf says, just in case someone didn't get my joke, I was making fun of NFTs, as a Zimbabwe dollar is less than 0 0.003 cents US. Ah, and also making fun of people who don't check dates on videos that are made, such as April Fool's jokes. I am not promoting NFTs. I figured as much. That wasn't the part I was confused about. It was the past and present thing. Thank you for that, Vale. Casual Sleepy Gamer, thank you for the resub for the four months. 
Uh, I don't have any new eggs in the carton, so let's play the classic. You will give me an egg. And let's go look at the art block, because I believe there are four pictures. After those four, we'll wrap up. Art block starts over here first and foremost. With dragons. Hot daddy dragons. Oh, I'm somehow not surprised to see this, Sylveon. I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I would call you out, but you're calling yourself out. I'll confess, I ironically was never really into the Spyro series because I never played the games when I was a kid, so I never got an attachment and wasn't interested in the Reignited Trilogy. But looking at that first dragon, mmm, eyes emoji. So I guess this is my first Boo post of the year. It was so hard to figure out something, uh, not to mention I can't really multitask watching the stream and draw without distractions. Also, I'm surprised that it was all dragons and I can't really get the hang of it. I really want to practice more this year, but I guess I did a good work. Maybe, uh, maybe. Yeah, you did good. They definitely look like some dragons there. And you can definitely feel the love for the hot daddy dragons on your dragon design. Also, yes, I just posted screenshots hey. of the other dragons. I was not going to suffer with more than I had to. Fair. Fair enough. Thanks, Sylveon. Thank you for adding Looks the cool, the cool sunglasses, too. Uh, next up. <laughs> Cole has a nosebleed from daddy dragons. This is daddy dragon fever today. Yeah, I have no shame. I enjoy me some Dragon Dads. Fun fact, when I streamed this game around early 2019, someone commented in my chat that the Dragon redesigns in Spyro Reignited probably made some players realize they're furries. I read that knowing full well I was a closeted furry. <laughs> Glad to be a part of a community who shares my appreciation for Dragon Dads. You can't be shocked at this point. Big big titty ladies and big bar of Dragon Dads. That's, that's how it go around here. Thanks, Cole. A little beefaroo head for my Alita. Birthday boy, Bayumpa. Thank you, Alita. And the last pitcher, Jumney strikes again. Happy, uh, hap birth to the beefiest beefy boy. Oh, and I put my beefy beefaroo there too. You were warned, chat. There you go. We have two beefaroos. We have the actual beefaroo, and then we have big booby beefaroo. The three B, if you will. Thank you, Jumney, for the art as well good brand <laughs> and with that folks dunzo for the night thanks for hanging out as long as y'all have appreciate it i know it's late let's get out of here folks what's our raid message schedule for the week again a reminder actually i don't think i went in full now that i think about it tomorrow top down perspective usual time nine o'clock mountain time that's over on twitch.tv slash top down perspective Friday, I am also on another podcast, but I don't know if it's being streamed or not. I think it is. It's Dialogue Box with Laughing Boy and some others. I don't know if that's all been announced. But if it's streamed, that's going to be on Friday evening around 5 p.m. Mountain Time. On, I assume, either Laughing Boy's page, which would be Laughing Boy LP on Twitch, or I don't know if Dialogue Box has its own. But it'll be a Game of the Year discussion. Saturday, fortune cookie, standard fare, nothing changing there. Monday is game clearing. Our theme for January is revenge, so we will probably be playing some more games from my childhood I couldn't beat. I have been debating between Home Alone 2 for the Super Nintendo and other choices which are not as nice as Home Alone 2, which is sad because Home Alone 2 is not that nice. As you've all probably realized at this point, apparently I hated myself as a child. Or my childhood hated me. Really, really both work. I'm seeing a lot of barbecue soap. I have a feeling that's going to be the raid message. That makes sense to me. Barbecue soap, dragon dads, and, and birthday beef. Let me go see who's on. Huh. There's some options tonight. Oh wow, Octopimp's live. He's not usually live this late. Oh, Alan's finally back to streaming. Damn it. Fuck, he took a break for a while. Uh, let's raid Octo. Hey, we rarely ever get a chance to raid him. He's currently playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Oh, uh, Master Duelist or whatever it's called? Yeah, the, the, the Shadow Dropped game that apparently came out today. Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel is what it says on here. Yeah. It's it's fun. I've played a little bit of it. it, it, it it's alright. I need to learn it, because I have not played this in, like, many, many years, but, yeah. I'm gonna go tell Bok to come back barbecue soap. Oh, 
Hopefully the music is safe. It sounds like it might be. It's probably safe. I think it's the game's audio. Motherfuckers, followers only again. Fuck. Is he gonna monster reborn my red eyes? God damn it. I can't it tell if it's followers How only or not, unfortunately. It doesn't have a marker for it. Well, that's unfortunate. So it would tell you if you do a uh, forward slash raid, but you don't do that, obviously. Yeah. I I got completely bricked. I got. Yeah, some people are showing up and doing it. That works. Utterly and totally bricked. It is that worth following is Octo so anyway. He's good, dude. Yeah, Octo's mm -hmm. real good. If you ever play Guilty Gear Strive, he's the current voice actor for Axel O. Yeah. Oh, he's also generally really a good sucks. dude in general. Good dude in general. All right. Go give him some love. Uh, even though we goofed up with the follower-only raid, it happens sometimes. And I'll catch barbecue you guys on soap? Saturday. Oh, he noticed. He noticed the barbecue soap. Wait, why are we saying barbecue soap? <laughs> I'll see you guys. Wet Saturday for fortune cookies. Night, everybody.